OMJ is Friday. OMJs. I want to see how much time we got on this game. Where? How do we? It's up here, right? The profile. Where are we at? 115 hours. That's uh, that's for one game. <laughs> that's for, that's for one game. 115 hours for one game. That's a lot of time. And we're not done yet. We started up. So yesterday we finished out the, the main campaign for Baldur's Gate 1. And we've moved our way into whatever the expansion pack thing is. A uh, spear mouth. But the game crashed. But the game crashed again. Because that's what it does. I don't think it deleted a save. I just don't remember how far back we were. I don't know if it deleted a save or not. That's the interesting question. But we finished it out. We did the first dungeon area of the expansion pack. So I'm assuming I have to load that one up. I'm assuming we got to load that one up. So we started... Yeah, not the Black Pits. Siege of Dragon Spear is what we started up. Don't know don't know exactly how this is going to go all right where where are they gonna put me so it looks like we killed everyone where had you boss and we got everyone here right 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 all right so it was just it is must be an auto save or something that we got here that's right before us going downstairs. So we didn't really miss out on a whole lot. We just talked to like a handful of people this morning then. But, you know, I had fun with the main campaign. And I don't know how this one's going to work is what I was trying to say there. In the fact, like, are they going to just move me from map to map? Or are they going to give me... Are we going back into the Baldur's Gate world? Where we can like choose our locations and stuff like that or are they just going to kind of funnel us down this very linear path i'm thinking we're just going to funnel down a linear path we'll find out because supposedly after like all these cutscenes in play we're, we're to go into the city and you know recruit our friends and stuff but i'm not entirely sure how that's going to work it looked like when we went up to i think her name was corwin that she was going to, like, bring us places, like, say, to bars and, uh, shops and stuff like that. And then take us to, like, mission stuff. I don't think we're actually going to wander around anywhere. So I'm curious how we're going to go about, like, recruiting, like, the rest of our team and stuff like that. In my room here, we have a ton of equipment. So I hope we can come back here and, like, once we gather people, I can re-equip them. I'm not entirely sure how any of that's going to work. I have absolutely zero idea how any of that's going to work. So we can just skip over all this cutscene stuff here. We 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 went through all of this already. I examined the body oh of the god, I didn't pay attention to any of that. They were. The crusade some weeks ago uh, won't be enough. The crusade's ranks have swelled. After the iron crisis, the fists are excellent. There is one other thing you should know. I took this parchment from one of the assassins. But I'm so very lovable. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, the captain here can escort you to them. Spoken like some when you're ready to leave, go You're doing Baldur's Gate a great service. All right. We'll not forget it. So I went I went down here into the basement here and this is where the game crashed. I just tried to talk to this guy. Never. I'll not be in prison again. Stand down or we'll put you down. You are the one who delivered me to this hell. He Uh oh. <laughs> you! You're the one who delivered me the. You! Your own crimes brought you to this, Corlaz! You conspired with Saravak against the city. You must be punished for that! Hell! 
Your last residence was a crypt. The Ducal Palace looks like a step up to me. I'll deliver you to far worse in short order. As you will be punished for Seravok's murder. I didn't kill him, he tripped. He tripped. You can't prove otherwise. You weren't there. She wasn't there. She doesn't know if I landed the killing blow. I was just I was just a passive observer to the violence. I was surprised when I was taken to the palace and not to the jail. Now I know it was so the dukes could torment me in private. Did you think I'd be treated fairly? Justly? I expected no mercy, but even I didn't expect this... this horror. They didn't do a very good job of imprisoning her, did they? If she could just, like, open the door. What is this? You claim you've been mistreated? Tortured? In truth, I didn't think of you at all. I don't care what they do to you. I mean, to be honest, I don't know who you are. It's no more than you deserve. You're nothing more than I expected. Pathetic. Now let us finish this. I'm pathetic? Cool. Once. I must defeat Corlaz once. Oh, she hit me with that slow. Well, now we're never going to catch her because we're slow. Yeah, punish the lawbreakers. And I'm blind? She's not even attack- Oh. Oh, now she's attacking. I mean, like, I'm not in control of anything. Hello. Bust her face open. Oh, she ran out of magic? You dummy. Punish the lawbreakers. Hurry up, rat. Join in on the violence. I can't seem to hit her. Oh, I hit her real good. Oh. I see now why they call you hero. Hero? Why is that in quotation marks? We're in your debt, sir. Why is that in quotation marks? Y'all want to get sexy with me? You mean sex hero? <laughs> Every time quotation marks are up, it's supposed to be an innuendo. What's up, Ari Babble? How you doing? Happy Friday. Welcome on in. How's life treating you? How, how that, how that, how that, how that life be? How it bees? You winning? It was nothing, but tell me. Who was that? <laughs> what in the nine L's happened here? Did she have help? Or was she working alone? See that you don't forget it. You're all right. How am I? Awful. Awful. Today is the worst day ever. Worst day ever. I had frozen pizza and it wasn't good. A terrible day. A terrible, terrible day. Who eats frozen pizza? Oh, oh. I mean, on the plus side, it had a ton of vegetables on it. So I guess there's that. Like, there was no cheese. It was no cheese. You went to a funeral. Aw. I hope it was for, like, 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 a great Uncle Jim who is, like, 107. And you're like, yeah, we weren't really close. I saw him, like, three times in my life. So, I mean, it's sad, but, you know. Oh, either way, I'm sorry. Funerals are rough. Funerals are rough. If you liked frozen pizza, you should try cooking it. Kinda. Cousin's wife's dad. Uncle? Is that- that's an uncle? That's not your uncle, that's somebody else's uncle. Like, like, cousin's wife, so not- not like, that's also my cousin. <laughs> you just wanted to give you shit. Oh. Okay. You should try cooking it. 
uh, I baked it. I baked, I baked it, and it came out warm, and it still tasted like trash. Still, deep fry your pizza. Doesn't sound like a good idea. But then, but then you could make like a cow zone, and you could deep fry a cow zone. You could do that. You can get some dough, right? You get your pizza dough, and then you put all the ingredients in there, and then you just seal up the edges. You know, you fold it in half and just seal up the edges. And you could, you could, you could, you could deep fry that for sure, and that that would definitely cook it like really fast, though. It might be okay. All I have in my head right now is just like a a a pizza pocket if you will a pizza pocket just crammed full of marinara just just like brimming like a bowl of marinara was dumped inside of this pizza pocket i'm intrigued by this but also very grossed out because i don't want to drink anything that comes out of a pizza i don't want to drink it that sounds like too much liquid I guess a calzone is just a deep fried pizza, but calzones really aren't supposed to be deep fried. They're baked as well. You put that in the oven and you bake it. You don't go, okay, ma, open up the fryer. Hmm. I don't have an air fryer, but what if you could air fry a calzone? Right? That? That? Like, I would air fry the shit out of a cow zone. You don't need oil for an air fryer, right? I don't know what an air fryer is. I hear those words, and I just think, like, black magic voodoo. Like, I have no idea what the hell an air fryer is. I don't know how they work. Is it microwaves? Like, are they just sending, like, microwaves out all over the place? I don't know what an air fryer is. I've heard people talk about them, but I don't know what they are, and now I'm afraid. Thank you for inducing fear within me. Calzone is the original pocket pizza. Hmm, the big OG, the original gangster. Yeah, calzones are pretty good. But but they're like hot pockets are like mini calzones. Because calzones can come in a variety of flavors. Could we have a breakfast calzone? I've heard of breakfast hot pockets. They give you diarrhea. But wonder if you could make a breakfast calzone. Like, duh. But what about a dessert calzone? Instead of filled with, with sauces and stuff, you filled it with chocolate. And marshmallows. And caramel. And graham cracker bits. Oh, I'm gonna get diabetes. I'm gonna get diabetes. No, it's not a pie. Pie like. It's not a pie. It's heated air blowing on my food. I can do that. <sighs> Now I get your dragon breath away from me. I just brush my teeth. I just brush my teeth. My teeth is fresh. It's so minty good. I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee, to be perfectly honest. It's definitely pie. 3.1415. Not. There's more. There, there's more numbers than that. This, this is just some of pie. I want all of pie. Pi is an infinite number still. I want all of pi. That still freaks me out. How, how is the air so hot that it can fry something? Doesn't make sense. How do you... You get a tummy ache? I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk it. One tummy ache... For endless pie. Sounds good to me. It's like Homer. Homer in hell. Just. Just eating all, all the donuts. 
Like, I'm down. And then the devils are all like, oh, we ran out of donuts. And Homer's like, more, more, more. Right? I, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm down. That sounds good to me. Who wouldn't want that? Like, endless, endless desserts. We could go to the old country buffet, right? Or, or the Golden Corral, right? And that's, that's where, that's, that's where we can have endless desserts. Yes. Endless desserts. Aw, is gone? Is gone. Is gone. I'm saddened by this. I'm saddened by this. I had the Homer eating donuts clip, and somehow I deleted it. Somehow I deleted it. Well, too bad, chat. No, no Homer eating donuts. No Homer eating donuts. All right, whatever, man. Dessert. Dessert pizzas in calzone form is our new goal in life. Is our new goal in life. So you just make you just make pie crust instead of pizza crust, and then you just fill it and you got a dessert calzone. So I'm gonna fill mine with uh what what's that like the the chocolate cream, chocolate cream and some caramels. Hey, I'm gonna make I'm I'm yeah, I'm I'm making I'm making s'mores. Calzone s'mores, but you can't make the calzone prosthetic graham crackers. Can can you make a graham cracker crust that won't crumble? Nutella. Nutella ain't shit. Nutella ain't shit. It's like, oh, look at us. We want to be cool and all like almond butter, but we're not. But also, we have chocolate in us. Psh. Psh. Like, what are you? What kind of sandwich spread are you? Gross. What one of my exes, she loved Nutella. And, and like, I came home one day, and she was just eating Nutella out of the jar. And I was like, that's it. We're breaking up. And also, who is that gentleman over there, and why is he naked? <laughs> that didn't happen. That didn't happen. That didn't <clears throat> But I did catch her eating Nutella out of the jar, and I was like, you're a heathen. <laughs> you're, you're a mad human being. You're a mad human being. That's almost as gross as eating a stick of uncooked cookie batter. Almost as gross. Like, we're humans. She wasn't even using a spoon. She was just dipping her hand in it. It's like, oh. 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 It's the perfect partner to peanut butter and banana. Even worse. Why would you, why would you make peanut butter worse by adding fruit to it? <laughs> fruit should get cheeses. Not peanut butter. Yuck. Yuck. But 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 fruit should get should should get dark chocolate. Dip 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 fruit in in chocolate, and that's delicious. But not peanut butter. A friend of yours had a roommate that ate sticks of butter rolled in sugar as a snack. That's something like a two year old would do. <laughs> cause cause children are dumb. You know, they're just like, I love butter. And they just eat a stick of butter. That's me pretending to eat a stick of butter, not put anything phallic in my mouth. Well, butter's phallic. Um, <laughs> it's 24. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, did they die of diabetes? That's how you get diabetes. That's not even college life. Well, we've got nothing in the house, but we've got sugar and butter. I guess we can eat that. No, that's, that's just how you die of diabetes. Like, the college life is like, I've got no money, I've got a dollar, we could buy 24 packs of rum, and that's, that's, that's college life. College life, butter's expensive. 
It's not like, yo, I've got six dollars to buy a stick of butter. You got sugar in college? Like, what what college kid has packages of sugar lying around? Y'all had that fancy college life. Y'all had that. Y'all had refrigerators too? It was a sad story. He got hired as a city bus driver and a wacko firebombed him when he was getting on the bus. Major burns all over his body. I mean, I'm not going to say we couldn't have seen that coming, but when you eat sticks of butter rolled in sugar, I mean, it just kind of happens. It's inevitable. Right? <laughs> That's fucked up, though. That's fucked up. That's horrible. That's really, that actually is really unfortunate. That really is unfortunate. That that genuinely sucks. That genuinely sucks. But but see, maybe the reason why he burned so much was because he basted himself in so much butter. You know? You know what? You know it you know? You know? You come out crispy. You come out crispy. Extra crispy. Extra crispy. And moist. <laughs> that, that does suck. That does suck. The theory holds water. Most most of my most of my theories hold water. Also Roy holds water. Also Roy holds water. That does sound sad though. If you're not making a that up, that's awful. That's this genuinely awful. I would not want that to happen. I've had bad things happen. I've never had that bad of a day. I don't want to have that bad of a day. That's an awful day. That's an awful day. No, it's for real. See, now, the way you type that <laughs> makes me think it's not. <laughs> no, it's totally for real. Would is what the liar would say <laughs> was the most bizarre thing. That sounds terrible. That's, that's, that's the worst day. Imagine... Ima there are so many terrible things that happen in the world randomly. You're like, okay, I'm going to my job. Oh my God, why do you have a Molotov cocktail and why are you bringing that my way? Uh-oh. Like, no one expects to be, like, you don't, you don't wake up in the morning and go, better get ready for a fire, a Molotov cocktail to the face. No one does that. That's a horrible, that's horrible. Everyone would be totally shocked. It's not normal. Like, if you were like, oh, I woke up today, and you'll never guess the most strange thing happened. When I walked out of my my house, my apartment, to, to said vehicle, a little squirrel landed on my shoulder and gave me some acorns. So bizarre. That's the kind of bizarre thing you want. Not the... I got third degree burns all over my body when I was, you know, driving around the denizens of my city in a bus for public transportation, providing a service to the community. That's not what you expect. That's horrible. That's horrible. What the fuck is wrong with people? People are the worst. Don't trust anybody. The craziest thing, the craziest thing is driving your car on highways. We get into our cars and we're like, we're in a bubble, bubble shield, bubble shield, bubble shield. And you're driving on the highway at, at like death defying speeds, literally death defying speeds. If you get into an accident going over like 55 miles an hour, you're probably not going to live from that thing. And yet you trust everyone around you you have to that's it's the biggest trust fall that you can ever do driving is the biggest trust fall because you're literally expecting you're just blindly jumping off the empire state building going okay everybody better catch me it's the biggest trust fall in the world you literally put your life in every single one of those strangers hands when you're driving down the road and that's frightening that is frightening Driving, like, it's, you get super comfortable, too. Like, when you first start out driving, I remember when I first started driving, and I remember, like, getting ready to go on, like, the super highways and shit. 
and just being like, I don't want to go on here. How do people drive on this? This is the scariest thing in the world. And then after a while, you get used to it. That fear goes away and you get more comfortable with it. But it's just like, you just get more comfortable with dying. <laughs> That's all that it is. It's like, yes, I can die at any moment. I have now done this many times. I have risked my life many, many times by getting on here. I'm also one of the maniacs on the road, so don't worry. Your life is not safe around me when I'm driving. I am one of the maniacs on the road. I'm, I, like, people, it's like a 35 mile an hour zone, and I'm like, why is everybody not doing 90 miles an hour? <laughs> oh my god, you slow pokes out of my way. I have places to be. More important than you. I'm a doctor on TV. Yeah, driving, driving is nuts. Driving is freaking scary as hell. I try not to think about it when I drive, because that's some scary ass shit. <laughs> Genuinely, some scary ass shit. Thanks, GTA 5, for the 90 mile an hour car races on the road. No, 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 no. real life feel like though the thing is you really can't drive fast around here anymore our beltway always has traffic they always have, there there is not a single like major road highway that like it's like all right where we're getting on 95 and then and then you get on 95 and you're like zoom no we're not going anywhere <laughs> we're not going anywhere we're not going be prepared to sit in your car for two and a half hours to get wherever you're going. Used to drive the speed limit, but as you drove more and more, you started to gradually increase your speed. There was a point in time where the speed limit is just a suggestion. <laughs> that's, that's the way I felt it, where the speed limit was just a suggestion. You could drive 55, or you could drive 80. <laughs> <laughs> you follow the go the speed of traffic rule usually, and that's what you should do. But most people do, like, whatever the fuck they want. Oh. Mm -hmm. There was a food surprise back there. I think that was mushroom. Hmm. Yeah, that... Yeah, definitely tasted like mushroom. Oh, cool. <laughs> After dinner treats. <laughs> Yum. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's what we tend to do. But the traffic has gotten so bad. So our, our highway system was built in like the 50s and 60s. And um, the, the infrastructure for that did not account for how bad big the population was going to grow in the the maryland dc virginia area it just didn't like no one could have assumed that it was going to like i i can't i don't it didn't just double it didn't just quadruple it, it, it like between the 50s and 60s we, we went from having you know like a hundred thousand people to having like millions of people three or four million and and so anytime you get on the road like literally any time during the day you're gonna meet traffic it used to be like yes your standard rush hours you know when people wake up you know anywhere between you know like seven to like nine a.m and then like four to six you would have you know bad traffic probably some stop and go stuff but nowadays you could like walk out you could drive out of your house yep drive out of your house because i keep my car inside my living room um you, you could just drive out onto the highway and it'll be like 2 30 in the afternoon on like a wednesday and you're like why is there traffic why is there traffic <laughs> like going 15 over the speed limit now is a luxury that we don't get <laughs> usually get those from your beard i don't have anything in my beard it's empty it's empty how you doing nate welcome on in also truly notorious i didn't welcome you in either welcome on in 
we don't we don't have that luxury anymore i remember going to visit my aunt and this was probably like 10 or 15 years ago at this point maybe it wasn't even that long my my sense of time as i've gotten older is fucked <laughs> i don't i don't know but i went went to visit my aunt in kansas city and i don't, i i i don't know what time of the year it was i i think you know what no this this was a no I think I'm conflating things. Either way, so I went to go visit her and we were we were driving. She lived in the suburbs of Kansas City, so in, you know, western Missouri. And uh northwestern Missouri. And so we're 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 driving into the city and she goes, "Oh man, it's rush hour. I'm so sorry about the traffic." And I was like, "Traffic?" And I looked around and I was like, you're like the only car on the road. <laughs> she was just like, sorry about the traffic. I was like, there's like four other cars around you. <laughs> like, like, you called this traffic? It's like, are you just used to being the only car on the road? I was like, what do you mean traffic? Sorry about the traffic. You're going the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> like when you say sorry about the traffic i expect us to be going like two miles per hour and being you know bumper to bumper she said sorry about the traffic and we were going 65 miles an hour <laughs> people's sense of traffic is not what i think yeah yeah country bumpkin yeah sorry about the traffic school must have let out <laughs> <laughs> the the one school must have let out and the teachers are driving home I was like that's hilarious and adorable yeah, traffic is terrible nowadays terrible like, I, I remember I remember in like high school I mean that was a long 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 time ago but like just about any time of the day there was barely anybody on the road and nowadays man it's just you can't you can't drive you can't drive though you do get some nice free driving at like three or four in the morning hey, ain't nobody on the road then except for cops and cops pull you over all the time it's just like oh it's three in the morning what's this motherfucker doing you got tinted windows <laughs> what are you doing and i roll down my window and i'm like i'm sorry officer <sighs> marijuana and then they're like, you're going to jail. And I'm like, oh, again. Oh. oh, again. We're playing video games. Hi, guys. Thanks to the pop going from one car per household to one car per person. There's that, too. There's that, too. I, I, I genuinely think that it's not necessarily that... There's more cars per household. It's just there's more people living in suburban areas. There's more people on the planet. Our 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 population growth is just it's it's not showing any signs of letting up. Ah, yes, it's four a.m. and I can clearly tell. What your car's wheels are slightly bigger than what the states allow. Prison for you. I saw. Well, I didn't see. A friend told me that they had got pulled over for having, like, illegal mods on their car. And the the officer, like, came out with like a tape measure he said and was like measuring and like testing things like they said the tint was too dark and the the wheels were too big and his they 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 also said that there was something wrong with his exhaust i don't know how you tell what's wrong with an exhaust i guess there's illegal exhaust mods it's not like his car was shooting out flames or anything like that though that would have been cool but yeah, he said he got pulled over for that. And he said that the shop that he went and had all that stuff done at made sure that they followed state guidelines. But yeah, 
Cops, cops should just pull you over for nothing, man. Stinking pigs with nothing better to do. Go stop some crimes, man. Pulling people over for tinted windows. Like, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing, you silly Billy? You silly Billy? I want tinted windows. I had tinted windows on one of my cars. I want tinted windows. I got, I got me. I want, I want them. I want them reflective windows. I want that shit to blind everyone around me. When it's, when it's like noon, I want, I want my reflections to reflect literally the sun's rays at maximum temperature. I want things to catch on fire. <laughs> I want, I want the reflective capacity of, of the most, most reflective mirrors possible i'm gonna put on a bunch of uh magnifying glasses on my car too <laughs> just super glue like big magnifying glasses it's gonna be great we're gonna, just gonna light up light up the city with with light burn it all down burn the establishment man All right, now that I'm done being an idiot, hey, we're playing Baldur's Gate. We just murdered somebody. They're they're congratulating me for stabbing some lady in the face. It was nothing, but tell me who was that? The nine hells happened here. Did she have help, or was she working alone? See that you don't forget it. Corlaz, a lieutenant of Saravok, captured shortly shortly after his death in the Iron Throne's fall. I thought you had a hand in her. Apprehension. Perhaps I'm mistaken. We thought she was secured. Her manacles were warded. Her cell reinforced. Somehow she found the magical power needed to escape. Manacles, you say? That sounds like a really cool 80s cop drama. This week on Manacles. No, officer, no! I'd watch Manacles. There was there was there was a show called Manimal, where where a guy like transformed into into different animals. It was called Manimal. Like who comes up with that? He could transform into like a panther and a chicken. Okay, maybe not a chicken. What's another cool animal other than a panther? Like an eagle, right? That sounds cool. Let's check it out. Let's watch the intro on YouTube. Manimal. Manimal intro. Manimal. Is this the thing? I've watched it before. <laughs> <laughs> of course I have. Of course I have. Why wouldn't I? I've totally watched it before. Oh, God, we're in for a treat. Hold on, everyone. Let's watch that. <laughs> right? How exciting was that? Street Hawk? I didn't say that you could autoplay. Who said that you could? Oh, it's a playlist. Oh. Still, no, no, no. I don't abide by that. No, no, no. And that guy could transform into animals. Like I said, he could transform into a panther and into a, a, I guess it was a hawk, not an eagle, but hawks are cool. And apparently he could transform into a cobra and a horse. Dude, imagine being a horse. That'd be pretty cool. You, you the, the true definition of a brony, right? I think I was all kinds of brony. That's so neat. If 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 I if I if I could be a brony, my 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 brony would be Princess Buttercup of of Glitterton. And 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 I would I would be a nice cocoa butter color, but also I would have rainbow hair and glitter. My secret power would I would snort glitter. <laughs> <sighs> glitter would shoot out of my nostrils. It'd be so cool. It'd be the nostril glitterer. 
be like my own glitter bomb because who wouldn't want that i'm an adorable uh, my little pony i just got it right up here it's great it's great i'm writing the screenplay now <laughs> Manacles. All right. So we went from manacle to manimal to me being Princess Buttercup of Glitterton. Desperation is a powerful motivator. Best go and uh, let your commanding officer know what's happened here. My thanks. I'd never have deduced she escaped had you not told me as much. <laughs> There's no call for insults. Forgive me, friend. It's been a trying time. Go now. Tell your commanding officer what happened here. Are you sure? I just saved you from a prisoner who escaped on your watch. I think there's some call for insults. Your opinion on the matter means little to me. Be gone. I suppose we'll have to. Damn. Captain Messi won't be happy about this. Nor should they. We actually got to murder her. I want her clothes. I'm upset by the lack of me being clothed. Oh, we can steal their like clothes, though. This. Plate mail? Nah, yeah, garbage. Is there someone out there? Who's in there? Are you talking to me? No one interested in speaking to a prisoner of the Grand Dukes. Farewell, whoever you are. Wait, who's in there? I'm an officer of the Flaming Fist. You've got to get me out of here. How did you get in there? Do I really? And what's your freedom worth to you? Another fist was here a few moments ago. They didn't mention one of their own being in a cell. Got to. No. I've got to do nothing. Fare they well. A doppelganger tricked me into opening the door, then took my face and locked me in here. Please, find a key and let me out. Sounds reasonable to me. Did you know gullible is not in the dictionary? Spatters of blood on the walls and floor of this cell tell a tale of cruelty and abuse. Only recently ended. Ray Crocs, welcome on in. Hey, happy Friday. Manimal. I want to be Manimal. How did he get Manimal powers? Like, they didn't explain that. They were just like, okay, he watched his dad die and now he can transform into a giant pigeon. You are welcome here. Oh, Turkey Milady. Uh, hello. What brings you down to the palace treasury this night? Well met, Ophelis. Ophelis? Uh, uh, Ophacus. Ophacus is a constellation. Ophelis. Off. Ophelis. Ophelis? Ophelis. Ophelis. It's off, right? Off. Ophelis? It looks gr Grecian. Grecian. I embark upon a journey soon, so I'd like to withdraw my savings. Don't be coy now. What does one usually go to a treasure room for? Potato. Potato. You say potato. I say potato. Let's call the whole thing off. You you met you you were supposed to put an E at the end of one of them. Thank you very much, Dan Quayle. Ugh. My gold, hand it over now. Nothing of any consequence. So, uh, you, uh, you want your money, uh, do you? If you'd be so kind. I don't know that I'll take it all, but I would like to look in on the gold, see how it's doing, make sure it knows I'm thinking of it, you know, like Scrooge McDuck. We're gonna Scrooge McDuck our money. We had hundreds of thousands of dollars. I believe I said as much. Yes, um, well, you see, uh, here's the thing. There's, a. Uh, in regards to your gold, there's... 
a little problem I, I i i don't exactly have it oh here's it's in bill's house and it's in in jerry's house and it's in tommy's house everyone has your money i don't have your money here ah oh, thanks jimmy stewart thanks thanks jimmy stewart but that would change the pronunciation no thanks potato 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 that is troubling a lot of effort went into acquiring that gold Ophelis. it nearly cost me my life more than once i see and at which moment do you expect you will have it well have your head for this you sniveling wretch i still don't know how it happened the dog won every race it was in in it was in in it was in in the last five ten days it was in in is this a merry ye old english thing that i don't understand or is that like too many ins in that sentence is that an error Emma win. This is her fault again somehow, isn't it? It should have won this one easily. But who brings their pet rabbit to a dog race? I mean, really? You bet all of my gold on a dog race? All of it? This is a disaster. You have to get my money back. Now. You realize I'll have to kill you now. You do understand that, don't you? Why did we give them our money? I could get the gold for you soon. Very soon. So we've turned into a bookie? I swear. Please don't tell Duke Belt to this. I'll lose my post. I won't tell Belt. You'll tell him yourself. Immediately. He needs to know what's happening down here. You can get gold? How long will that take? I'm about to lose much more than that, you cretinous oaf. Oh no, please. Please don't make me do that. Okay. How long will it take you to recover what you've lost? It's the right thing to do, and I expect you to do it. I want my money, Ophelis. Get it for me. Now! Please, just give me a little time. I'll get it for you, I swear. I'll, I'll go right now and fetch it for you, shall I? Yes, I'll go now. I'll meet you outside the palace with your money before you leave. I'm gonna break his legs, aren't I? I'm totally gonna break the hell out of his legs, right? We gonna bust them legs up real good, aren't we? These dusty oaken barrels contain a fruity, fragrant liquid. What's up, Willie? How you doing, homie? Happy Friday! How's life treating you, man? This looks like the right wine. I'm taking it. This doesn't look like the right wine. What? What right wine? Right wine for what? Just watched the Warriors win game four. Oh, good for them. Though polished and well-maintained, a close inspection makes it clear that this suit of plate armor's days of use in the battlefield ended long ago. We can see through walls. We have x-ray vision. Up it! Hmm... Yes. These orderly rows of grain sacks have apparently been sitting in a small pool of water for some time. The stench of rot fills the room. Oh, I got the cell key. We can let the not doppelganger out of its cell. These dusty oaken barrels have a strong grape scent. 
Grape Ape. Grape Ape. So is the series 2-2 now? Because the Celtics won the other evening as well, right? So it's all tied up. It seems like it's shaping up to be quite a good series. That's exciting. Going back to Sam Francis. Don't they play in Oakland? Don't they play in Oakland? Isn't that where Golden State plays? Right across the old bridgery duda Or a bridgery, the Oakland Bridge. I think they play in Oakland and not in San Francisco. So shouldn't they be the Oakland State Warriors instead of the Golden State Warriors? They really don't have a Golden Gate Bridge in Oakland, do they? I thought they just moved into Oakland. I didn't think that they moved out of. I thought they just moved into. Because they, they, they have like a newish facility out there. Because they're, they're trying to re-gentrify Oakland. Yeah, I put quotation marks around that. I think the people of Oakland were not happy. I think some people were happy, but I think the overall base was like, we don't want that shit here. But now they have it here. The wine within these oaken barrels has a deep purple tint. Why do I care about... The wine. A sharp, spicy scent. What am I what am I doing with these wine barrels? Uh is someone out there? It's me again! Have you found a way to get this damnable door open? I found a key near here that may work. Thank the gods! I thought I'd never get out of this cell. You aren't out of it yet, friend. Nor will you, if you fail to answer my questions. My name is Idian Neely? Adia Neely? Amelia Bedelia? What kind of trouble Amelia Bedelia gonna get into? I'm an officer with the flaming fist. I stumbled upon a mage in Saravok's service. She tricked me, locking me in the cell. And she managed that. I mean, do you have to ask? She was just like, boobies! And he was like, oh, 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 whatever you say, miss. That <laughs> bitch owes me money. <laughs> what do you got against Amelia Bedelia? She's just dumb. Or a little slow. Amelia, don't go licking tires in the middle of the street. Okay. And then she goes licking tires in the middle of the street. And that's how she got hit by her car and broke her femur. That Amelia Bedelia. Such a silly goof. Such a silly goof. How did she manage that? Why didn't the other off the other guards tell me of this? Officer of the Flaming Fist. Duped into being locked in a ducal palace cell. Shameful. Can't just stand around here talking. I've got to speak to my commander. You have my gratitude. I'd give you more, and I'm more to give, but I do not. I must bid you farewell. <clears throat> uh I just let a prisoner out. <laughs> Oh, uh, probably nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, dark red, highly concentrated liquid. I don't, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing with wine. Can we just drink it and get drunk? Drink, drink. We drunk, we drunk, drunk. Drink, drink. We drunk, we drunk, drunk. It is Friday, right? Everyone should have a proper glass of a fine vintage. Where are you? Let's talk to you. Uh, yes, what does the hell about us get in need of me? I'd like for you never to talk to me that way again. How are you, sir? How's Ski? 
I would know your thoughts on what's happening in the city. 100,000 gold in a teleportation spell to take me far away from Kaler's Crusade. Failing that, you can tell me what you know of the Crusade and its mistress. Better now that she is no longer under the sway of that noxious pig dog, Eldoth. But only a little better. Uh, the girl is determined to vex me. She throws herself into the jaws of the world, not realizing the dangers awaiting there. I fear it will take extreme action on my part to prevent tragedy befalling her. So it seems to me, at least, I am sure she would tell a different tale were you to ask her. I may do that, for now. I'll ask what you know of the situation up north. Speak with that indolent rattlebrain. Think it up. I have scattered reports, rumors, conjecture. It is said the crusade holds sway from the high moor to the winding water. The way this guy talks, it feels like he's spitting on my face. Does anybody else get that kind of feeling? Like, he's talking, but can you feel the moisture and expectorant raining down upon you when he talks? The High Moor and Misty Forest are Kalar's, as are the Serpent Hills and most of Trollbark Forest. She has much of the Troll Hills too, but even she avoids Warlock's Crypt, so far at least. I, I wasn't paying attention to a single thing he said. I was trying to Matrix bullet dodge the way out of his spit particulate matter. After her attack on you, I think her bold but reckless, willing to attempt anything to further her agenda, whatever it is. But for now, you must excuse me. The council must see to the city as you see to Kayla. Time more I favor your trials. I, I couldn't understand a single thing he said. Speak English, damn it, man. Speak English. Y'all speak American. Ah, uh, yes. What does the hero of Baldur's get need of me? Thanks to that damnable Argent woman, we drown in a sea of refugees. The Flaming Feast is having trouble enough keeping order as it is, and will have more when the Dragon Spear expedition leaves. I don't know if Kalar seeks to cripple Baldur's Gate, but if that is the goal, she may well achieve it. Ha ha ha! Do you want a croissant? Have we any goal? Have we any idea what her goal might be? Will the fist be able to keep the peace with its forces spread out? She must be stopped, and she will be. I will put an end to her, as she sought to do to me. Ideas, certainly. Facts, not so much. I have scattered reports, rumors, oh. the high after All right, that, yeah. but for now, you must excuse me. Okay, she bye bye. Must to the city and here. That's riff -raff everywhere. Oh, don't tell me. You're the riffraff. Get out of my place. You remember me. Surely you do. I don't. We tried to kidnap her, and every time she called the guards on us. We were sent in. We were we, we had a side quest that said go kidnaps. I would say that's pronounced sky in the dumbest way possible, but they say it's ski. If it's ski, why did they add the E to it? Ski is already S-K-I. They should have added a Y to it. But we never got to because every time they said that she was going to willingly cooperate. And every time we went to go talk to her, she was like, it's guards, there's intruders. So I don't like her much. Snitches get stitches. We didn't have any chloroform to put over her face. So we could have kidnapped her actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, uh, I don't know what I thought. Well, I'm Ski. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> you have a saucy tongue, don't you? I like it. I still don't understand how that was a sexual innuendo. Yes, I think it's nice to meet you. And she's like, oh, 
You tart. <laughs> I heard you talking to Daddy and the other Dukes about Kalar. Are you going to Dragon Spear? The Shining Lady and I have business to settle. Why not? Sorakos is lovely this time of the year. Daddy hasn't told you everything. Did he mention he thinks Kalar might be one of Ball's children? Yeah, <laughs> I thought not. We can't talk here. I'll tell you more later. Children are stored in the balls. That's that's what this game taught me. Children are stored in the balls. Greetings. How are you holding up? You have to say it, sir. Dirky, my lady. I already talked to him yesterday. I don't think After we need to talk to him again. Let us blah, 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 blah. Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. I wanted to the see if it... What matters. Like, We're someone... Mercenaries. Ah, I am the flame and fist. We're more than mercenaries. I like the fact that they don't get all rednecky on me. That's pretty cool. Okay. I thought for sure that there would be something to do with that wine in the cellar. All right, this time we're going to save. I guess nobody has anything to do with wine. All right. Uh, apparently some of my former companions await me as well. The Flaming Fist tracked down a few of your known associates. Unfortunately, several will be beyond our reach. Which of my friends have you located? We can discuss that later. Right now, I need supplies. I don't have any money because apparently the person holding my money bet it all on the puppies. Adorable as they may be, for shame. There's a ball. There's a bard called Garrick and a pair of ne'er do wells called Safana and Corin. They're at the Elf Song Tavern. The witch, Dinah here, and her bodyguard, Minsk, are staying at the Three Old Kegs. I don't know who any of those people are. A monk named Rasad is currently working at the Iron Throne building. The council made it a refuge for those fleeing Kaler. And we've got someone named Tiax locked up at the Flaming Fist headquarters. Yeah. Where's Jahira? Where's Dorn? Garion wanted me to protect them. Where are Khalid and Jahira? Garion wanted me to protect them. I didn't have Khalid in my party. He died. <laughs> you couldn't find Nira the Wild Mage. She's hard to miss. Just look for the nearest burning anything. You couldn't locate Vaconia Devere. I'm not surprised. Where's Dorn? We're Zar. We're Zahn. Reports were received. Put them up north, enjoying some time to themselves after the Iron Crisis. You couldn't find Nira, right, Nira? Hmm. Well, we did receive some reports of unseasonal... Unseasonable? Unseasonal. Unseasonal. Un unsee of unseasonal of unseasonal fires Borskir Bridge near Borskir Bridge I can't recall hearing of anything similar recently we found the drow and in the company of a Durgar no less they've been hired on to the Dragon Spear expedition you'll see them in the morning should you wish to speak to them But I want... I need supplies? You want to visit Sorcerer's Sundries? Then I can get you there. I don't want any of those people. I don't know who they are. Stay close. The streets are shoulder to shoulder with people. It's a cut person's dream out there. And an assassin's. Head out the door and I'll follow you. Let's go. But where are my friends? <laughs> Why are the guards hitting people the in the face? Is trying to keep the peace, but it's an uphill battle. <laughs> Just smashing people. <laughs> Get her! Get her! 
Get her! <laughs> oh, that's good times. That's good times. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Why isn't the Flaming Fist marching on the crusade right now? Those fanatics need to be stopped. Please help us. We're more than mercenaries. Calm down. The Dukes are working on resolving the situation. They just need time, so give them some. God damn it. The Council of Four is supposed to protect us. Where is our protection? Where? Oh man, there's a lot of people in the streets, huh? Oh! Dirky m'lady, there you are! I'm, I'm glad to see you. Ophelis, you're bleeding. What happened to you? And I'm glad to see you. You have my money, I take it? And will change rapidly if you haven't brought me my money. I had it! Dirky m'lady, I had your money! Forget the money, Ophelis. Who did this to you? Had? I don't like the sound of that. My tense is making you tense, eh? <laughs> oh no, laughing. Laughing so good right now. <laughs> ribs, ribs are pretty broken. I, I had your, had your gold. I said I'd get it, and... <laughs> God damn, why is everyone coughing on me? I did. But, 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 before I had the chance to bring it to you, I was attacked. Attacked by ruffians! I think he did it to himself. I don't think he ever had the money. Where did this happen? What can you tell me of these ruffians? Yes, yes, of course you were. What else was going to happen? You should have let them kill you, Ophelis. You would have suffered less at their hands. Then you will at mine! They were refugees fleeing the crusade. I heard one. She said they could they could return to the the the, the three old kegs. Now that oh gods that hurt that really really hurts. Uh, now that they had gold to spend, three old kings, eh? I'll start there then. Get in the palace and find a cleric. The streets aren't safe, especially for someone in your current state. Looks like I'll be paying the three old kings a visit. You think you hurt now? I'll show you pain such as you've never dreamed, you pilfering wretch. <gasps> You're a kind man. Th thank you. I'll repay you. I, sw I swear. It just, just, just need, uh, just need a little. Uh, just needs a little more, a little more time and some healing. Excuse me. I'll end you. I had billions and billions of dollars. Horse. Okay, we can't do anything to the horse. I was hoping that we could have a horse. Oh, they really cut down on where you can go. This area is way smaller. What is this? Oh, well, they don't even let you explore the city? Iron Throne. Flaming Fist. Three Old Kegs. Elf Song and that. Alright, I guess we'll go to the Three Old Kegs. The Three Old Kegs isn't far from here. There's a pair of Rashemi travelers staying there. Duke Eltan thought you might speak with them. Yes, yes, yes. But where are my real friends? It, my entire party is not available to me. That feels kind of shitty. I don't I don't like that at all. Top of my to-do list. Top of my to-do list. Very well. Where are Dinah here in Minsk? You need a drink. I need a drink. Join me for a drink. I like the way you think. Let's go. What can I get you? Wine. Coming right up. So, the hero of Baldur's Gate. Tell me about yourself. You forgot the man, the myth? I'd rather know about you. Gods, you don't have enough time for that. Forget me. Tell me about Kalar. Everything you heard about me, absolutely true. 
I don't talk about my past, certainly not with strangers. What would you like to know? How'd you come to join the Flaming Fist? What's your sense of this Kalar Argent? Where are you planning to sleep tonight? Wait. Ah, well, therein lies a tale, but it's a long one. My father, Ottomar, was a fist. You could say I followed in his footsteps. Many children emulate their parents. Not me, thankfully. Say what you are. Say, what are your thoughts on Kaler? It's a curious way of putting things. You obviously followed in his footsteps since you enlisted. As you wish. I did, eventually. But it took me a long time to recognize the value in my father's example. When I was younger, I ran a bit wild. It took a lot of strength and patience on my father's part to set me on the right path. Things would have been much different for me if he were a lesser man. Sounds like Duke Entar could take a lesson from your father. A wild child, hmm? Any stories you care to share? It's good to have people you can trust in your life. What are your thoughts on Kalar? Interesting. Well, we'd best call it a night. Let's keep things professional. For now, at least. Drink up. We've things to do and precious little time in which to do them. Professional? I was just trying to have a conversation, miss. Yeah, I'll get right on that. It is always good to give a little tip. A little tip, you say? <gasps> what can you tell me about this place? The Three Old Kings is one of the oldest taverns in Baldur's Gate. Never thought I'd be working somewhere so fancy. Nantrin Belloglim runs the place. Interesting. I'd like a drink now. Tell me about yourself. Who, me? There's not much to tell. The tavern needed someone to run the taps, and I needed some coin in my pocket. My man's a sailor, so he's gone for weeks at a time. This keeps me busy. Let's me talk to people. You must get lonely from time to time. <laughs> I don't want to hear that kind of talk, sir. My man's at sea as often as not. But I'm happy with him all the same. Now, do you want a drink or not? Yeah, sure. No, I don't have any money. Hey, I am dirt poor. Now. You're taller than I thought you'd be. Who are you calling tall? Who that? She had a name. Oh no! Come back here, lady. It is always good to give a little. Nathbera, what was your order again? Oh, that's not helpful. Dance! Aww. Aww. Uh oh, bar fight. St st everyone calm down. You're there. You're the hero of Baldur's Gate. That title's a bit grand. I only did what anyone would have done. You'd be confused with someone else, friend. What if I am? I'm sure of it. It's you. Can you help settle this? I don't want to have to call Ithiel and the other enforcers. Ithel? Ithel? It's like Ethel, but with an I. This isn't your business, stranger. Keep out of it. I was just trying to talk to her. A fight would damage the bar. People could get hurt. At least take this outside. Why fight when you can drink? That's all I'm saying. Let's sit down and have another round. I'm making it my business. Stand down. Ten seconds. That's how much time you have before I start splitting skulls. The wise among you will start running now. Look for it! Cheese it! You are welcome here. Greetings, hero. Uh, greetings. I dealt with those rowdies for you. How you got those sailors to stand down, I couldn't tell you. Take this bit of gold as thanks. Glad I didn't have to call Ithel down here. Keep your gold. I'm just happy I was able to help. Much appreciated. This is all you have. I suppose it will do. Have a good night, sir. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars is not enough. I had a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. I'd like it back. I killed a lot of things for that money. Pleasure to meet you. 
Silver Shield's a fool, putting his trust in you. He clutches a viper to his breast. A viper? Keep a good Am I the viper? Now. Neat. Fighty. The city stands thanks to you and doing better than ever. I know, right? I'm amazing. Worship me. Have a good day, sir. Someone ought to. It is always good to give a little tip. Very good night to you. Can I get something from the bar? Nothing right now. Tell me, do you ever have trouble with the patrons here? Not usually. Bellow Glen runs the inn well. Our patrons know better than to drink too much or start a fight. You're a beautiful woman, though. You must get a lot of attention. Now and then, you must get some troublemakers, though. Good to know. What do you serve here? The other servers here and I are all experienced hunters. We can take care of ourselves. I'm an experienced adventurer myself. I could best you. That sort of talk isn't appreciated here. Do you want a drink or not? No, I do not. Can't hardly move in these streets. Oh, watch where you're going. Bloody heroes think they should worship the ground they walk on. I mean, you should worship the ground I walk on. I saved the world by killing my brother. It was quite a feat. Sometimes I get special meal requests. I ignore them. Say yes to one and soon people will want no mushrooms in their mushroom soup. But mushrooms are delicious. Is always good to give a little tip. I'm afraid I don't have time to talk. If you're looking for a drink, one of the bartenders downstairs can help you. I want to talk to anybody downstairs. They were all smug poop heads. Bear, barely. Oh, there, stranger. Come and have a drink with us. Shut up. I didn't yawn. You yawn. Yawn, 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 yawn. You seem in high spirits this night, friends. I'll not drink with the likes of you. Why wouldn't we be? We've a roof over our heads, food and drink. More than we've had since the Shining Lady's bloody crusade drove us from the Troll Claws. You arrived in town recently, then. Really? To whom do we owe this feast? Tell me, friend. Do you know a man named Ophelis, a chunky fellow? Bit of a half-wit. Harmless one. Ophelis, aye, we know him. We know him well. Shut up, barely. You... Friend, how do you know Ophelis? I encountered him earlier. Did not have the air of one who happily parted with his gold you spend with such abandon. He stole some gold from me. That's besides the point. You hurt the man badly, and that cannot go unanswered. Let's get straight to the point. First point. At least you may face several others before this is done. You have my gold. I want it back. Who are you? What do you want with us? I'm Dickie Milady, hero of Baldur's Gate. The gold you stole from Ophelis belonged to me. I would like it back, and I would like justice for the innocent man you beat so viciously. Who am I? They call me Turkey Milady, among other things. Hero of Baldur's Gate, Slayer of Saravark, Destroyer of the Iron Throne. Want the money you took from Ophelis. My money. I'm the man who will see every last one of you lie dead at my feet unless the gold you stole is returned to me immediately. I like that one. We don't have the gold. This banquet you enjoy is certainly impressive. But... You could have not spent all my gold on it. What? You assault an innocent man for money, and then you don't even keep your ill-gotten gains? Then you have a problem. A fatal one. The journey to Baldur's Gate was long and hard, and our time here has been no easier. We're skin and bones. This is the first decent meal we've had in two months or more. Our story is hardly unique, I know. Thousands who fled the crusade huddle in the streets of this city, cold, hungry, and alone. We took the treasurer's gold not just to help ourselves, but others who share in our plight. Don't fuck about any of your problems. That was mine. I was hoarding it. Mine, 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 mine. You gave the rest of the gold to those who needed it? You're missing the point, friend. It wasn't Ophelis's gold you took. It was mine 
and I need it now. The only plight that matters is my own. If you cannot give me my money, I'll take what satisfaction I can from painting this bar red with your blood. Do you need it more than the mothers and children starving on the streets? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. You want it, and that's fair enough. I understand that. But the gold saved many lives, or at least prolonged them a time. If we must be punished for that, so be it. I'll gladly die knowing I did so in service to a higher cause. And, if we're not killed, a cell in the Flaming Fist will at least offer a roof over our head and a meal a day. It's more than many have right now. You did what you thought right. I cannot bring myself to judge you harshly for it. Enjoy your food and your drink, and think well of me in the days to come. Fair as well as circumstances allow. Your heart might have been in the right place, but what about Ophelis? You beat the man within an inch of his life. I can't allow thievery and assault to go unchallenged in the city. Go downstairs and turn yourself in to Captain Corwin of the Flaming Fist. You'll not see a cell. All that awaits you is a pumper's grave. Ha ha ha! You're right. We needed what we took. That doesn't excuse what we did. We'll turn ourselves in. Farewell, hero. Motherfuckers stole all of my golds. Will you kiss my baby? He's at home, but if you stay here, I'll go get him. You keep your disease-filled baby away from me. Are you talking to me? I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, do you not? Money! You all saw nothing. Lord Maxwell, there's no doubting it. Now is the time to remove the Council of Four and take the city for ourselves. Hush, someone's here. You there. This is a private room. What do you... Yeah, Dirky Milady, aren't you? The hero of Baldur's Gate. What are you doing here? I couldn't help but overhear you. You want to depose the Council of Four? I want in. A better question is what you're doing here. Oh, what precisely did you hear? Treason against the rulers of this great city. Things you really don't want to make their way to the Grand Dukes. Let's talk about how much you're ready to spend to make sure that doesn't happen. Shall we? Nothing. I've heard many times since Saravok's fall, the council is weak. They must be removed. I heard three nobles plotting against the rulers of Baldur's Gate. A plot. I would very much like to be a part of. I suggest we convene another time. Good night to all of you. The only place you're going is prison. I'm happy to let you noble folk go on your way and happier still to forget what I've heard this night. For a price. Don't be so anxious to leave, my lady. I have no love for the council. And at the moment, the city has a great love of me. I could be of much use to people like yourselves. If you think we'll lay down and die without a fight, you best think again. Got you. Neat. Die, honky. <laughs> Explosions. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Crisis thwarted. $600, $200. Lord Maxwell, the time has come to take action. Araya agrees with me that we can't risk openly challenging the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. They wield too much influence, and their motives cannot be trusted. I've heard disturbing whispers regarding the killer of Saravok, whom the Dukes are now in league with. How can we trust them to lead our city and reap the profits thereof? Meet us at the three old kings on the morrow, and we'll decide on a plan of action. Elric should also be joining us burn this letter mine oh i can't pick it up okay uh you don't have a lot of room what do we have here i don't think i need 
A latch in this heavy sewer ring allows it to open on a hinge. Dozens of keys may be threaded. So, can I just... Oh. 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 Cool. Page from Saravox. No. Okay. Now we can take all of their stuff. Like this and this and this. I don't know, maybe we'll need the seditious letter to turn them in. A scribbled list of fine dining establishment lies on this desk, next to a parchment detailing some of the finer delights to be had in Baldur's Gate. Where were we were supposed to find friends here? What is it, Bo? Oh. I've never seen you so. Ah, can it be? Is this the hero of Baldur's Gate I see? It is I, Minsk. It's been too long. You know of me. I wouldn't want to speculate on exactly what you see, Minsk, but yes, I am here, and I need your help. Minsk, I have need of you. Boo's giant shrunken heart thrills to see you again, as does my own. Oh, it's squeaky. Let's end it. I hate it, squeaks. How are you? Worse now than I was a day ago. I'm journeying to the north. I was hoping Boo and you, of course, would join me. I was fine up until this morning. Now I'm going on a journey. I'd like you to come with me. Bye. I just forgot what you were like. I'll be going now. <laughs> Boo and I would journey to at least seven of the hills and back for you. Probably all nine, but Boo says, Minsk, be realistic. This, you know. <laughs> But we cannot leave our friend Dinah here undefended. She is here then? Excellent. I want to speak with her too. I wouldn't ask you to. I'm hoping she will come too. Dinah here can take care of herself well enough. But if you will not join me without her, I guess I'd best speak to her. You are wise as Boo. A young Boo. Before he was as wise as he is now. Few are that wise, you understand. Come, I shall take you to Dinah here. Dinah here. Someone would like to speak with you. Okay, I don't want to speak with her. You're kind of making me. How many times must I tell you, Minsk, I'll not debate Boo on the merits of... Is everything all right? Why art thou here? I need your help, Dinah here. It's been a while since I heard someone well and truly mangle the common tongue. I missed it. Come morning, I journey north to Dragonspear Castle. I would have you join me. I know not what thou speakest of. Common words never sound better than when they're twixt my lips. Ooh, you stop. You flirt. I mean only to say you have a unique way with words, not an unpeeling one. Far from it. I wouldn't touch that line with a ten-foot barge pole. Soon I will destroy, and soon I will journey north to Dragonspear Castle. I would have you join me. What dost thou want of me? Your company. Soon I will journey north. I would have you join me. I need help. I mean, I'm talking to Minsk, obviously. I need help. But more than that, I need people I can trust to join me on a journey. To Dragonspear Castle! I no longer know. Forgive me this intrusion, Dinah here. I'll leave you and Minsk to your affairs. Thou wouldst face the Shining Lady, then. She tried to kill me. She very nearly killed someone I care deeply for. Can't let that stand. I have little choice in the matter. She sent assassins to try and kill me this morning. I'll do much more than that to her if I have my way. I know of this woman. There are those who believe her to be a daughter of the divine, perhaps even a child of Baal. She merits further investigation and is the reason I still linger in the region. Thine offer is accepted. Minsk and I will travel north with thee. And with Boo. Of course. You would be lost without thy hamster. Prepare yourself, Boo. We are about to embark on another epic adventure. I hate him 
And I hate his dumbass hamster. What? What? I don't know what these people are. He's a ranger and she's an invoker? I don't know what those words mean. So she can have a sling, dart, dagger, quarterstaff. Uh, we don't have any quarterstaff, so I'll give her a dagger. Oh, damn. She went up to level nine? Is it like that? Holy fuck. All right. Two proficiency slots. Two-handed sword. Really? So he could be like Dorn then, huh? Does he have proficiency in two weapon style? Okay. And he uses the longbow as well. I think we're going to keep boosting him up then. Move silently, hide in shadows. Really? All right, well that's good. I'm going to I'm just going to keep boosting up his two-handed weapon style. All right, there's one in that. And Oh, two weapon style. Oh, I thought that was two handed. I don't know then. That's what I do. But look, he has two handed sword. That doesn't help if he's got two weapon style. That's fucking dumb. Can we remove those proficiencies? What? He's. We could put two maces on him. That seems kind of stupid. Oh, I don't like the way he's built. Oh, this is gross. Uh, I'm going to just go with the, the two-handed weapon style. Screw that. We'll just give him the... The, the, uh, the two-handed sword. Oh, why would they do that to him? I mean, the longbow is nice. I guess. So we can do some range stuff. We can we can find a bow for him for sure. But yeah, I think we're gonna stick with the two-handed. Yeah. He seems pretty weak though. As far as like health goes. His strength is pretty solid. It's not like Dorn. Dorn was at 19, but his strength is not bad. His constitution isn't great. 88 is not fantastic. But all right. Yeah, we'll 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 allow him to like smack things in the face. Simply no standards these days. What are you doing in here? This is a private room. Sorry. I didn't know this room was occupied. I'll be leaving immediately. You should post a guard if you want to keep people out. It's customary around these parts. I'm just going to have a look around first, if I may. You may enter my quarters uninvited and try to tell me it's my fault. Bartleby! Oh, yes. Yes, Delenda. I heard you. The entire inn heard you. What is it? Supposed to be my bodyguard, Bartleby. Do your job! This ruffian refuses to leave. I'm truly sorry for upsetting. I'm done here anyways. I go where I please. Interfere with me at your own peril. A bit late for that. What do you mean, upsetting a lady like this? I have half a mind to cut you in twain. There's no need for violence. I'm going. Half a mind is about all you've got from the sounds of it. I'm leaving, all right? I've dealt with worse than you. Raise your hand to me and you'll be the one on the floor. Attack me at your peril. My years of training make me a warrior without equal. It's kind of true. Look, the lady hired me for a bodyguard, right? And that's what I'm doing. Trying to, anyway. You're better at this than me, I can tell. What are you waiting for, Bartleby? Attack him. My life's worth more than what you pay, ma'am. You fight him! <laughs> okay. okay. Ah, jewels. 
I don't I don't understand what just transpired, but uh it make me giggle. It make me giggle. I was gonna say, did we keep all of the stuff we have? Hell yeah, we did. Okay. Here, my friend. Oh wait. No. Here, have some garbage. Blatow. Also, boots. I don't know what the boots do. I'm not gonna have you equip them. There's a dagger. And a cloak. We'll figure out what those things do at some point or another. Dude, they got freak nasty. Oh shit. Oh shit, they got nasty. Oh, that's gross. I love it. I'm sad we were we were not able to voyeur. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Okay, I've got two friends now. Uh, can may we may we speak to other friend? Hello. Top of my to -do more wine? List. I'll not have any more myself, but you're decent enough company for the most part. For the most part. I slew three nobles upstairs. They were plotting against the city. Here, one of them was carrying this note. You should have come to me before taking matters into your own hands. The nobles attacked me. I was only defending myself. I understand. I'll take more care in the future. I dispense my own justice. At any rate, it's done now. I'll alert the Flaming Fist to come and make a proper investigation. Thy veerest too far from the path of right. What? Thine steps. Why did I? Why did? It, why did it go down? Who huh. has not said anything more out wine? of politeness? I'll not have any more myself, no, but a decent enough company for the most part. For the most part. Compliment. Is that how it was intended? I don't think I will. I know a compliment when I hear one. You noticed. Good eye. <laughs> You're a woman of refinement. I'm noticing a lot of things about you. I have two eyes, actually, and they're better than good. I've been told they're spectacular. You seem pretty observant yourself. Tell me what you make of me. And how much had the person who told you that had to drink? A lot. Just joking. They're pretty good eyes, I'll give you that. Finish up what you need to do here, and I'll follow you out when you leave. What have we here? Captain Shale Corwin, allow me to introduce Dinah here in Minsk of Russiaman. Oh, exactly what we have here. You brought me here to get them. You can meet them on your own time. I have more important things to do. And this is Boo. Say hello, Boo. It's a long way to Dragon Spear, Dirty Milady. Are you sure you want to bring the hamster along? I'm sure Minsk will prove invaluable, as will Boo. The hamster and the ranger are a package deal, I'm afraid. You question me, Captain Corwin. Don't. All right, if that's the way you want it, I'll follow you out when you leave. Finished? I'm ready to head out when you are. Someone tried to kill me tonight, and I'm in a bar. Hells, no, I'm not finished. Hey, right, I guess out we go. I don't know why we took a hit on our reputation for dealing with seditious traitors. Like, what did I do wrong? They came at me, bruh. I don't remember where she said people yeah, were. I'll get right on that. Iron Throne. Elf Song. Flame and Fist. I think she said someone was at the Flaming Fist. I think she said people were at Elf Song. I don't know where we should go next. We should reach the Iron Throne building soon. 
Eltan wanted you to speak with a Salunite monk helping out there, name of Rasad in Bashir. What's this, uh -oh. Bison? Huh? What is this? It's all I have, I swear. Well, you better have some more next time I see you. Oh, did he just punch people? Is this guy? Yeah, Riggs. I'll get right on it never ends with you people. What is it you want now? Is this the Iron Throne building? Little enough. Certainly nothing that calls for such acrimony. Take that tone with me, mercenary. I serve the flaming fist. I'll take whatever tone I want. Be on your way before I lose my patience. Oh, gods, it never ends with you people. What is it you want now? It was. Now it's home to the worthless scum that have overrun the city. Try to put yourselves in their shoes, my friends. Don't be so quick to judge. As opposed to the worthless scum that run this city? They are not without value. The weak always have need of the strong, and the wise, strong man can profit greatly from that. Half of them don't even have shoes. Well, the Council of Four should never let them come here. They'll be the ruin of this city. Mark me on that. All right, so that guy just, like, punched the hell out of somebody? We can't be on the street all night. Does the council expect us to sleep on cobblestones? Probably. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You've really done it this time, Bison. Are you alright, sir? Done what exactly? Does this involve the fist soldier that was bothering you? I'll leave you to continue doing it, whatever it is. Riggs? No, no. He... he's helping me find... helping me find my cat. I don't believe you. No, oh, I'm not fooling anyone. I'm not all right. That, that, that flaming fist thug Riggs has taken everything I've got, and it's not enough. If I can't find more gold, he'll beat me worse than he did poor Yasun. I'm doomed. 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 What? This perf perfidy? How do you say that word? Perfidy. Perfidy, perfidy, per perfidy. What is that? Per perfidy, fitty, neck bone. Perfidy, perfidy, perfidy. No perfidy. What is perfidy? Perfidy. Deceitfulness, untrustworthiness, treachery, disloyalty. Hmm. I'm not fooling anyone. What? This perfidy will not stand your persecutor's name is Riggs, is it? We will have words, he and I. Calm yourself, friend. I'll take care of this. I have some sway with the Council of Four. We're all doomed in the end. Fear Truly? Oh, thank you, thank you, and bless you. If you can rid me of that plague, Riggs, you'll be doing all who seek refuge in Baldur's Gate a service. I'll return when I've finished with him. I am the hero of Baldur's Gate. Dealing with people like Riggs is what heroes of Baldur's Gate do, right? I think so. Stay here. Rig should Riggs return, stand your ground confident in the knowledge that his schemes near an end. I shall await you here, then, and pray for your success. Fare thee well. Fare thee well, good sir. Now, who's the unconscious friend you have here? Oh, the rat has nothing to say to me? Let's see about that. I can't walk. Move! Ah, uh, Corwin! What is it you want now? Been stealing from the people you were assigned to protect. There will be a reckoning for that. Let's talk about corrupt flaming fist officers assigned to look after these refugees. I've heard that a flaming fist officer lines his pocket with the refugee's gold. You know anything about that? It's nothing you can do for me, scum. Oh, 
Bible says something here stinks of evil. We will find it, and then oh, there will be a reckoning for its backside, I tell you this. Oh, we're going to give him spankies? Slap the tuckets. Best show some respect. I serve the flaming fist. Get out of here before I leave my patience. What? What is it you want now? You've been stealing from people you were assigned to protect. There'll be a reckoning for that. Needs every able-bodied person he can get to stay on top of things in the city. Even if I were taking a little bonus, Duke Eltan can't afford to dismiss a loyal fighter with 15 years service. Miscreants like you are no benefit to the Flaming Fist. Return what you've stolen or pay the price. Probably right about that. Unfortunately for you, Duke Elton isn't here. Having met Duke Elton, I can assure you, you'll have no problem in dismissing a corpse. Are the fruits of your crime worth dying for? Miscreants. I'm gonna call him a miscreant. Oh, hells. Here. Here's everything I got from them. Take it. Please, just... Don't do anything to me. I got two girls to take care of and a wife and my kids too. And you have to care for the refugees as well. Do not fail them a second time. Take care of them, Riggs, and yourself. I don't want to have to do this again, understand? Enjoy the rest of your night, officer. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm on the straight and narrow now. You've got me right, I swear it. Now just leave me be, yeah? We probably made him angrier, right? Like, now that we did that, he's probably going to get even more pissed off and taken out on more people, right? It's usually how that works. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Have you... Have you had a chance to speak with Riggs about, you know, about what he's been doing yet? Dumb people like that don't process things well. They don't process things well. They tend to take their frustrations out on those around them, so... Who wants to wager that he's going to go home and, like, kick the shit out of his wife and kids because we basically kicked the shit out of him? You won't worry... You won't have to worry about him anymore. Here's the gold he stole from you and your fellow refugees. I hope I can trust you to return it to his rightful owners. I dealt with him, and I got the gold he stole. And by a lucky coincidence, that was the exact amount of gold I'd have asked of you to retrieve it. So we can call it even. You're welcome. I haven't yet, but I will, I assure you. Be patient, my friend. When I do, I will tell you. Until then, Hester is someone else. Oh, this is wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. You've done a great thing this night. Bless you. Bless you. What, my reputation didn't go up? Yeah. I stop a sedition and my reputation takes a hit. I fucking return money to poor people and it's like, yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. Game, you make no sense to me. No sense. I guess we're gonna have a party with a completely different makeup. It's kind the of. The throne building doesn't look the same as the last time you were here, does it? The council's using it to house refugees fleeing the crusade. I'm cool with having like a different party makeup. It'll uh, shake things up. A noble gesture. What am I looking for here? Waste of resources. Better spend preparing for battle with Kaler. The Grand Dukes thought so. The day-to-day -day operations are handled by priests and monks of different faiths. I'll be here if you need me. Try not to get into any trouble. Oh. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Trouble finds me. Oh. This is you. You you healed the sleeping man, but who are you? you with outstretched hand. Peace be with you, friend. I hope you can bring some cheer to these souls. Cheer. Would you like me to get them drunk? I'm so tired. I can scarce believe we made it after all that walking. Who are you, foul creatures? Lon? 
I'm not allowed to interact with Lot. You are more than welcome in my sight. It was right here. I know it was. What you was? My greetings, faithful one. What was right here? What is this? Rasad. Truly you I see before me? Well met, Rasad. It is good to see you again. You know me, monk. No, Rasad, your eyes do not deceive you, though in a moment you might wish they had. Tiffons! And you, my friend. How have you been? We we met him. We never, like, took him out on any adventurings. Well, and you? I was nearly killed earlier this evening, but I wasn't... So, all things considered, I guess I'm doing well. I yet live. That's all that matters in the end. Nearly killed, you say? What happened? I take it you know of Kalar's crusade. The Shining Lady Kalar happened, or assassins who bore her mark did at any rate. A trio of assassins in service to Kalar Argent penetrated the Ducal Palace and attempted to kill me and Imowen. Is Imowen all right? She got the worst of the attack. It's left her shaken, but she'll survive. Whether the same can be said for Kalar Argent remains to be seen. She'll live. There's more than I can say for Kalar. Ah, this is no social call then. I gather you mean to take the battle to Kalar herself. Indeed. You know there are few things I would not do for you, my friend. But I cannot help you with this. What? While most focus on Kalar's crusade, another, more subtle darkness is spreading. In the past few weeks, many servants of Selune have vanished. Art thou certain foul play has occurred? These are turbulent times. Perhaps thy colleagues are engaged in their own business and simply neglected to tell thee. I cannot deny the possibility, but it is a risk I cannot afford to take. That's never happened before, where our party members actually talk to the other characters. Forgive me. There is not to forgive, my friend. The Selenites need you. I shall manage. Your company will be missed, Rasad. Fare thee well. I hope we meet again. Bye. Waste your time with rabble, with sheep and the memories of your brother to keep you company. I don't need you or anyone else to help me deal with the shining lady. Yeah, just walk away with our tail between our legs. My feelings. <laughs> May the moon maiden smile upon you in your efforts. Dirty milady. Well, that's a shame. Yes, friend. Can I be of service? You... Could be if you were to face Kalar at my side. Perhaps you've spent some time in the company of those who fled Kalar's crusade. What have you learned Precious of her? Little, I'm afraid. What I've heard is second hand at best. Boo says it is better to have a second hand than no hands at all. This is the wisdom of the space hamster. Perhaps thou should let the monk speak, Minsk. Rasad. Thou wert telling us of the Shining Lady. Her followers seem to fall into two broad categories. Mercenaries of various races hired to do her bidding, and those she has recruited to her cause. There is some dispute over which is more fearful. Of the woman herself, most know of her through her followers' actions. Few have seen her personally. Those who do tend to side with her afterwards. She is, by all accounts, a powerful personality, with a charisma that overwhelms her enemies as much as any sword she wields. Families have been torn apart because of her. Brother turned against brother. A dire situation. Thank you, Rasad. You've been very helpful. Dire indeed. And I'm right in the middle of it. Again. The situation is well in hand. Kaler's threat will be dealt with in short order. It is your destiny to do great things. You can embrace it or no. But fate will not be denied. Please excuse me now. There are matters I must attend to. May you find favor in Salune's eyes. No, I want you yes, in my friend. party. Can I be of service? You could be. The monk has made his intentions clear. This pathetic attempt to elicit guilt for his decision is beneath thee. She saw through my ruse. <laughs> be anything but that. And I will do what I can to help you. I'm sorry you won't be joining me, but you must do what honor demands, of course. I am glad you understand. Now, if you will right. excuse me, 
I have matters I must attend Rasad will not join. What a poopy. The Kalashite man has been a great help to us. No, even I find him preachy. I'm so tired. Whenever I close my eyes, I see the crusade destroying our town. That image will haunt me for all my days. I'm so tired. Holy symbol. Yell, yell, fight, fight. What can it be now? You're mad, woman. I haven't stolen anything. What's the problem here? Perhaps I can be of assistance. You're disturbing those around you. What is this about? Be silent, the both of you. Your petty squabbling grates on my ears. My name is Berta. I saw him staring at my holy symbol this morning, and now it's gone. He stole it. Are you a priestess then, my lady? What does this symbol of yours look like? Do you any proof he took it? It was a round silver pendant of Salune's symbol. Seven stars around a woman's eyes. You're a priestess of Saloon, then? What evidence is there that this man took your symbol? You've had a hard lesson this day. Learn from it and move on. My grandmother was... She passed the symbol down to my mother, and she to me. I hid it from the Crusaders and carry it all the miles from home to here. I want it back. Describe this holy symbol to me, please. Do you have any actual evidence this man took it? No, she doesn't, because I didn't take it. I already lost my home and everything I owned. To be accused of thievery on top of everything else? I'll not stand for it. She must have reason to suspect you. Are you a priestess, Berta? What did the holy symbol look like? Stand for it, sit for it, hang from your ankles for it, all I care. I was wasted enough time on this nonsense. Farewell. As I said, Lon was staring at the symbol when I polished it this morning. Couldn't take his eyes off of it. He must have seen me put it in my pack's hidden pocket. There's no other way anyone could find it. When I returned from... Doing my business? I caught him leaning over my stuff. He jumped back with a guilty look on his face. The pack was cut open. My amulet was gone. May I be of assistance? These refugees are my responsibility, and I believe I detect some tension here. This man, Lon, has been accused of thievery. The woman claims he took her holy symbol. He stole my holy symbol. He all but had his hand in my pack when I caught him. I noticed a tear in Berta's pack. I was checking to see if anything had been taken. Does not address all the available facts. There is a simple solution to all this. Let's search him, see if he has the amulet upon his person. Flimsy story, Lun. Tell us another. Thank you. I'm glad someone believes me. You can't really believe he's innocent. I practically caught him with the amulet in his hand. Lon... Would you consent to being searched to see if you carry the amulet upon your person? But you didn't actually see him take it. We'll need more evidence before I accept Lon's guilt. This is a matter of the flaming fist. Summon an officer. No, there's... There's no need. None of you understand. I used to live on a farm near the woods. Life was simple and easy. I wanted for nothing. I could... I could hunt. Now I'm here in a city with nothing. I needed money! Everyone here has lost their homes. You have no right to steal from another to rebuild your own life. You thought you'd just help yourself to whatever you could find. You're a common thief, nothing more. Summon the authorities, monk. I'll do what I must to survive. You'll not stand in my way. Uh-oh. <gasps> He's a werewolf! Who's Berta? Did she, like, die? Did she run away? Where's Berta? I just exploded. Is it Berta? Gods above all this time, he could have killed us all. I'll never be able to forget that horrible sight. Never! I don't even want to see that amulet again. It'll only remind me of how close I came to death. 
Who killed the rat? Why did you kill the rat, priest? Oh. It is a good thing you were here, hero. I do not know if I could have defeated the werewolf alone. In the end, we did what we had to do. Then it's fortunate indeed I was present. Monster got the fate he deserved. That's all that matters. I will take care of Lon's body and make sure no one was hurt. Thank you again. You're welcome? Are we, can we not talk to Corwin? Nope, we're not allowed not to talk. said anything out of politeness, but I know he is unhappy without direction. Top of my to-do list. I didn't mean to do bad things. Quit judging me. <laughs> I quit it. I stopped bad people. This day and age. Top of my to do list. The upper levels are packed with refugees, and the odor of unwashed bodies keeps you on the main floor. Smell does rise. Please help us. I trust you are here in good faith. I'm so tired. So we came here to get like two experience. Please. I was kind of hoping we'd accidentally stumble upon, like, one of our other characters, you know? Doesn't look like it, huh? Alright, well. I guess we're done there. I don't think there's anything we can do. If he's not going to join me, right, then he's not going to join me. Is there anything here that says of it? My misfortune recruitment drive, is that it? Is there anything that specifically mentioned our buddy there, or did we just finish whatever it was? Yeah. Alright, uh, let's go to the Flaming Fist then, huh? I guess We're we can recruit. Flaming Fist headquarters. There's a cleric being held there. Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk to a madman like Tiax is beyond me. Oh, we're gonna get a cleric, huh? That's kind of yeah, cool. I'll get right on that. Have we been introduced? I feel I would remember someone of your mean. Such riffraff everywhere. You there? Yes, you. I'll give you a purse of gold for each one of these flaming fist thugs you run off. What's going on here? I'll just take the gold. I really don't need a purse. You'll need to give me more than that to cross this city's protectors. We were just out having a little fun, not really doing anything, just taking in the sights, you know, and we weren't doing anything wrong other than being out after curfew, you know, but then these thugs came along, and you've got to help us. Please, 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 you're the hero of Baldur's Gate. Please, you've got to help us. Steady on, Rolf. This is nothing to be afraid of. They're mercenary scum. Our fathers eat people like this for breakfast. The Flaming Fist protects this city, and your father's boy shows some respect. And you mercenaries... Do yourself a disservice harassing children thus. Be on your way. Enjoy your beatings, boys. Unfortunately for you, your fathers aren't here right now. They're all yours, mercenary. Me mum, me commanding officer, and Lathander. Those are who I answer to in order. You're not any of them, which is unfortunate for you. Because if you were, you wouldn't be about to get the thrashing of your bloody life. Get them, boys! Uh, are we gonna fight the Flaming Fist? Alright. 
The city certainly has Good show, you see, Rolf. I told you we had nothing to fear from that rabble. We had plenty to fear. Time Mora smiled upon us this night. We got lucky. Thank you, my lord. We are in your debt. It was nothing. In future, take care where you wander and what you wear when doing so. Hard times can drive even the noblest soul to evil. So you are. And money. We'll call it even. Not for long. Give me everything you've got. Here, please, take this gem as a token of our appreciation for your help. Good help. We had those louts right where we wanted them. Shut up, Karen. Just shut up. Dung, desperation, and impotent rage. That's the smell of Flaming Fist Justice. Why have you brought me to Flaming Fist Headquarters? The smell of Tiax. I can't say I'm looking forward to seeing him. It's the smell of something, that's for sure. What's our purpose here? It's not Terry here. The Flaming Fist Headquarters offers nothing I desire. What? Thought you wanted to talk to TX. Remind me of who that is? Oh, yes, the mad cleric of Cyric. I forgot about him. I like to keep forgetting about him. TX? Never heard of him. I've had my fill of talking this night. Let's be on our way. You'll be hearing plenty if you choose to talk to him. All right, what do they have? $12. $12. $12. $12. We have a thousand dollars now. Um, yeah. you, you, be my mule. Ah. Huh? All right, perfect. 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 I'm stuck on a horse. to-do list. Thanks for the shelter, my flaming first friend. Aside from the urine, the Akam Hick. I wanted to talk to him. I will do what I can ah, help. hello, hello. And how are you this fine day, night, whatever it is? I said move along, you addled drunkard. Please, officer, the poor fellow is obviously in distress. What's happened to him? Let's move along there, sir. You don't want to upset the Flaming Fist. They tend to bellow, and judging by the grayness of your skin and the redness of your eyes, you've enough of a headache as it is. Listen to the mercenary, you reeking lackwit. No time to waste on the likes of you. By poor man, you mean once Lord Dotson, late of the Order of Aster? Ask him yourself if you really want to know. He delights in the telling the tale. You do me a d disservice. I take no joy in my story, but I hope it will 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 deter those tempted to walk the low road to drink debauchery and <laughs> debauchery. Tell me your story, Lord Dostin. There's few things I like better than a good tale of debauchery and debauchery. Let's hear it. No time to listen to a fallen knight's tale of woe. Be gone. Attend to my words, heed me, that you may, strong where I was weak, stay true where I faltered, stay, stay. Did I mention strong? Hm. Anyway, as a paladin in the Order of Aster, I served a great man, On Argent was his name. A more worthy servant, Lathander, has never had. Worthy soul, then. But, if you served under him, how have you come to this? On Argent, you say? See any relation to Kaler Arjun? No interest in your tales of Lathander's puppets be gone. The tales I could tell you of Kaler, my friend. She was a hellacious child, but her uncle, noble, on, was patient with her. It cost him everything. It cost me everything. I, I... He'll be out for days now. See if he isn't. I leave him to the vultures, but for all his faults, he's a good enough sort. He seemed to know Kaler Argent. Has he told you anything of her? I'll take your word for it. Before he collapsed, he was talking about Kaler? You waste your time in Flaming Fist resources and carrying that for besotted lackwit. She caused his fall, or so he claims. He's never been very clear on how exactly. Something to do with his mentor? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've fallen paladin to love to a cell. Okay. 
Good for him. Good for him. I'm so tired. Order is what matters. Crowd just keeps growing. The flies on a corpse. I do like corpsey flies. They're delicious. Oh my god. All right, in we go. Let's go talk to TX. I guess we'll be recruiting him, maybe. Sort of, kind of. Head down the hall and keep on going through the central chamber into the wing opposite this one. Or just follow the ranting. Either one will get you to the maniac. I'll wait here for you. Oh, will you? Top of my to-do list. Top, 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 top of my to-do list. Top of my to-do list. Please, help us. Don't stare at I'm me. So tired. You could have killed us and you didn't. So we owe you for that. Who are you? I'm so tired. At least it's warm in here. Speak quickly, citizen. I have paying time for this. it now. I don't know who you are. We're more than mercenaries. The cell locks are unpickable, designed and constructed by Hal Bazar himself. Hal Bazar? Hal Bazar? I don't know who those people are. Oh, are those the people that we sent here? The ones that stole from Ophelus. Order is what matters. Don't give any items to the prisoners. No physical contact. No touching. I serve the flaming fist. I serve the flaming fist. Let me know if there's anything I can help with, sir. Nothing. You rabble. Riffraff. Thug. Aha! This was my cell. I have fond memories of it. What are you doing? No! I wanted to talk to the dumb guard. We're more than mercenaries. Half of these scum are refugees from up north. No money and no manners. They deserve to be locked up. Ah, right. That's great attitude. People fleeing from invaders and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're terrible. Mm-hmm. Because they had a choice. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, good, good. The second floor is securely locked to guard. No one is permitted upstairs. Unless you have business with the fist, I'll have to ask you to move on. I'm Turkey, my lady. I've come to speak with the prisoner TX. Just be moving along then. A good night to you, officer. Waste of time, but it's your time to waste. He's through the door. We're more than mercenaries. We're pretty busy here, unless there's something you need. Move it along. You, come here. TX commands you. Well met, TX. How are you doing this night? Oh, right. You're like this. Are we going now? No one commands me. How is TX doing? What sort of question is that for the Master of All? Would not one upset the Master of All by being rude? Master of All, you. My time is valuable, madman. I'll waste no more of it on you. Then you are wise. Perhaps when TX takes what is rightfully his, you will be spared. You may go now. Before I do, I have a boon to ask of you. Yes. I think that would be for the best. Ah! Finally! He gets to the point. You want something from TX? Well, what is it? What can this humble servant of Almighty Zurich do for you? I was going to ask you to join me on a journey north. You believe you're humble? Help me kill a woman named Kaler. Nay, Sirik has given TX a vision. You go to your doom, child of all. TX will not join you. He will stay here in his court, where it is safe. Sirik has declared it so. Are you sure? Try to change your mind if I believed you actually possessed one. You're as useless as your god. TX has spoken. Be gone! Really? Who dares prod TX? What have you joined me on a great adventure, TX? Sirik has promised glory to all who fight at my side. Sirik said this to you? 
You dare go over TX's head? TX will grind your bones to paste, you gaping mackerel. Die, die, die in TX's name! You are lucky TX chooses to await his destiny in the cell. By your luck, this will run out when he rules. Tremble in terror, the day is coming! Now be gone, TX would have a nap. I guess he won't be joining us. Lovely. Lovely. Well, I have two people. You have a fair number of friends, but we should head back to the Ducal Palace. You need to get some rest before we head out in the morning. I'm not done in this city yet. I want to finish up a few things first. As you like it, I'll stick with you until you decide to go back to the palace. Why are you trying to rush me, girl? It's messed up. Where are you, boss? All right, to Elf Song. We aren't far from the Elf Song Tavern few people you might want to speak with, Safana, Koran, and the Bard Garrick, have been seen there recently. Or if you'd like to get some supplies for the journey to Dragonspear, we can go to Sorceress Sundries. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Where are you, boss? If I don't find a place soon, I'll be turning myself out for tricks just so I can get a warm bed for a night. Desperate times, these. I'm so tired. I really don't so care tired. what these people have to say. I have nothing and no one cares. You must gather your party before Just, venturing forth. Uh, what? Corwin's in the way. The Elf Song Tavern. A little pretentious for my taste. I'll wait for you here. As you wish. Who am I here to find again? You're not much of a bodyguard, are you? A bard named Garrick, though why a bard would spend time here is beyond me. House rules discourage singing, at least by those of Garrick's ilk. There's also Safana and Corin, a pair of unsavory characters staying upstairs. Belt thinks might be of use. Why he'd think that, I don't know. But it's not my place to argue with a Grand Duke. All if you need me. Okay. Yeah, I'll get right on that. My child grows up. I hope he's just like you. I hope not. Chicken farmer, you say? Uh huh. Uh huh. Go on. Can't hardly move in these. Have a good day. You have a good day. Yes. No. I don't have any money to spend on your dumb whiskey. Good night to you, my lord. I'm Lady Aelith Elendara, owner of this establishment. How can I be of service to the hero Baldur's Gate? You know who I am. You must hear all sorts of interesting things working in a tavern, especially these days. What can you tell me of Kalar Argent? I'm fine, thanks. All I want from you is silence. There are a few in this city who don't know the Slayer of Saravok. A few more today than yesterday, and a few more than the day before. But your fame grows nearly as fast as the population. These are trying times. How are you holding up with all the refugees coming in? Keep track of stories, then. Good. Tell me what you know of Kaler Argent. It matters not. The commenters are pathetic. They fall over themselves, praising whatever hero the Grand Dukes deign to give them. I could use about a dozen more waiting staff and some more people for the kitchen, but overall I can't complain. There are troublemakers amongst the newcomers, to be sure, but they don't make much trouble here. They're afraid of the ghost? They're afraid of the clientele, not an unreasonable concern. Some of my patrons have a well-earned reputation for... Let's call it impatience? They like it here and don't respond well to disruptive elements. I see. Thank you, milady. You have been most helpful. I'm sure you're very busy. I'll leave you to your labor now. Have your patrons told you anything of Kalar Arjun? The Shining Lady? Those that like her, love her, and those that don't, loathe her. She's driven the gods, know how many, from their homes these past months. But, of those, many tell of a friend or loved one who fell under her sway, willingly joining her cause, even after horrific indignities suffered at her fellower's hands. Thank you, milady. 
You've been most helpful. I'm sure you're busy. I'll leave you to your labors. She is a charismatic leader, then. That could cause problems. Ultimately, the weak will always serve the strong, hoping to be made strong themselves. A doomed ambition. They cling to it, nonetheless. We needn't worry about Kalar. A pact has been made between the Grand Dukes and the Lords of Waterdeep and Daggerford's mayor, though I can't imagine that being much help. In any case, Kalar's Sword Coast Adventures will soon be at an end. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to fill a few mugs before my customers Get start away, complaining. Crazy makers. Get away. Who's Irina? Oh, wait! I recognize you, don't I? It's not been long since we ventured together, Hazagaric. It's possible I'm Dirky Milady, hero of Baldur's Gate, but I don't recognize you. Recognize me if you must, but do not speak to me. Well, allow me to change that. I'm Garrick, a performer of no little renown, though the house rules regrettably prevent me from properly exhibiting my talents. Please, join me. What? Tell me your tale. What brings you here? I come seeking your help, Garrick. I embark on a journey north. I want you to join me. Looking for a pair of rogues, Safana and Corin. I heard they were here. The same two feet that will carry me away from this pointless conversation. Oh, you couldn't choose a worse time to make such a journey, my friend. You must know Kaler Argent's so-called crusade. We've yet to meet, but I know Kaler all too well. Agents in her service tried to kill me. I know of it, yes, but not enough. Assassins bearing Kaler's mark tried to cut me down in Ducal Palace, no less. Indeed I do, and I intend to see an end to it. Will you help me? She tried to slay the hero of Baldur's Gate? A bold move, but a risky one. Failure would surely draw you into the conflict. It would seem she judged the risk worth the reward. It has done exactly that. The only question is whether you will join me in this venture. While success would ensure, I w while success would ensure I wasn't, whatever her reasons, she must pay for her actions. I'm sorry, Dirky Milady. Had you asked me two weeks ago, it could have been a different story. I cannot leave the Elf Song now. I'm right on the verge of breaking through Aelith's facade of indifference. But I wish you well. May you find your good fortune in the North. Get away, you crazy craze makers! Get away! Great. You look like a good enough sort. So, no one wants to join me. Hold, friend! What have words with you? I heard you talking to that pitiful warbler, Garrick. Forgive me, my lady. I did not wish to disturb anyone. Garrick's not so bad. What of it? You are too kind. Far too kind. But I'll not argue with the hero of Baldur's Gate. You saved the city once, and I gather you intend to do so again. Baldur's Gate, the entire sore coast is in your debt. I am in your debt. Please, take this potion. It is a sorry reward for all you've done, I know. I'd offer more were I able, but perhaps it'll help you in some way. I hope it will. Fare thee well on your travels, Dirky Milady, and thanks again. Out! Get out, you vile poxy snake! I rue the day I heard your wretched name, you weasel. I'm a weasel and a snake? Doesn't make sense. Got a dagger, you know. Do you think I won't use it? Go! Get out of here! Get out of here! Do I know you? You don't recognize me, Corin? No, probably best if we kept it that way. Uh, no, I don't think so. Really? Bear an amazing resemblance to someone I once knew. No matter. Hope you have a good night, stranger. He's better than my own. Farewell. No, no. No, no, come back here. Way ahead of you, boss. Bye. Damn you to all nine hells, Koran. I swear I'm going to... Oh. Hello. Greetings. How does this night find you, Savannah? Hey, Savannah, been a while. You're looking good. Where are you on this glorious night, milady? Oh, these strokes, please. I, for one, have little interest in the details. Who says the more details, the better? My hamster thirsts for knowledge. My day is getting better by the second. What's your name, handsome? 
Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Durky, milady. It hasn't been so long since you saw me last, Safana. Surely you I remember. you were staying at the Ducal Palace. What brings you to my door this day? Feel free to say you're here for me. I am here for you. Come morning, I embark on a journey. North, I could use some company. Actually, I was hoping to talk to... What's his name again? Corin? Ah, oh, no, no, I'm not. And I have much to do here this night ends. To do here this night ends, so I'd best be about it. Farewell. Consider me persuaded. I will join you. Let's be away from this miserable place before someone returns to make it even more miserable. I know, right? Uh, but we only have three people. Like, that ain't good. I need more. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I guess we can push single weapon style, right? Uh, open locks. Max that out. Aha! Oh my god, why are the numbers going up in such big digits? Uh... I don't know if we're actually going to be doing any pickpocketing. Uh, we could hide in shadows, detect illusions, set traps. We never set traps, but here. Set all the traps. There you go. There. You're perfect now. Declare yourself. Nope. Declare yourself. Can't hardly move in these streets. Keep a good distance now. I wonder if it was like I could only have Corin or Safana. So you had like a chance to turn one down, they recruit the other. Nice. Who said that? Zaviak? Who's Zaviak? Yeah, you I'll get right on that. No! God! Forth. That might be my Man, biggest complaint lost. about, like, confirming oh, things. Whoa. Top of my to-do list. The game does that a lot. Like, it loves, like, it looks like the highlight is, like, I'm talking to someone, but then the game's like, nope, you're going out Keep the exit. Distance now. All right, who's this Zaviak person? Glad to meet you, friend. Ah, whoa. Ah, over here? Whoa. Whoa. Are you all right? Whoa! If you value your life, you stop looking at me now. Oh. Are you in the sewers, too? The sewers? All right, I'm game. Yes, I'm in the sewers. This is a tavern. Dink, right? Right. I, mean, I know it's a tavern, but who put it here? So weird. So you think someone put a tavern in the sewers? So weird. Perhaps a glass of ice water to your face would restore your senses. Orifice. I think I've heard enough. Farewell. Ah! Whoa, sorry. That one came right at my face. Yeah, so we're in the sewers, right? Underwater deep. Uh, you're in Elf Song Tavern. Totally, I hear you. Not even in the right city. No, man, you're way off. I came down into the sewers as part of my vision quest. I just didn't, you know, expect to, like, see so much. What exactly are you seeing? Heavy, my good man. Heavy. What are you going on about? I'm going to take my leave of you now. Ah, yikes. It's these new glasses, man. They're supposed to let me see, like, who I really am. Like, 
inside my soul. Where'd you get these glasses? Like, whoa, that seems unlikely. I got them from that giant gnome with the scales. It crashed on his couch last time I was in Sigil. Ah! But all I see is invisible monsters and ghosts and stuff. It's making me feel like really surrounded, you know, by my surroundings. So these enchanted spectacles that you see invisible creatures. I get it, man. I totally get it. It sounds like you're hallucinating. I'm starting to freak out, man. Why don't you take the spectacles off? Let me take a look at them, man. Just give me the spectacles, you gibbering jackanapes. I shall leave you your, your madness, then. Whoa! Whoa! That's, like, profound, man. You're blowing my mind. Here, take them. You have my thanks. Thanks, good man. Gladly. It will stop your blathering. Everything's so much clearer now. Maybe you're the one who should be on a vision quest. I'm laying off for a while. Probably a good idea. Chill out for a bit. Yes, give your adult mind a rest. Oh, and the giant gnome said the glasses can, like, pull spirits into reality a few times. So be careful. You don't want to drag a screaming Modron or Gith into the prime for a hangout. Good to know. Thanks, Zaviak. Heavy. Have you survived this long? I have no idea. Later, man. Heavy. If I wear the spectacles of spectacle, I can see extra planar creatures and pull... What? No. Where's this? The spectacle of... What was it called? Zaviak's vision quest. Pull up to three of them into this world? A gnome wizard named Periavor found the constraints of the prime material plane too boring and committed himself to visiting every plane of existence that he could uncover. Periavor crafted these spectacles in order to see and interrogate beings from other planes, hoping in this way to find safe places in which to shift onto other planes, after speaking at length with a very pleasant and well-mannered devil. Periavor followed the fiend's instructions for visiting Felagethos, only to disappear with an anguished scream into a column of living flame. All that remained behind was a smoking pair of testicles. Testicles. Detect illusion, save illusion, pull an extra planar creature in to the prime. Ah. It doesn't help anyone. Here, you put them on your face. What the fuck? Talk to it! This creature is on another plane of existence and cannot hear you. You must use the spectacles of spectacle to pull it into your world if you wish to speak to it. I mean, why not, right? It's here. What you got for me this time? The magic missile. Is it this? Oh my god, how are we supposed to get it? Who dares call upon Alali? First Fury of the White Forge. I'm Turkey Milady. I only wish to speak to you. 
Turn down the heat there, friend. I dare. Obey me, or I will destroy you. Ignorant fool, you have summoned the first fury of the White Forge. Now you will burn. Oh. Okay. Um, cool, I guess. Resisting me. I don't think I should have fought that. <laughs> I don't think I should have fought that. Okay, yeah, let's I'll leave right the demon it. alone. The great demon of Demonton. Yeah, I'll get I'm right on that. This is outrageous. We haven't done anything wrong. You lot just sit tight until backup arrives. You acquire assistance. What's going on here, officer? Caught some narrow do wells, did you? Seem to have the situation in hand. I'll leave you. These refugees came to our city for aid, then repaid our generosity by causing a commotion in the street. Maybe. Maybe we got a little rough with each other. What of it? Our tempers are short, and the hours pass slowly. If you created a disturbance, the Flaming Fist is obligated to detain you. I feel for you, friend. The Fist enjoy harassing honest people for any little thing. You think you're the only one struggling right now? You should count yourself lucky you've not tasted Flaming Fist steel this night. Having enough people to escort all these rowdies to headquarters. Could you go to the Flaming Fist Command Center and tell Jenks that Officer Vita needs reinforcements? Of course. I'm always happy to assist the city's defenders. Couldn't, but won't. Tell me you don't seriously expect the hero Baldur's Gate to play messenger for you. Please ask the Fist to show us mercy. We've lost our homes, our possessions, some of us our families to the Crusade. Must we lose our freedom too? Perhaps you'll appreciate freedom a little more after you've spent a few days behind bars. Now, still your re red blooding tongues before I still them for you. Okay. We'll deal with these these rebel rousers. Where are you going? Help us. Oh my god, can we I can't Well, that was weird. I hated that. I don't know what the hell was happening there, but I did not like it. Dude, Corwin takes no guff from yeah, anyone. I'll get right on that. He's just screaming about kicking people's asses. Alright, I need... What was her name? Vita? Jenks. We're more than mercenaries. We're pretty busy here. Unless there is something you need, move it along. I have a message for an officer Jenks from someone named Vita. I'm Jenks. What's going on? A group of refugees causing a disturbance has been detained outside Sorcerer's Sundries. She needs reinforcements. There's some business to attend to. I'll give you the message later. With everyone coming into the city, it's hard for us to respond to every incident. I'll get help to her as soon as I am able. Is there anything else? The refugees were frustrated over their losses and the crowding in the streets. They meant no harm. I hope you show them leniency. These refugees were spreading chaos in the streets. You need to send a message that this behavior won't be tolerated. That's all for now. Talk to my commander. There's nothing I can do about it. Also, don't talk to my commander. She's enough problems right now. Please, let Officer Vita know that reinforcements will arrive as soon as possible. I'll talk to your commander. I shall move on. Is he awake now? TX. 
Uh, it would have been nice to have a cleric. Why am I listening to someone sleep? Yeah, bad I'll get game. Right on that. Top of my to-do list. We don't deserve this treatment. What news, sir? Officer Jenks will send reinforcements as soon as he can. Praise Helm for that. All bide here until they arrive. Good luck, officer. Thank you again. 500 experience garbage. All right, get what you need. I'll cover the door. Is that really necessary? Good. I don't trust that door. It's shifty. Let it out of your sight. Not for a second. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't know how many assassins Kaler sent after you. But if there are more, I'm not going to make their job easy. What if the patron's already here? While you watch the door, I'm exposed. Those who go looking for trouble can usually find some, and you raise their hand against me will fall before my wrath. Few knew we might come here, much less win. There's no way they could have an ambush prepared. Anyone who wants a shot at you will have to get past me first. Even so, we've no time to waste. Go get what you need. The sooner we leave here, the happier I'll be. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Way ahead of you, boss. I'm sorry, you'll have to wait a moment. I'm terribly busy. So I see. Why are all these people here? Is there anything I can do to help? Better that than terribly hurt, which I promise you'll be should you fail to serve me forthwith. What could you possibly do to... Wait, you're that man everyone's been talking about, the hero, Baldur's Gate, yes? I suppose that makes you relatively trustworthy. Could you run upstairs and bring me a case of empty potion bottles? I need them to fill these orders. I'll fetch them in return and on. Do I look like a stock boy to you? Get them yourself! I'm afraid I've no time for trivial tasks. I'm here on the Grand Duke's behalf. Show me your wares. Many thanks. Here's the key to the cabinet upstairs. The outer stairs, that is. The central ones are more for show than anything else. I don't know what the builder was thinking there. But enough chit-chat. Potion bottles. Go get them. They are just for show. Greetings and welcome. I'm Halbazar's cousin, Kazarim. Just arrived from Kalimshan. Can I interest you in some of my wares? What sort of items do you specialize in? My cousin Halbazar has an excellent selection of potions and utility items, but you'll find my goods more unique. Can I show you what I have to offer? Let's see what you have. The item comes with a money-back guarantee, discounted for wear and tear. A scroll case and a potion case? Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Oh, uh, let's see here. Diamond. Here you go. Uh, plate man. Here you go. Actually, can we equip the plate mail? Oh, he can, he can, he can, he can. He has a two-handed sword, right? Oh my god. Oh my... Oh, they're asking me to put that down. Yeah. Yeah, two-handed sword. Sure. So that means no, uh... Alright, leather armor. Goodbye. Large shield. Plate mail. Helmet. Large shield. Long sword. Helmet. Large shield, long sword. Very nice, very nice. We can't afford a single fucking thing he has for sale. Probably sell some of our gems. Yeah, we really can't. Uh, let's uh identify these things. Uh, ostentatious boots. These 
iridescent scaled boots gleam with a hundred shades of color on a trade voyage across the Alamber Sea, a ship passed by a pitched battle between Sahaugan marauders and a colony of merfolk. The ship's bard leaned over the rail and played a rousing ballad of courage. Bolstered, the merfolk overcame and drove off the vicious Sahaugan. Sahuagan. One of the mermaids swam up to the ship and handed the bard a glittering shed mermaid tail. I thought it was Sahagan. Telling him that any item fashioned from the scales would gain a valuable enchantment, the bard had the tail made into a pair of boots that had been passed on to his descendants, though their flashy nature makes the wearer quite memorable. I don't like all this, like, noise. Loud noises! Oh, it didn't stop. It didn't stop. It's quieter, though. A collection of empty potion bottles lined the marble countertop. Many of the bottles lack stoppers. Odd scents hang in the air above them, fighting each other. For supremacy. Uh, how do we get over there? There we go. Uh, mirrored eyes. Magic shielding. Uh, what do you want? Yes. Another empty bottle case? Yes, please. We did it! We's in! Grab everything you can. When our bags are full, Setha will teleport us out again. We not alone. You! What you doing here? This our score. We watch plays for weeks. You're robbers? You should have kept watching. Get out of here while you're still able. Have you now? Perhaps we can work together. No, we're clerics of Lathander. Perfect. Thyself. And guard ever against pride. Of course we're robbers. This shop's been wall-to-wall -wall business for days now. How Bazaar must have a fortune in gold stashed in here. He probably sleeps in gold and eats it. And he bout to lose it. All of it. To us. Just us. Got it? Kill the Kaloran. Uh-oh. We're probably gonna die. Yep, we're definitely gonna die. Definitely gonna die. I'm coming for you. Ow! I don't know where it saved it last. You can save over that, I don't care, but... I don't want them dead. That ain't good. Way ahead of you, boss. They just charged right in. I'll cover the door. All right. Well, we know what we, we know what to expect there. All right. Uh. Sell. Right. I forgot. We can equip them with stuff. 
Is there anything unique about that plate mail while it's better than the others? No? Okay. This for some reason sells for more. I don't understand why that sells for 300. Oh, maybe they are right, because anytime you sell something, it always goes down in price. The next one always goes. I forgot about that. I forgot. Uh. Yeah, why not? What? Oh, I put the potion in there. I was like, what the hell just happened? So they don't have weapons. He's the only one with a weapon. Everyone else doesn't have anything. What the fuck? Oh, no, she's got bow. She has nothing. She has fists. And so we're just gonna make her run from shit, right? I don't even know what she can equip. What can she equip? Dagger and sling. Lovely. Well, we have those back at the place, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give those to her. Alright, where was the save that I made? This one? Let's save over that. So we just keep her out of combat. Maybe she can, maybe she has like spells and stuff. She's supposed to be a magician, right? Way ahead of you, boss. One's locked. Oh, I didn't talk to, I shouldn't. I forgot that we didn't pick up the side quest here. Now we go deal with it. Top of my to do list. Yeah, that's much better. Girl, no. No, 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 no. You do not go in and attack. You, you don't do it. Alright, so she doesn't have jack squat. Okay, I told you to go over here. Are we not attacking? Oh, I got charmed. I was like, where the hell did I go? I got charmed. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes that makes sense. It's not good if he gets charmed. Top of my to do list.
No, 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 no. Okay, uh, she does have magic, right? I can't believe we don't have anything on her. Nope, she's got nothing. Alright, there we go. To-do list. It would have been easier if there were more of us than like two. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna make you take everything and then we'll just sort it all out in a second. Just grab all of it. Yeah? What do you want? Walk yeah, over here. I'll get right on that. Huh? Yes. Let's talk more fight. Yes, fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. Okay, where's the thing that I was supposed to grab for him, though? wanted me to pick something up and I don't know what that is. He said empty potions. Yeah, I never saw any. Empty bottles of potions, so isn't that what they wanted? So I can fulfill these orders. <laughs> Yeah, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else anywhere else, so what you got for me this time. Alright, let's see what we ended up picking up here. Uh cabinet key can probably go onto our keychain here. We can just Empty bottle case, right? Oh, that's the thing that he wanted. This is the, the potion case. I got it. They look identical. Right, you can have a dagger. There you go. Now you got a weapon. Sure, have some pretty boots. What do they do? Charisma. Sure. I mean, what the hell is that gonna do for me? Sure, have all the charisma you want. Uh, who had the spells? You did? Protection, protection. Detect evil. What you got? Burning Hands Magic Missile. Just learn a bunch of magic missile. Whoops. Wow. Aren't you about the most useless mage in the world, huh? He knows stuff. What should we throw on him? Bless? Can she learn magic? What kind of mage is she? And he knows stuff, but... Nothing really great. Uh, 
Here, I'll give him armor of faith. So we don't have anyone that can cure. What, 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 what the fuck are you? An invoker? I don't even know what that means. What the hell's an invoker? Top of my to-do list. To me, it just says worthless. That's what... That's what that says. I have those potion bottles you want. I'm sorry, you'll have to wait a moment. I'm terribly busy. I have those potion bottles you wanted. Wonderful, thank you. This will be a big help here. Here, a token for your troubles. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, what did we get? You should know I thwart an attempted robbery while upstairs. A robbery, you say? Yes, a dark elf used magic to penetrate the upper floor. An attempt at one. They were a motley crew led by a dark elf named Sethel. No, they're a dead motley crew. Ah, I know of whom you speak. Sethel and I studied together for a time before we went our separate ways. We had a falling out, you might say. Thank you for protecting my goods. I appreciate it. Here, take this as a reward. Good folk like you are hard to find these days. And an amulet, huh? No, 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 no. I wanted to talk to him again. Uh, let's see here. Let's identify some stuff. Protection. Lon's amulet. All right, now we can. Oh my goodness! Now we can get the selling. There you go. Thirty-five dollars for rich. I don't think any of these? Oh, we should identify all that though, shouldn't we? Uh, mage robe. Bracers. just one dart and <laughs> one arrow okay uh amulet of protection that'll help you what does lon's amulet the silver holy symbol of saloon features a pair of feminine eyes surrounded by seven stars wisdom plus one shapeshifters and bless Sixteen and thirty-six and thirteen and seven. Three and six, two and seven. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna give her a sling, so yeah, I guess let's give it to her. I'm hope they said we could talk to Jahira. I'm hoping that they'll join us. At least if we get Jahira, I'll feel better. What we're gonna do with these other people, I don't fucking know. We've got we've got a mess of a group of people, I'll tell you that. Uh yeah, that'll benefit her. At least a little bit. Bracers. All right. Non-beneficial to her, but ooh, that's a big boost for her. Yeah, sure. Their short bow that won't help about this. I didn't think anyone can use the quarter staff. We're just gonna give him all our trash and then sell stuff off. Darts. Someone can use them, right? Oh, they're just like standard weapons? That's weird. I thought that they'd be with the projectiles. Huh. I didn't know that. Alright, so Bastard Sword. I don't think anyone can use that. Let's sell some shit here. Does he not have the two-handed sword equipped? Wait, do I need that leather armor? No. No. 
She needs something better than just shitty ass leather armor. We'll give her Imowin stuff. Still a lot of shit that we don't have. Oh, no. And we can't sell the quarter staff. You buy the quarter staff? What are you doing? Two-handed sword. Nope. Yeah, he wants nothing to do with it. Alright, well, I have another... That's another potion case. Which is freaking great. I guess we can dump the quarter staff. So no one can use that. Uh, where is... Where's our friend? Is this her? Got everything you need? Uh, yes, but I want to look around. No, but what I seek I'll not find here. Can't always get what you want. I try sometimes, and well, I've found that on occasion you get what you need. You want to go? Yes. Yeah, definitely not what I expected to find here. Well, no Greetings, sirs, and uh, my money lender at your service. What can I help you with this morning? Nothing at the moment. Nothing. Of course. That's riff -raff everywhere. How dare you Sitting refer no to me as riff -raff. I'll no stab your feet. Stab your feet, I will. Who's this lot? Nope. Nobody. How do I get out of here? Man. I am really disappointed at our lack of recruitment. Like, we didn't even get the bard, we didn't get TX, we didn't get the monk. I wonder if there was something that we could do that could have recruited them, or if we just, like, straight up turned them off. You know? That really sucked. Top of my to-do list. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Thy veerest too far from the path of right. Correct thine steps. Look. Chill. Top of my to do list. I had nothing to do with all the evil goings ons. Twas not my fault. Twas not my fault. Ne'er do well, not I. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, they're gathered. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Well, there's stuff upstairs we can gather. I don't know where Ski went either. Skate, skate, skate! He's like, I'll talk to you later, and then we never talk to her. Where Except you, my boss? apologies. My intent was to keep you and Imowen safe. Kalar's assassins, indeed any assassins, should never have been able to breach the palace. These things happen, speaking of happening, what in the hell's happened to your voice? Or there's a will, there's a way. What do we know of the killer's mistress? These. The city has grown soft with my victories. First casualty was vigilance. Ah, yes, yes, you would know an old friend from an adventuring days caught up to me shortly before the iron crisis began the flaming fist dealt with her but not before she managed to place a curse on me irritating but not life-threatening even so 
I'm glad to have my true voice restored. Ha 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 ha. I can imagine what you can tell me of Kalar Argent. As am I, I always thought it curious that a man of your reputation sounded so petulant. Take my leave now. I have much to do before my expedition departs. It didn't trouble me overly, though granted something had obviously changed. In any event, it's resolved. Thank the gods. I have much to do. Uh, let's learn about Care Argent. I wish there were more to tell. Our scouts in the Troll Claws and High Moor have little success tracking her movements. In the process, many of our people have gone missing or worse. Left our service to join her. What could turn loyal soldiers against their own city? All of them shall fall, as will their mistress. Adherents of many faith flock to her banner. What she hopes to accomplish is... vague. But that's done nothing to diminish her followers' devotion. This is all we know of the woman who threatens us and all the Sword Coast. Sell it for followers, a hidden agenda, and no idea of her plans of strategy. If she means to wage war upon us, we're already losing. What more do we know? Enough steel and magic can end any crusade. She first appeared on the high moor with a handful of followers. Their ranks swelled alarmingly fast. Initially, their efforts were geared towards taking control of Dragonspear. Once the castle was seized, more flocked to her cause. Many, her army spread out in all directions, and now it has reached us. I hope you can end this threat. We will see about marshalling our own troops and preparing for another attack. Mm-hmm. So, nothing. Just a noble woman. Yeah. Simply no, standards these no days. shut up! You're the one that talked to me. You are welcome here. No, shut up. No one talked to me. You walked to me and jibber-jabbered. <laughs> what was that thump? Is this Emowyn? Who are you? Yeah, I'll get right, right on that. Your friend back. needs rest now. I doubt you could wake her even if you tried. But it would be best for all if you didn't try. Leave us now. Emma Wynn lies still on the bed. Her chest rises and falls. She lives. That's all you can be sure of. For now, it will have to be enough. Alright. I think we're going to go over here. Take her shit. I think that's her stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Okay, Protector of the Dryads. Mine. Sling sword. And then all these arrows. She also had armor that I'd like to grab here. You, 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 you. All right. I'm gonna say there's no way that's not gonna be helpful. Two? Really? Huh. Nice. We're not going to help any of you, are you? Let's just dump that there. What is this one? Right. What's more helpful? One. Okay, so what of these is the most helpful? Armored class plus one saving throws plus one. Same thing. Fire resistance. Telling me she can't have fire resistance. There we go.
they probably all have something that prevents them from putting that on, huh? Because he's got the amulet of protection and she has that armor class 6, maybe? Oh, that would actually be more helpful. Oh, no, it's this. It's the robe. Yeah. Tis be the robe. Yes, dear. All right, what we can do with her... Oh, I forgot to equip her... Stuff. Protector of the Dryads. There we go. Much better than that. It's just garbage. And the Shadow's Blade plus three is pretty nice. Is that... Okay, I guess not. Um, Wait, could I give that to somebody else, though? No. The short sword. Uh, yep. That's a better weapon. Oh, there's no point in getting rid of that, though. It could be helpful to somebody. Arrow, 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 arrow. I'm a woman, not a pack mule. I dropped it. Uh. Bracers. Armor. Short bow. We got some potions and stuff here. I don't know what all this is. Uh, potion of healing. Some antidote. Avery is good. Let's throw that on her. Uh, oh, we have thievery on. I got it. What is that? Master Thievery. Potion of Healing. Antidote. Potion of Healing. There we go. Okay, uh, arrows and stuff. What do we need here? I don't need... Put the darts in here, huh? You in there... Darts in there. What else we got in here? Speed and healing. No, I didn't want the dumb. A oh, fuck me. Fighting. Fire. Fire. That's good. We'll go look through the other stuff. Identify. Magic missile. Armor. I'm gonna, I guess if we can teach her, we'll throw that on her, right? Armor, perfect. You actually can learn things. Yep, get identify. Magic missile. She already knows magic missile, yeah. Yeah, there. Just can use it as an item, then. I shall. Uh, yeah, we'll take the wand just in case. Huh? Uh, I'm gonna give him all of Dorn's equipment. Our big guy here, the ranger. We can figure out what that is. Where are you, boss? Hold on. What you what? got for me this time? So Open that. All right. Where's Dorn's stuff? Gift of peace. Sword of ruin. Werebane. 
Oh, does he... Do they keep their equipment? That's Jahira's. Is that everything? Damn. Treasury note. Who had all those arrows? Like all the armor and stuff they still have. I thought I thought everybody's equipment was here, so all their equipment is still on them. I wonder if we're gonna run. At the beginning of it, they're like, here's all your people that you had before, and now they're like, here's nobody that you had before. I'd love to kick all these people out of the party, I'll tell you that. I'd love to have my people back. They still have all their good equipment on. This is all their, like, stuff that wasn't equipped. That's not helpful. Or take that, we can sell that. What's this? Arrow plus two, arrow plus one. Fire arrows. Can she, like, grab any of that? I mean, there's other stuff in here that I'm gonna take as well. I'm a woman, not a pack mule. I dropped it. What can we get rid of that she has here? Regular arrow, regular arrow. Fighting, fire, fire. Plus two, plus two, we could put that in there. Yes, dear. Piercing plus one. Considering we don't have any way to identify anything, okay. Uh... What do we have that we can throw on? I would like to take probably the the wands. By the men. You take wands. There's no sling. I thought we were gonna give her a sling. We need to do that. Here. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Adventar. Not worth it. Wand, wand, wand. Yeah. We need all that. I don't know that we need any of that. Only one person could equip that, and that would be him. What is this? Part of a golem. Maybe that'd be better. She can learn free action. Right. cannot carry everything. And he must make room for boots. Yeah. It's better than just the the two hand sword. You could also equip it.
I mean, it does benefit me, huh? It's two-handed, but we can have both of them? Really? That's insane. Okay. I didn't know you could do that. I thought... Whatever. Gift of Peace. Protects against critical hits. Protects against all forms of panic and boosts morale. That could be good. Depending. Wish we had someone else we could put that on. Saving throws, the resistances... I kind of like the idea behind this better, Keel's helmet. This doesn't allow him to panic. Here, we'll throw on Adventars, even though it's not like we have haste or anything like that that we can throw on. So at the end of the day, I guess it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Well, it's stuff we can sell, I guess. You just, like, sell everything. Oh, yeah. She can't learn it. Great. And she can't even equip it. No one can use it. What a lovely item to have. Detect evil. What level is it? Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Here, have a fire wand. What is this? Magic missiles. Sure. Paralyzation. I like that. Paralysis is nice. That's another one of magic missiles. Ocean case. And they're just protection scrolls. I'm sure they're helpful, but not helpful right now. This would be... Eight, eleven, twenty-two. That's what I thought. Oh, I'm so confused. I thought it was saying like, oh, you should two hand these weapons. Literally showed an increase, and now it's saying it's decreased. Okay. I'm just gonna leave him on him. Just use the sword of ruin. Alright. That hurt my brain. Ring of the Princes does not help anyone. Oh, because she has stuff on. Right, 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 right. Sword first. 
Okay, what else do we have here? You can take all these potions. I don't think that's going to help. Orlaz's journal isn't going to help. I think that's everything that we can grab here. That was like free. Shield of the Falling Stars. I'm going to bring that with me. I don't know if we're ever going to use that, but we'll bring it. Uh, that could be helpful. That could be helpful. The fear wand, I don't know. Does anyone benefit from having this? She's the only one that can equip it. It's not going to help her. Okay. Shield. I'm not taking that shit off, man. Fuck you. Alright, you be my pack mule. No one else can equip it, so we should put that back in. Just in case we can come back here. I don't want to, like, throw anything out. Just in case. Back hard. Dagger. Those in here. Actually, I mean, if we get new characters, we might need to throw it on them. I don't know. Maybe it's worth, like, having this stuff on me. Just in case we get new people that we can equip shit on. Fire arrow, fire arrow, arrow of biting. It's ice. Pierce. Acid. Biting. Do we have biting somewhere else? Okay, uh, yeah, we just having her carry a bunch of garbage right now. I'm gonna put that one back in. Ah, whatever, we'll hold on to it for now. If I gotta yeah. do something, we what do you can want? do something with it. Uh, it sucks that we only have four people in our party. Really, I really hope we stumble across our original crew. I really hope we do. Like, oh, okay, yeah, they're, they're going to come over that. and be like, you're going to leave without us. And I'm like, oh, friends. Bye, you mother bitches. Top of my to-do list. It sure as hell doesn't seem like it. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we go then, huh? Yeah, I'll get right on that. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imowen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. Yeah, that sucks. Because we have two people in our party here. I mean, I don't think. Yeah, I'll get right on that. So this is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. Oh, hi, how are you? As I'm sure I will be yours once you tell me how you got in here. The Slayer of who now? I think you've got the wrong idea about me, friend. You haven't made it yet. Perhaps I am who say who you say 
Perhaps not. Either way, what is it to you? If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. I suspect the palace's weaknesses have become all too apparent to you of late. Yeah, strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? The teachings of my foster father, Garion, saw me through. Saravak was weak, ill-prepared for a real challenge. Ball's blood runs strong within me. Saravak was a fool. He underestimated its power and paid the price for it. Gorion, his death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? I forgot that we should have gone back out into the city and bought her a sling. Uh, well, what's her name? Uh, I have no idea. Di Dina, Di Dina Rhea? <laughs> he taught me to value knowledge. Though not the lesson he might have wished I learned, Garion showed me that power is the key to success. He demonstrated kindness in every aspect of his life. He made certain I knew what I needed to know to survive. Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Oh, is it now? Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. I can offer you clarity. Mm, you know me well, good old man. But we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Who are you? What do you want? The one you seek? You measuring my worth then? Enough gibberish. If you'll not speak plainly to me, perhaps you'll be more forthcoming with the flaming fist guards. Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. No, I'm pretty sure I need more than that. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? All right, Gandalf the Brown. Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. Okay. Top of my to-do list. Top of my to-do to list. list. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Well, they didn't stop me from going out again. All right, let's go to the sundry's place and get her a. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Get her a sling. I guess because we didn't talk to Imowen. Top of my to do. We had to walk for so long. Mommy carried me sometimes, but I walked as much as I could. What? No, I would. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Oh. He had nothing. You gotta have a sling, man. You got to have a sling. It's a lot of magic we can't afford.
Oh my god, he doesn't have a fucking sling? What the hell, man? Oh, what am I supposed to do with her then? She's got nothing. We can't afford any of this stuff either. I guess I could afford some of it. Maybe we could sell off a bunch of our jewels. We, we could buy haste, maybe. Mirror image is nice. I don't know what she can equip. What the hell is she? She's some sort of mage, but not mage. Not usable by cleric, druid, fighter, paladin, ranger, shaman, thief, barbarian. I don't even know what the hell she is. She needs uh, weaponry, though. She has magic missiles. That's it. <laughs> and identify. And identify. And armor. The minute meteors could be helpful if she can learn that. Maybe. What is she? An enchanter? Is that... Whoops. Is that what she is? Invoker. Okay, let's go to the gem bag and just sell all our shit here. Nope. This will give us enough money so that we can definitely afford some stuff. I don't think we need any of this. 2,000? Damn. Alright, well, yeah, we're way better off than I thought. Where's the other one? There we go, $20,000. We're, we're way better off than what we were before. What? But I can't buy anything now? Oh. I was gonna say, like, I can't... <laughs> But why can I not make a purchase? All right, so she's an invoker, right? That's what they called her. Looks like she can learn that. Ghoul touch, clairvoyance, dispel magic. Did she learn flame arrow? Yeah. We need we definitely need like a bunch of attack oh skull trap. Hell yeah. Tell me she can learn that. Looks like she can. Okay, perfect. Skull trap. Very nice. Uh meteors. Very nice. Those are high level ones though. We need stuff that's low level as well. She's got magic missiles, so we'll we're fine with that one. I want her to get, uh, maybe knock, maybe, uh, Melf's acid arrow is helpful, mirror image is helpful, right, she can learn that, I thought, yeah, looks like she can, and Invoker can learn, yep, okay. Uh, Stinking Cloud. What does Strength do? Increases the strength of the character to 18, then adds 50% bonus on top of this. The character receives any strength bonus appropriate. For example, if the character has between 1850 and 1800, his strength will be set to 1800. If strength between 1 and 50, then the strength will become 50. If it's already 19 or more, yeah. I don't know if we need that. 
Ray of Enfeeblement. Might be helpful. I don't know. Power Word of Sleep. What is that? Tomatose slumber to come upon one creature other than undead and certainly. Creature targeted must have less than 20 hit points and gets no saving. Oh, so it's garbage. Uh, definitely haste if we can. Doesn't say abjurer. I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay, looks like she can learn that. Can you learn... It's like she can learn fireball. Damn. Okay, we'll be back. We'll be back. Let's learn her what she can right now. Right, magic. I like the fact that she can learn so much. That's really helpful. I mean... We can't do anything because she doesn't have a sling. It's kind of moot. Man, and that's expensive as hell. Like, she is useless to me right now. We just throw a ton of crap on her. And hope that she can do something. All right. Let's go all the way down to the bottom here and see what else we got. Domination. It's a level 5. Enables the caster to control the actions of any creature. I don't know if that's helpful or not. And she can't learn it anyways. Shadow Door. Could learn. I don't know how helpful that is. Monster Summon. Could learn that. I don't know how helpful that is, though. It's a level 5. Cone of Cold. You will wear the Cone of Shame. Generates a cone-shaped area of extreme cold originating at the wizard's hand and extending outward in 17 feet with a 90-degree arc. It drains heat. Tenth-level wizard could cast a cone of cone. She could do it. I don't know if that's any good, though. We could animate the dead, right? Yeah. Hmm. Remove, curse, contagion. What's secret word? The secret word is potato. When this creature is casted, a, when this spell is casted, a target creature. Hmm. So to take off whatever they have on them. Got you. Teleport field? She could learn it. What does it do now? Zerd instigates a teleportation effect that randomly teleports all enemies in this area for the duration of the spell. Teleport field is best used against multiple enemies, serving to confuse them, allowing the wizard to concentrate on activating his defenses. So it just warps them somewhere else and they come charging back in? I mean, maybe that could be helpful. I don't know. I think we've got what we need. I think I tried to buy something else. I don't remember what that was. Do I have Fireball? Did I buy that already? I don't want to buy it if I don't need it. You know, it's, it's not going to help.
paste. Skull trap, some meteors. We need some fours and fives. Oh man, this is tedious. Like everyone was like fine before. Like I had everything that I wanted and now it's like, okay, now we gotta go spend time figuring out what else we need. Yeah, it's a level three. So all this stuff is like four and five then, huh? We could do cloud kill, I guess. We could do domination. I wonder how helpful that would be. Sure. Monster summoning. I'm going to buy Cone of Cloud. Monster summoning. I don't know what she can do with that. Cloud kill. Can she do that one? I didn't even look. Yeah, here. Cloud kill. Animate dead. Doesn't seem great. They're pretty weak. Very similar to the third level spell, Ghost Armor, in that it creates a corporeal barrier around the target's body. Well, we got that, like, clone thing, right? Hmm. Major disease and weakens weakness in a creature. The afflicted individual is immediately stricken with painful and distracting symptoms. Maybe. That sounds, you know, debuffs are nice. I don't know. Right, there's not much we can just... Oh, I didn't buy it for her. Well, now I'm, like, really distraught. Because I don't know what we're going to... I don't know what we're going to do with her. Oh, she can't learn. Really? I thought she could learn Domination. Nope, Invoker's right there. Damn. Well, that's a shame. Alright, we'll throw those in the bag for now. We don't need those, and uh, nobody needs that, so that can all go in the bag for now. Dagger plus one. Probably don't need that. Okay, well, I mean, I bought it, so we're holding on to it. <sighs> really sucks that nobody has... ...a sling. Kind of cool. Hit points plus 10. When the wearer suffers a critical miss, he's affected by the aid spell. What is that? What the hell's the aid spell?
Wait, we can't buy none of us can equip it though. Wild. Maybe that's something to do with what we currently have on. Sidestep slippers. Dexterity. That's kind of cool. Peacock hat. Charisma bards. Oh, we didn't get a bard. We got nobody. Yeah, he just doesn't have anything of value for us. That really sucks that these are the only people that have shit. Like, he sells so many things, but not the stuff that we need. Does she use darts? If she uses darts, maybe we could... Oh, let's see. Maybe we could just give them to her. Dagger and sling. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. Oh, there's slings in the environment, right? Top Sometimes. Hmm. Well, I guess we don't have a choice. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Gather your party before venturing forth. Genuinely hope. Boss. Genuinely. Can I walk, please? Oh my god. Just push through her. Way ahead of you, boss. <laughs> so stupid. Alright, well. Imowen, it's good to see you up and about. How are you doing? What's that man in the hood doing here? You look well, Imowen. Are you ready to pay Kalar back? Oh, I've been in worse shape. You know the kind of scrapes I get into? Never mind that for the moment. We need to talk about you going to Dragonspear Castle. Don't do it. Don't go. I'm healing, but you need to heal too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just cuts and scars. But in coming to terms with, you know, what you are, let someone else take care of the Shining Lady. Please. Would that I could, but Kalar has forced my hand. The city needs me. What would you have me do? Kalar and her crusade must never be allowed to attack us again. I knew you'd say that. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't go with you. I don't want you to. You'll be safer here. Good. I'd not have you anyway. Only slow me down. Can't go with me. What nonsense is this? You're the closest thing I have to family. I love you. You know that. But after Saravok, I need things to be quiet. Just for a little while. Where'd all this love business come about? You mean brotherly love? I understand. I'm glad you're not coming. In a way, you'll be safer here. But we're adventurers. Thought you were made of sterner stuff, Emowyn. If this is truly how you feel, then it's best you don't accompany us. We don't want you dragging us down. Well, so would you, silly. But that doesn't matter, does it? I know that look in your eyes. I'm just wasting my breath. Promise me you'll be careful, alright? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, I'm glad we're at a bar. Very nice. I do enjoy the imbiberizations. Are you awake? What up, though? I am now, Sky. Ski. I'm sorry. Ski. Skate. 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 What are you doing here? Never mind. Come do it elsewhere now. You can't tell Daddy, Duke Silvershield, about this. 
About what? I don't even know what this is. Why are you here? I've joined the Flaming Fist. Oh, your father allowed that? You say that like it's an accomplishment. No, you haven't. Get out. No, really, I have. Not under my name, of course. Daddy would never allow it. But I'm in it now. Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life. And also get out of this dirty old city. And maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. This is wonderful news. Well, that's something. Get out of here. Now. I know. All right, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. I had, like, an hour's more worth of rest. How dare ye break into mine room and wake me, rouse me from my deep, deep slumber. Plunge a dagger in to her left thigh. Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. It'll be our secret. Who's your dad? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Oh, but we went back to sleep anyways. Gotcha! Ha 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 ha! Here is the hero, ready and ready to go. The early bird catches the evil worm. <laughs> yeah, He's I'll get right on that. Food. Huh? Sweetheart? What you got for me this time? Alright, we'll give her the bullets that we have. Hopefully make do. Oh, there's another potion here. Yeah, mine's is. Alright, uh... I don't know what polymorphing does. Okay. Just regular bullet. There you go. Bullet plus two, eh? Which one is this? Bullet plus one. And you are bullet plus two. Whatever. Okay. Yeah? What do you want? I got out of bed for this, and if there's one thing I'm loath to do in a bed, it's get out of it. I know, Safana, it's yeah, the worst. I'll get right on that. I hate getting out of bed too. The sooner You did not finish that sentence, Dinah here. Top of my to-do list. Top of my to-do list. Servant? Servant. Yeah, I'll get right Our on that. prayers and hopes go with you. With your help, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the crusade before it grows any stronger. The Fleming Fist travels with you under the command of Captain Corwin and Corporal Duncan. I'm sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? You know what I didn't think about? What if we could only recruit three people? And so when I went to go get TX and... Ah, oh, but that wouldn't make sense because then we'd be able to kick people out of our party. I was going to say, but maybe that is it, though. Maybe it is it. Maybe when we went to go recruit... T no, but didn't he... No, that doesn't make sense because we only went... We didn't have Safana when I went to go get... Uh, Rasad or TX. Fucking no. What route will we take to Dragon Spear Castle? Can you go over the mission again? Nothing, Duke Silver Shield. You'll have to travel by major roads. The contingent is too large to move swiftly over land. You'll cross the winding water at Coastway Crossing. Then it's a straight march to Dragon is there Spear. Else? Uh, can you go over the At mission the Dragon again? Spear Castle, you'll rendezvous with troops from Waterdeep and Daggerford and bring an end to Kalar Argent's crusade, one way or another. I'm gonna find you and get you, get you, get you, get you one way. Is there anything else? 
Uh, nope. May the gods look upon you with favor. May Taimora smile on you, Dirky Milady. If anyone can end this threat to the city, it is you. Kept moving, unless there was something else. Duke Silver Shield, I had one more thing to speak to you about privately. But okay, I'll be on my way. Captain Corwin by the main doors and be on your guard. The trip north will likely hold dangers besides the crusade. Dangerous beside the crusade. Get those croissants out of your mouth when you speak to me. Look at all the people come to wish us good fortune in our travels, boo. Greetings, Turkey Milady. If you need any supplies for the road, I can provision you for a suitable fee, of course. Good to know. I'm sure we'll speak again. Let me see what you've got in the way of weapons. If you have any armor available, show me your scrolls and potions. Do you have any special magic? Surely you jest. Weapons are mostly what I have. Instruments of violence and murder, if that's what you want. Yes, it totally is. All right. We need... Come on, baby, you totally got a sling. I know you do. I let you do. I love you do. There we go. All right. Thank God. Eighty of bullet plus one, but for nine hundred and sixty dollars. Sure. There we go. She will be far more efficient with that. An army marches on its stomach. All right, let's. No, 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 no. Dagger. Thank you. Okay. I have many fine wares. Looking for the quartermaster, and you found him. Good for you. You want anything else? Ah, uh, potion scrolls, special items. Uh, wow, dude, what is the bag of holding? As with other magical bags, this one appears to be a common cloth sack of about two feet by four feet size. The bag of holding opens into a non-dimensional space and its inside is larger than its outside dimensions. Regardless of what you put into this item, the bag always weighs a fixed amount. Dude, I want that. It's 15,000, though. An ammo belt? What is this? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I am absolutely buying that. Uh, fuck yeah. She can have that. Another potion case? Guess we can never have too many of these, right? So many gem scroll and potion cases. I don't know that we'll need it. We could buy one more potion case. You know what? Fuck it. Let's buy them all. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You think this is the face? Of someone that gives shits? That gives no shits. Alright, this is perfect. Blah tap. Blah tap. Dude, this is my favorite thing. Now we can basically have infinite, and I love infinite. Hell yeah. I 
I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier about that. That's great. Oh, what a day. Does it hold? No. But. Does it hold that? That frees up so much inventory space. I'll take it. It does suck that, uh, we're missing people. Going to miss you so much, Roma. Mama, who's that? Is that the hero? Captain Corrin, who is this delightful child? You have children, Captain. The time for farewells is over. We must be on our way. If you quite finished with this nauseating display. I'm not a child. I'm one, two, three, four, five. Five years old. I stand corrected. Treasure your years, whatever their number, child, for they will pass quickly. This is my daughter, Roma. Roma? This is Jemaki, my lady. I know you. You killed Saravak. Are you going to kill Kalar, too? I think your mother should probably answer that. I'm hoping it won't come to that, only if the opportunity prevents itself. I'd tell you if I knew, Roma. Corwin, I hate to take you away, but we really should get moving. You do what your grandpa says while I'm gone, all right? I will, Mama. Good. I love you, Roma. Are you ready to leave? I am ready. Are you, or have you more spawn to see us off? Need to finish up a few things. Okay. Okay. So this is the great filter. How much longer must we wait? Crowds of fickle things. I know too well what can happen when moods turn sour. Vaconia? Vaconia de Vere, is that you? A day to you. I'm Durky Milady, and you are? Do I know you, Milady? My name is Vaconia de Vere. Circumstances have brought me into this march against the crusade, and into partnership with this dwarf. Viconia! I thought I recognized you, but what are you doing here? Good to meet you! I take it you're part of the caravan? It must have been strange circumstances indeed. You deserve a better pairing. Perhaps we'll meet later on the road. Then, for now, I must go. We're all here for the same reason. The council put the world out looking for those ready to fight against this Kalar. And we are always ready for a fight. You deserve better companions than this, Faconia. Join me. The Dukes must be more desperate than I thought. Then good luck to you, I must be off. Wait a minute. Wait one fell Derkin minute. I don't care who you are. Don't care if you're Lord the Hells 1 through 9. You're not taking our cleric away from us. I might. I told you before, Faug. I belong to oh, no one. Oh, that cheek. I'll have your hide, you traitorous cow. I think not. This is the hero of Baldur's Gate, remember? And as you remember that, recall what happened to Saravok. Come, let us leave this Iblith dwarf to wallow in his own filth. Yes, wallow in filth, wallow in filth. We needed this. We needed a cleric. We needed someone that can heal. Your companionship is not so grating as I feared. What just happened there? Far from the path of right. Correct thine steps. The party's reputation has decreased, too. For what? What did I? God damn it! Like we recruited somebody in the games, like oh, oh, she's neutral evil. Oh, that's okay. All right, let's see what she has. She can do sling mace. We could do warhammer with her. I don't know. I don't know anything about clerics. Like, do I want her bashing faces in? Get her a club. Alright. We'll do the uh, single weapon style, right? Sword and shield?
All right, we'll give her that. Actually, you know what? Maybe she would be better off with sword and shield, right? I don't know if she can do that, though. I don't know anything about this shit. I don't... I don't know. Should she have more defense? Can she equip a shield? We'll give her a Warhammer. That sounds hilarious. Is that a two-handed weapon, though? Why not? Use a Warhammer and single weapon. Why not? Anyone can pick up a shield and get its basic protection bonuses, but spending slots on this fighting style and venture it gets a minus two AC against missile weapons. Alright. Let's do sword and shield. If she can equip a shield, it'll only benefit us. No. <laughs> She's got like 2 HP. Oh god. She's got a lot of dexterity though. Let's see here, but we have a healer now and that's really all that matters. Uh She's got a ton of stuff on her, so that's cool. Cure serious wounds. Holy smite. Unholy bite. Strength of one. Strength of one was helpful. I don't think we have anyone that's at, like, even, even our ranger guy is above 18. So that could be good. Maybe. So we're kind of where we were before. She's a cleric, though, so I don't know that she can actually do, like, physical damage. Which scares the bejesus out of me. The spell calls upon energy from the positive energy plane in order to open a channel between it and target's result. Any evil creatures within the spell's area of effect take one die, four points of damage per level of caster, or half damage. I think maybe we're just gonna have like healing and stuff on her here. Uh, I don't know if Cure Disease or Dispel Magic is better. Just do Dispel. Now, wrong button. Uh, draw upon Holy Might. Spiritual Hammer. Seems kind of cool. Gains the benefits of a bless spell. Plus one to attack. Does she not have bless? Oh, aid gives more health. Right.
Oh, Flame Blade isn't too bad. I liked having that on uh, Jahira. It sounds kind of fun, Spiritual Hammer. Arc Skin's probably good. She's going to be, like, getting in the midst of things. Ah. Uh, seems okay. Chance seems okay. I, I guess we could throw that on, too. I like Bless. I used that before. What does she have on right now? What are the... Is that Command? One creature? No, I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't want Command on. Let's see here. Uh, Armor of Faith. I like that. Bless. Okay. Well met, my friend, and how does the morning find you? Well, thanks. Uneasy. Thoughts are my own. I'm glad to hear it. There are many depending on you to resolve the Kalar situation as you did with Savarok. I'll do what I can, but I'm just one man. They best prepare for disappointment, then. Make it sound as though I care what others need. You are far more than that, as you well know. Some elevate me. But it is their doing, not mine. I do not seek the praise of others. What's that supposed to mean? Do you wear a hood and frequent the palace chambers in late hours? These questions remind me of another. You had best become comfortable with it. You are more than simply an adventurer now. You have become a symbol. People cheer your name and look to you for hope. It is a great responsibility. A greater burden than I'd ever want to bear. Be vigilant. Wouldn't want anything to happen to the hero of Baldurin's gate. Oi, hero. I words with you. What can I do for you, Mr. Hammerless? Master Hammerless? Any particular words, or shall we just select them randomly? Water? Xylophone? Crepuscular? Oh, that's a good one. No, you won't. You stole me Fertiluck and Drow. Give her back! Or by Abathor, I'll split you in two crown to crotch. My is your own person, Durgar. Thou hast no claim upon her. The hells I don't. She wouldn't even be here if not for me. You don't get to just shuffle in and steal her out from under my nose without so much as a buy your leave. I want nothing more to do with you. Nice. She really uh pissed that guy off. The fuck is Rafus? Hello there. You are the hero of Baldur's Gate, am I right? I am. This is what they call me, though I'm not comfortable with the title. No, hero me. Just a man doing the best he can, nothing more. Your humility does you credit. I am Rafus Goodtree. It is an honor to meet you. And it will be a greater honor still to fight the Shining Lady at your side. I understand why they don't, why they don't say, like, sir or ma'am or whatever, because there's... They would have to record two separate lines for it. I mean, I don't see what the big problem with that is, but I got it. You will join my party then. I could use a sword such as yours. I think they. I think that'd be a great honor. Imagine how much better I'd be if you fought her while standing between us. True. 
Alas, I have agreed to serve at the pleasure of Corporal Duncan. However, I should be happy to look after any of your companions with goodly hearts. Should you dismiss them from your service and later require them, you will find them near me. Best of luck, hero. Oh. That's cool. An army marches on its stomach. Uh, she can also cast stuff, right? Alright. I wonder what kind of equipment and stuff she had. That is not what I wanted. Uh, yes, she could get, like, a robe or something oh, from it. Oh my this. god, I just want... Oh, I'm an idiot. Man, I would love to have that fire wand. I'm not gonna buy anything as far as, like, scrolls for... her. Damn, look at all this shit. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. That is a lot of spells. When the priest calls down a flame strike spell, a vertical column of fire roars downward in the exact location called for by the caster. The invoker could learn that. Let's... Sure. Seems kind of cool. Render a creature immune to magical commands. Just one creature. Champion's Strength. Spell is cast. The priest draws on the strength of his god and lends it to the target creature. Priest must concentrate on the connection between the target and his god for the duration of the spell. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Defensive Harmony grants affected creatures a defensive bonus by bestowing an enchanted coordination their attacks and defenses as a 15 foot radius. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Cure critical room wounds, huh? Who can learn that? Oh shit, my invoker can learn this? Could turn the invoker into a healer as well. We need someone that attacks, though. That's the only downside, but... I mean, I guess if I ever needed more healing... She can't do anything with level 5 spells, and maybe she'll know that on her own, but... I guess it doesn't really hurt to have it in the back pocket. Life energy level the recipient is raised. This reverses any previous life energy level drain. Greater restoration spell will also restore the intelligence score from Feeble Mind. Hmm. Phantom Blade. Creates a translucent, shadow-like, weightless area of magical force extending from the fingers. Sounds cool. We didn't really have many level 5. Maybe we should get Phantom Blade. It's really expensive, though. Stone Skin. I want that. I definitely want that. Can she learn that? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, that's nice. Stone Skin is nice. Spider Spawn? Oh my god, what? Upon casting the spell, the wizard conjures several spider eggs into existence, quickly producing fully grown spiders that remain under the wizard's telepathic control. Type of spiders that appear depend on the level of the wizard. You can get phase spiders. 
she could definitely learn that. That sounds insane. That could be helpful. What level is that? Four? Uh, I don't think I want anything else on level four, though. If that was like a level five, I'd probably take it without question. What does Ice Storm do? I mean, it sounds so cool, but it hit, like, these area of effect things seem like they would just, like, fuck me up. Oh, she can't learn that. What? But... Didn't say an invoker couldn't learn it. Every single one of these things she can't. <laughs> Great. Maybe she's learned everything that she can on that level, because it doesn't say an invoker can't learn it. But maybe she can't learn anymore. That's possible. I mean, it doesn't say that she can't. Bard, fighter, mage, thief, barbarian. Maybe she's a mage. No, but it would say invoker, right? Damn it. Yeah, it might just be she's learned all of those. Well. Invoker is a kind of mage. I thought it would be more specific. A lot of the other ones were, like, way more specific than that. All right, well... What? Like, she's just gonna fucking die. Oh, she can't equip the s <laughs> the shield. It's too big. Shield too big. Oh. Oh, she is so fucked. <laughs> so fucked. So, so fuck. So fuck. Alright, well, maybe we'll yeah, find some garbage on the ground for her, right? Top of my to -do list. The caravans at the palace. Let's go. We're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. Oh, we're all dead. Oh, we are all dead. They said that Jahira was somehow involved in all this, and we haven't seen her yet. What are you doing? Cheering? Cheering for a sibling of Saravok? That's what they are. They found Saravok's journal. It reveals the truth, but the Council of Four wants to keep it a secret. How you doing, Lawful Wood? Happy, uh, Friday. Is that true, Turkey Milady? Are you a child of Ball? You question the hero of Baldur's Gate? I can handle this, Captain Corwin. Ignore them, Corwin. They do. And I shall answer them. That's a bad idea. Hit me, people of Baldur's Gate. I know you suffered at Saravok's hands. I know you fear what the future holds with the heretic Kalar driving good people from their homes across the Sword Coast. I hear your cries for justice, and I swear to you, I shall end this threat to us all. Ah, you're probably right. Hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. I am Ballspawn, like my half-brother Saravok before me. 
And I am your only shield against what comes. Your only sword. Only one with the divine coursing through their veins could hope to thwart the child of a god. And only one can end the threat of Kalar Argent. Now stand aside, lest you feel my wrath. Well done. Let's be on our way before some other wind turns the crowd against us. They love me! They love me! Now show them the goods. <laughs> now show them the goods. Present thine self to the crowd. Owen and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the Crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? Who's Saravak? I've not heard and this name before. Goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Oh, that's the hooded wizard guy. It is something to behold. Not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. Your actions are as ill-judged as they are incomprehensible. What? Why is everyone angry at me? Everyone hates me because now... My reputation is seven. <laughs> it's gone down so much. I didn't do anything wrong. Huh? This group shows promise. Extraordinary. Top of my to-do How may I be of service? How do you know of Kalar Argent? How did you come to join this expedition? Paladins and mercenaries serve different masters. They all serve a righteous cause. The cause becomes one. I tolerate the less savory elements of this expedition because ultimately they too will fight for the greater good. We less savory elements appreciate your tolerance. I know little of Kaler beyond the heresies she speaks. She claims no single god or pantheon is her own, but professes to act on behalf of them all. Whatever her goals, her heresies are an abomination. She invites the wrath of the gods down upon Toril. You give me renewed faith for the task before us, dirty milady. I ask you leave now to pray. Better not pray oh, around uh, me. Hello. Uh, excuse me, I've got to go. I don't believe we've met. I'm Dirty Milady. Go where exactly? Who are you? What's your name, no? Go then. I have better things than to talk to you. My name. Oh, right, right, my name. I'm Glint. Glint, Three Eyes Gardner Simpson. Pleased to meet you. Gardner Simpson? I think you have too many sins on there. And I, you. How did you come to be part of this motley troop, Glint? Three eyes? What exactly do you do, Glint? Of the gnomes I know, there are few who'd willingly join a military expedition. That will be a short-lived pleasure. Farewell. Aw, oh, you cut to him. Ah, uh, yes. 
Yes, an old nickname. That's how many eyes Mom said she had to keep on me to make sure I stayed out of trouble. Turns out she really needed four eyes, but that... that's a long story. A story I'd be most interested in hearing, if you're willing to share it. Would you consider joining me for a time? You sound like exactly the kind of person I like to have in my company. You should join me. I don't care to hear it. Be on your way! Uh, all right. Uh, yes. Join you. I can do that. Uh, okay. Yay! We have six people! Too far from the path of right. Correct thine steps. Two seconds ago, you said we were perfect. All right. Well, he doesn't have any proficient. Oh, he's one of these folks. Okay. Oh, my God. It's not. Oh. It's so weird. It's not letting me, like, go up and down. Oh, there we go. Holy crap. That made me angry. Okay, what did I add something to? Why do we just have 49? Aha! There we go. Okay. Uh, find traps. Sure. Drink. That up and open locks, for sure. Uh, I don't really care. Hide in shadows. Pickpocket. Detect illusion? Yeah, detect some illusions for me. Here you go, buddy. Do that. I am Zena, faithful of Tempus. Praise be to the Lord of Battles. There's a Lord of Battles? I want to be the Lord of Battles. What's a cleric of Tempest doing here? Praise him indeed. Why well, praise a god of pointless slaughter? Lament! Stealing soldiers for the coming battles, savoring the anticipation of certain glory, waiting for the call of my lord. You have the look of one who has known many battles, but you are clearly no soldier. What would you have of me? Tell me more about the Lord of Battles. What services do you offer? What is there to tell? Be fearless. Do not run from the fight. Obey the rules of war. These are his commandments. Is that why you follow him? Do not run from the fight. So never retreat. What are the rules of war? So you fear nothing? We all respond to the call in our own way, do we not? Mine came to me early in life. I loved the thrill of battle, the excitement running through my veins as I faced my enemy. My family thought I was destined to be a soldier. Tempest showed me otherwise. It was not the first time I discovered my path was not what everyone believed it should be. Do not run from fight, so never retreat. One does not wage war recklessly. Retreat when you must, but do not avoid the battle when it rears before you. Win, and win decisively. What are the rules of war? Do not resort to craven tricks or dishonorable tactics. You must respect all within the potential for valor, even the foe whose life you must take. Do this and Tempest will look upon you with favor, for you will have defended your hearth and still may hold your head high. So you fear nothing? What should I fear? War? War is a natural force, the storm that civilization brings by its very existence. I shall laugh at its thunder and ride its winds for as long as I am able. One day I shall die, and I will go to my god gladly, knowing I served him well. There's nothing to fear in such a life. I have no more questions. What services do you offer? Murder Master Belagarm handles supplies. I may be able to help you with cleric services, though. The Lord of Battles favors is a handy thing to have, especially in times like these. I'm not giving you money. This and that to be done, no time to stay in chatter. Petruscus. Well met, my friend, and how does this evening find you? Ah, uh, well, thanks. Uneasy. My thoughts are my own. Leave me be. I'm glad to hear there are many depending on you to resolve the Kalar situation as you did with Saravak. I'll do what I can, but I'm just one man. 
Be best prepare for disappointment, then. Make it sound as though I care what others need. You are far from that, as you well know. Some elevate me, but it is their doing, not mine. I do not seek the praise of others. What's that supposed to mean? Do you wear a... Oh, yeah, we already talked to him. It didn't really get us anywhere. Oh, yeah, and he says the same thing, too. Yeah. I want nothing more to do with you. Yep, we made him sad. I need a swig of some strong Looking for a place to rest, hero? I can find you a room in one of these tents. Uh, what do you do here? I assist the quartermaster in properly distributing the camp supplies. I'm in charge of tents, sleeping rolls, blankets, and the like. Can I find you a place to sleep? Yeah, sure, why not? Merchant! Three dollars. You would make me pay three dollars to sleep in your bed roll? You did not think they truly dead, did you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> a bond between us, you and I. A connection even the sharpest blade cannot sever. A bond forged in blood, hatred, death. Neat. I held the sword coaxed by its throat. It wriggled and squealed in my grip. And then you. Me? Yeah, go on. I should have killed you as I had so many others. But something stayed my hand. A weakness I had never known before. Uh huh. Are we one and the same, my brother? One soul in two bodies. Born of the Lord of Murder? Uh, no? We will never end, you and I. Even in death. Prove it if you can. I felled you once, I will do so again. The end has come and gone already, brother. I've had my fill of vengeance. You are not but ashes. Return from whence you came and bother me no more. A cycle continued. Intriguing. Do you see now? Ah! See what? What was I supposed to see? Top of my to do set. list. Watch us too. We've been marching hard, covered a lot of ground, but we've still a ways to go. Everyone could use a rest, yourself included. Tonight might be the last full night's sleep we get. We'll be in Crusader territory after we cross the bridge. Rest if you want. I'm heading up the road away. I don't want any surprises before we cross the winding water. A full night's sleep. It's a poor reward for a long day's journey. The Flaming Fist can handle more than this. We should keep moving until we reach Dragon Spear Castle. Mind if I join you? I do better in the city than the woods, but perhaps I can help and maybe learn a thing or two. Fence can take care of the camp. Yes, join me. I could use someone of your skill at my side. I suppose I could accommodate you. I expect you to hold your own mind. Is that a request or an order? You need to move swiftly and quietly. You are neither. I don't know. Ah, uh, she's another range fighter? Yeah? Probably better than him. It's, uh, bye bye, buddy. Oh, she could do spells and stuff? What the hell is she? 
An archer? I already have an archer. <laughs> now I have two, but I don't want to. Oh, she's going to hate me. What you got for me this time? You call I'm me? not a goody goody. You want me to leave? Seriously? We were having such a good time together. I'm afraid this is where we part ways, Glint. At least for the moment. Stay here. I may return for you later. We were, but unfortunately this isn't the time for a good time. Your idea of a good time and mine don't necessarily match up. That's no reason whatever times we're having should end. Stick with me. Standing still isn't really in my nature, but if that's what you want, I'll do as best I can. Farewell for now, and later, all the time. I don't know why I said now. That was unnecessary, really. Right, farewell. Where I have you, many fine words. Oh, he sells stuff. We're more than mercenaries. Uh. Hmm. Good day, and hello to you. Sorless. Greetings, hero. I'm Sorless, a wizard in employ of the Flaming Fist. You sell items? What exactly do you do in the camp? I provide arcane support to the troop and help advise the commanders on magical matters. I'm not a merchant, but if you require gear, you can speak to Quartermaster Bellagrim. Have a good day. Okay, bye-bye. Order is what matters. One, two, three, four, march. One, two, three, four. Keeping your skills sharp, I see. Report, soldier! What in the nine hells are you doing? Doesn't do... Doesn't do to get soft? Doesn't do. Doesn't do. Doesn't do to get soft, not at all. The battle will come sooner than we think. Hop, two, three, four. Carry on, though. I guess if it makes you happy, I'll leave you to it. Hi, sir. Oh, hello. Apologies for not greeting you sooner. Was a bit distracted? Didn't notice you. No apology necessary. Didn't want to disturb your song. Are you singing to that rock? It's hardly a surprise considering the racket you're making. I'll be on my way. Are you singing to that rock? I probably look a little strange, don't I? This is a very unusual stone, though. It fascinates me. It looks old. What's that writing carved on it? Do you always sing at natural objects that fascinate you? You seem more than a little strange. It's only a rock. Would that I was capable of finding a rock so absorbing. I'll leave you to contemplate its mysteries. I wish I could tell you. It's not natural. I was walking the coast way, singing as I worked out a new song, when I heard the stone humming. Intriguing. Was it humming a particular song? Perhaps trying to communicate with you? I think it was trying to talk to you. But what could a rock have to say? Nonsense, you're imagining things. At first, I thought I might be going mad. But there are men here like this all over this side of the crossing. They all responded to my humming. When I sing to more than one, their tones last longer. They stop eventually, though. I try to find all of them, but the forest is too dangerous. Thanks for sharing your story. I'll watch for these men here. Can I try singing to your men here? Too dangerous for you, perhaps. I'll find them. A pity to be going. I see no reason why not. Just go right up to it and sing. Anything else I can help with? I don't believe so. Watch out for these men here. May I say? May I say? If you find them all and learn why they're singing, could you return and let me know? Of course. I'll be here singing to the snow. La 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 the men here admits a constant low-pitched hum. Uh, hello? Can you understand me? Hum at the men here. Sing at the men here. I'll come back another time. Safana, you're pretty charming. Can you try singing to the men pretty here? Pretty charming? What kind of a backward compliment is that? A better one than you deserve. Now either charm the stone if you can, or stop talking, for sanity's sake. <laughs> uh... Fine. I've warmed up colder fellas than this hunk of rock here. Watch an expert in action. Okay, well. The men here's hum grows louder. The men here emits a pleasant tone, and its runes glow faintly. It seems to have been activated. 
I did it. Easy ice cream. A word. Bite. I want to talk about that little speech you made before we left the gate. Yeah, we're about to get fucked up by wild dogs. Oh, uh, hold on. Let's talk about your talk. Of course, Captain Corrin. What can I do for you? I wonder when you'd get around to asking about that. It's a desire we do not share. Some of the things people are saying about you concern me, such as people. What am I accused of? What is it these people say of me? Be they civilian, mercenary, royalty, or even deity, I care little of what people think of me. That you were in league with Saravok, for instance. Some of the fringe claim you're even related. Like Saravok, I'm a child of Baal, but I assure you, a father is all we share. Regrettably, that last is true. You can choose your friends, but not your family. There are many who would... There are many who would to see me fall. That's not how words go together. English better. There are many who would see me fall. Spread these vile lies and you'll do nothing but help them. Is that what you want? My father has a saying. Words can comfort, but blood will tell. My actions will tell you all you need to know of me. You think I like being a child of the Lord of Murder? I didn't choose to be a sibling of Saravok. All I can do is try to demonstrate my own merit. If that doesn't satisfy you, well, I don't have to satisfy you. I can do more and shouldn't have to. A bleak view, I prefer to think one's actions are determined by individual will. Your father's a fool. You're no better if you believe that nonsense. I want to believe you. You should. I said nothing but the truth. It didn't make both of our lives easier if you did. Believe this, if nothing else. Kalar Argent tried to kill me, and I will pay her back in kind. If you would see the Shining Lady fall, then we are allies, regardless of our history or bloodlines. Believe what you will. It matters not a whit to me. Very well. I'll not tell anyone else of your connection to Saravok. Even so, take care of how you're seen by those around you. One of those people may be all that stands between you and a sword someday. And if the rumors are true, if Kalar is a child of Ball, that could complicate matters significantly. Kitties! Bite him! C is for kitty, and kitty is a C. Oh. What? You saw them, they came at me. I was just observing the friendly dogs have friendly times with one another. They were playing. Uh-oh. That's more than one. Emma win. Cereal, Immowin isn't in your party. You don't know that for sure. You don't know. She's with me in spirit, and whenever she fails to find a trap, it is her fault. Now you gotta wait ten minutes for our party to come back. Yeah? What do you want? I don't like that noise. Mm -mm. Mm, that's a big kitty. All right, you dumbasses now done huh? playing around. Aha! Uh -huh. Top of my to-do list. Root. Oh, Safana. I'm all over it, sugar. Oh, you know it. The men here hum grows louder. The men here admits a pleasant tone, and its runes glow faintly. It seems to have been activated. 
All right, well, that's two. I want to see what this said. Runes eroded by time, Mark. It would be a beautiful night, but for that wretched moonlight. Let me read. Runes eroded by time mark one face of this tall stone men here. An image shows a winding river. On one bank stands a robed figure clutching a woman to his chest. She looks across the river at a second man who kneels on the bank, clutching his throat. Oh. Probably like, I got a sore throat because you stabbed it. Something like that, right? Zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Did I save you? I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. That's some nice verminating you did there, stranger. Pity you didn't come along sooner. Well, it's a pity for those back in the dig. Not about to complain. Darren of the Clan Highhammer, that's me, Slayer of Vermin, particularly the two-legged kind, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. I realize I might not look like much for the vermin slaying right now, but look, I was brought on board this project with the understanding that I'd be dealing with, you know, creepy crawlies and such. Ock eggs, carrion crawlers, maybe a serpent or two. Undead weren't part of the deal. Didn't bring the tools for taking care of sort of thing. I'm Turkey, my lady. Just come from Baldur's Gate. If undead weren't part of the deal, what was precisely? It's a poor workman who blames his tools. Ah, good to meet you. Very good, considering the circumstances. How did you come to be here? I know of no dwarf settlements in the area. Very good for you. I saved your life. I'm not seeing how it's done me any favors. Fortune smiles upon you this night, but I do not. Always, no, I'll not waste more time on you. You go where the work is, you know. I've up and down the Sword Coast, what, 15 times in my life, cleaning out nests from Kalimshan to the spine of the world. Never faced anything like I did in this dig. It was a straightforward contract, or so I thought. I was to help with a remote dig organized by Talhund of Dumathalane. If his clerics met anything unpleasant in the tunnels, I'd take care of it. Done dozens, hundreds of these sorts of things before without much trouble. A bugbear nest once, that was about the worst I ever had to deal with. In dealing with it, not so bad, compared to what happened in this dig. What exactly is this dig you speak of? Are a couple of undead so much to deal with? I've wasted enough time on you always no more. See that cavern there? The clerics, an old coal hearth too, they were, you know that thing? Adamant. They were adamant. No one who happened along see anything suspicious, specifically, specially, if that no one served, what's her name, Kaler. They were so worried about someone coming along outside, should have been more concerned about what they'd find inside. What exactly happened in there? I don't like the way he talks. They had you to assist with whatever they might encounter. At least they thought they did. Concerned about neither. The clerics were digging down. Fifth, sixth tunnel, they started looking for whatever it was. Deep Vein was looking for some kind of metal he had a vision about. Vision? Fuck. He was probably just in his cups, but Cold Hearth came along. He doesn't strike me as the sort who'd waste time on flights of fancy. Anyway, they dug down and they hit something. It weren't some vein of ore either. It was full of them things you helped me with and more besides. Cold Arth went down first, couldn't turn undead the way the clerics could, not that it'd help him long. Two blinks of a deaf man eye, and half the order was gone. Me and the others fell back. I told him to leave it and come on out, but Auckland, Deep Vein, he wasn't going anywhere. Not if it meant letting those beasties loose on the surface. He couldn't help it, though. Couple got out. You saw him fighting. You saw me fighting him. There's more where they came from. As soon as I get my strength back, I'll be going in, seeing if anyone else is still alive. Uh, if not, I'll uh, look for a way to make this mess worth my while, if you know what I mean. There are dwarves of good faith and need, and all you're interested in is gold? I know what you mean. I'll leave you to rest. 
Ah, nah, I'm also interested in gems and items of value, and if any of them are still alive, I'll do what I can, of course. I'm not making any apologies for doing what I got to. It's a hard world. Gotta be a hard man to live in it. Now, if you'll give me some time, I need to rest. Build me strength back up. Axes high, friend. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna storm the keep, so to speak, right? Now, what? Go, no, go in. <laughs> Boo has not said anything out of politeness, but I know he is unhappy without direction. I got 3,000 experience. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, kill the zombies. Your box. They're behind us now, too. Stay your hand, my sword is sheathed. I'm no enemy of yours. Fear not, friend, the hero of Baldur's Gate is here to help you. If I meant you harm, you'd not have lived long enough to say those words. You know that the hero of Baldur's Gate doesn't speak for all of us. Yes, I do. If you be a man of goodwill and faith, stand with us against this tide of darkness. I think only like two of us are actually attacking there. Stranger, Deep Vein's my name. Brother Auckland Deep Vein of the Talhoun Order, or Dumathoin Secret Gleam. What's left of it? No, I shouldn't have complained. We'd none of us have survived that onslaught without your aid. I met another of your number, a Darren Highhammer outside the cavern. You're right. One good turn deserves another, does it not? Gurn Coldhearth. Falls and that coward lives? Where's the justice in that, I ask you? He was supposed to keep the beasties away from us. That was his job. Ugh. Well, you see him again, tell him to get his biscuit ass in here and help us. What will you do now? Tell me of this cold heart. Me fellows and I need time to rest, to heal. Once that's done, we'll venture back into the cavern, slay this slain one one final time, and find Gurn's body. I'll no return to the hold without it. Stay here and ensure no other undead escape. I'll venture into the caverns and find your friend. Finding him, what's left of him, won't be easy, and the longer you wait, the harder the task will become. If I find his corpse, I may return it to you, should I see fit. I wish we were in any kind of shape to help you out, but we're not, so watch your back in there. No problem, guys. No problem. Monster slayings, what I do. These simple but effective cards are engraved with Dwarven script. From the style and chosen symbols, it appears to be religious in nature. Gross. Oh, free stuff. Oh, free stuff. Uh-oh. Well, that guy's fucking huge. Samal, you, you saved Samal? Looked like you could use saving. I did. You gonna make me regret that? It was clear you couldn't save yourself. You know capacity for shame, beast. All Samal's little friends dead. Samal all alone now. Little friends? You mean the dwarves? They're not all dead, Samal. I talked to one named Auckland at the cavern's entrance. Do not tarry in this place, Samal. You are too gentle a soul to stay in darkness. Seek out your own kind and perhaps you'll find some peace. All things die, including you if you don't get out of my sight. They alive. Samal's friends alive. Oh, oh, oh. Samal, go see them now. Thank you, little boy. Thank you from Samal. A gentle giant. I've never seen the like. It's not like that did anything, so I guess we're fine. Locked, you say? Uh, I think... What you got for me this time? I actually think that she has the capacity now to unlock yes, stuff. Dear. 
Did she unlock it? Oh, the chest is magically worn and can only be opened using a special key. An image of a dwarf holding a jeweled dagger is etched onto the metal plate above the lock. Yeah. What do you want? Okay. Cool. Anything booby? Booby trapped? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Plate mail, medium shield. Let's see if anybody can use any of this. Here. Yeah. But she has a bow. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Sure. Battle axe? And it's not exactly gonna help him. Not exactly gonna help her. Alright, battle axe can ditch it. What about armor? Nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. And helmet. She has a helmet. You do not. Helmet for you. Lovely. What you got for me this time? Top of my to-do list. Uh, okay. Oh man, I thought for a second I see I see the carrion worms, but I thought they were like two big ass arms. <laughs> I was like, oh god, what is that? I don't want to die! Oh, There's just worms. There's just worms. It's just worms. They're just big worms. Cool. Cool. It just worm. The collapsed tunnel seems to have been abandoned mid-dig. Several broken and discarded tools protrude from the piles of rock. Rock pile. Sacks of grain here could feed a large band of dwarves for months, if not longer. Uh, let's see, yeah. We've got this nifty ammo bag now, which is super exciting. I love that. And we have a ton, I mean an absolute ton now, of potion bags. I don't think that should be a problem for us. A green gemstone on an orange background marked this banner owners as a follower of the dwarven god Dumathoin. You stay away from a Dumathoin. So we need some sort of magical key to open that. Which I'm sure we can find in here. What? Where? Oh god! That's just zombies and stuff. Right. Can we walk up there? Yes, we can. Perfect. Works. Oh, yeah. Hells. Hells, yeah. Broken armor, broken weapon, but gold. In all of Baldur's Gate, I only once had a weapon break. We broke a uh, an iron sword, and that was it. I was I was very fearful that that was going to be much more common thing to have happen, and it never did. 
Which I'm very appreciative of that way. I'll be back. I'll be back. Emma win. Such creatures of evil must be destroyed. I know, right? Chain mail. Maybe. Let's grab the war hammer. Alright. Chain mail. Does that help her? It does. Alright. Leather armor in the trash. What did we get here? Warhammer. I think she can actually equip a Warhammer. It might benefit me to put one identify on her. I have a ton of magic missiles. Do identify. I may even have identify in my bag. The Warhammer might really be a benefit. Alright, let's check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like having the magic missiles, but... Even identify is nice. I really wish we had one of those, uh, those rings that, uh... Who was it? That Zahn and, uh... I think I put the other one on, uh... Jahira. That, like, duplicated the amount of spells. Like, we could have, like, double the amount or something like that. It was really helpful. Not uh, wrong one. Oh, she just identified it on her own. That's hilarious. I didn't need to do that. Ah! Uh, you do one less damage, but... Yeah, equip the Warhammer. Why not? I do have this. Do you think that could benefit her? Four to seven. Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah. I forgot that I had that thing. Here, hold on to that. Right? That is so much better for her. Dude, hell yeah. I completely yeah. forgot that I had that on me. That'll be nice. That'll be... That will be real pleasant. Who knows? I'm guessing it could be helpful. Suffer the wrath of the arcane! Thank you all for running away! Nope, nope. Murder that. Uh, what happened to me? Oh, we got held. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I guess we could leave one identify on. I don't exactly want it, but... Action! Adventure! Smashing evil! If there be danger about, Boo and I will protect you! This is the end for you. Okay, he's not as fun as Zar. Not as fun as Zar. Oh, yeah. You guys yell too much nonsense. Too much. I hate it. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Oh. Trap, 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 trap. At least they don't hurt too bad.
Please don't run away. And they really need me. Umber Hulk? Kill it, please! Oh my god, you dummy. Quit attacking people! Thank you. you want boo? Friend? If that is what you really are. <laughs> what you got for me this time? Yeah? What do you want? Oh, what are you doing? I'll get right on that. Amulet of the Keeper's Secrets under the mountain. What? <laughs> Upon first examination, this simple talisman appears to be forged of iron. Closer inspection reveals that the iron is a thin shell, concealing more valuable materials within. The links of the chain are gold, while a hidden latch on the charm itself flips it open, revealing a sparkling emerald set inside. Okay. Mines is. I like things that are mines is. Anything else around here that we need to be on the lookout for? That might be like some sort of key item or something like that, right? Uh oh, we were accosted! Get him, ladies. Uh oh. Ah! What are you dummies doing? Very disappointed in all of you. show such devotion to your companions your witch and your hamster huh? it? it's an appealing trait you have appealing you say or appalling you mean what game do you play here evil elf lady it will take more than compliments to make minsk trust you hmm the barbarians not completely without sense who'd have thought I had way more health than this. You I had 101. Suspicious pale one. I merely made an observation. What happened to all my hit points? I somehow dropped 12 hit points. More than that. You said loyalty is appealing, but Minsk has heard that Drow betray each other at every turn. Friends! Small, you bloody great mud mover, you live! It's good to see you, lad. To know not everyone's fallen to the undead. Not yet, at any rate. I never thought I'd be happy to see your hideous face, Samal. It's amazing how having several of your brethren cut down by the living dead changes your perspective. 
Glad to have you back with us, you hideous lump. Little friend alive, Sabal alive, it good day. Better than before, good. Oh, they do. That is why your loyalty appeals. Where ahead of you, boss? Samal find little friend again, happy now, and sad for little friends who gone now. Samal happy and sad. Take what comfort you can from those you have left. Not all are so fortunate as you. You are a credit to your kind, Samal. How you feel matters little to me. No, not even a little. It matters none at all. Be like Samal, be happy. Don't be like Samal and be sad. Happy better. Go happy now. Okay, you. I go be happy. I go be happy. Oh, don't worry. Eat pancakes. Okay, so we are on the right path. We haven't been down over here. Perfect. There's probably a trap between here and the zombies. Nope. Everyone that should be down here should be down here. I got held again, as usual. Good thing zombies are squishy. What you got for me this time? Yeah, I'll get right on that. But does she get more hurt the more she sleeps? I've slept too much. I don't know what that, uh, that red tea thing is on her. Three random 3,000 experience, I'll take it. What are we walking on books and stuff? Knowledge. Where ahead of you, boss? Tome of Ancient Knowledge. This massive leather bound tome is written in some ancient unknown language beyond your ability to decipher. Inscribed on a small weathered piece of parchment, pressed inside the front cover are words that are at least comprehensible, if not necessarily helpful. Sometimes. It's wise to think backwards. Sure. Ancient knowledge. Volume... Is that 1112? Of the history of the Netherese Empire. It's 1112, right? C is 100. M is 1000. Right? Yeah, it's 1112. That's a lot. Clairvoyance. Okay, yeah, I can't take it. Want? But I can take this. Mud and mishandling have rendered this once handsome volume all but unreadable. Judging from those few snippets that remain legible, the book appears to detail the life of a young boy would one day rise to become Sorcerer King of the Netherese Enclave. The kid, sir. It, it looks kind of unique. Maybe we should hold on to it? I've never seen books huh? look like that before. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Philosophical Treatise on Nature of Lichdom. Mortal to Lich Notes. I don't want any Lich Notes. Stinking Cloud. 
I'll take a... Here, you can have the stinking cloud. Maybe they're not helpful. Maybe they're just stinky books. There. You go back on the show. I want you dumb... Dumb, worthless crap. Cereal, it's not worthless crap. I'll be the judge of what's worthless crap and what isn't. And I deem everything worthless crap. Leave that out for now. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Yeah, we threw everything on that. Sure. All right. Huh? Come at me, bruh. Victory shall be ours. Oh, okay. Fight if you not winning this. Trash player, welcome on in. How you doing? Happy Friday. It could be Friday. If I wanted enough, it could be Friday. Right, easy baby game. Uh, some arrows, some arrows, some arrows, some arrows. Perfect. You know what we do with arrows? We place them in this neat little uh, cubby. And we have now. Now we can have all the arrows we want. Doing good. Chomping down on some ice cream. Ooh. Ooh. What variety of ice cream do you have? Oh shit! Did the iron shortage resurface? Nope. We're doing the expansion DLC, whatever it's called. For the game, the wall of this ancient library has collapsed inward, spilling countless volumes of arcane lore across the ground. I do enjoy ice cream. What kind of ice cream you got? It better be good. Strawberry sorbet. That's not ice cream. Sorbet is not ice cream. They're very different. There's sherbet. There's sorbet. There's, uh... Oh, what's the one made with eggs? Uh... Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. There's ice cream and... Oh, there is frozen yogurt. Yup, there is frozen yogurt, but, uh... Custard. Custard. Frozen custard. Damn, man, I love frozen custard. When I was a kid... My mom... Like, I don't know, like... Maybe I had the day off of school or something like that. My mom was like, hey, what do you, you want to go get, you know, like a treat or something? And I was like, hell yeah. I was probably middle school, early high school, something like that. And uh, she was like, I'm going to take you to a treat. We're going to go get frozen custard. And I was like, oh, you're going to get me pudding? I don't want fucking pudding. I don't want that shit. Can we go get like cheesecake or something like that and she was like no 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 it's actually really good you like ice cream and i was like yeah and she was like trust me you dumbass this is good it's one of my favorite things me and my dad used to get it all the time and i was like awesome i thought she was like do you want a treat and she was like do you want pudding i was like i don't want some some like vanilla pudding like i don't want that shit i've had custard before it's not good oh my god is frozen custard good like, it's super creamy. It's icy and it's creamy, Nothing so you're calling it ice cream. Like Sorbet this. is not that, though. It's not. Oh, and there's gelato, too. And there's gelato. Oh, there's so many good treats out there. Uh, So, there's a difference between sorbet and sherbet. I think sorbet is made with milk and sherbet is made with water, I believe. I usually get those mixed up. I believe sorbet is milk, though. So, it's sort of... Nope. It's water. I got them mixed up again. Yeah, sorbet is water and sherbet is milk. I always get those mixed up. Always. Always, always, always. I don't mind sorbet. Sorbet's okay. 
I prefer sherbet though. I prefer sherbet. You know what's great? When you mix in uh, vanilla ice cream and like orange sorbet. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Vanilla ice cream and orange or raspberry. Okay, any sorbet that gets mixed in with vanilla ice cream is so damn good. There's a place near us called Rita's. It's called Rita's. And that place is fucking crack. It's got Italian ice and... uh and frozen custard and oh my god so i think it's i don't know if it's like a weekly or a monthly thing that they cycle out the different flavors they always have your standard custards like vanilla chocolate and a swirl but they also have a variety of italian ices and those get changed out all the time and you can mix and match things and one time they had root beer italian ice and vanilla vanilla custard and i was like dude it's like a it's like a root beer float oh it was so good and they they layer it in there so you get like a layer of custard at the bottom then put in the uh then put in the italian ice and then put another layer of custard on top of that i mean i've had a variety of different things that i've combined in there and oh it's so good rita's is crack crack do you want a treat is that even a question of course you want a silly treat i know right Oh, yeah. You like shaved ice with ice cream? It's a good combo. It's really good. Shaved ice, Italian ice, Hawaiian ice, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It goes by many a different name, but it's pretty much the same at the end of the day. And damn, is that stuff good. Yeah, that's my shit. That is, that is definitely my shit. Big fan of that. I, I tend not to keep too many sweets in the house because I've got just a huge sweet tooth, if you can't tell. If and you can't tell. So I try to keep keep keeps away from it because if I have ice cream in that, it's gone. It's gone. And I always buy, when I was younger, used to be able to buy ice cream by the gallon. And then it was half gallon. And then it, now it's like, it's like two pints or something. It's like really small. I want to buy like the Ben and Jerry's and Hagen dazs ice cream, but that's like nine dollars for like a, a small pint of ice cream. So I always end up buying like Edie's or Briars or Turkey Hill or whatever store brand that they have there. You know, like one of the big, bigger chain ice cream, like the nationwide brands. It's okay. It's just never as good because like Ben and Jerry has a litany of delectable things. Like, you're like, oh, Cherry Garcia. Oh, Fudge Monkey. Oh. Triple Decker Brownie Surprise. Poop My Pants. Hell yeah. They got so many good things. And then, like, you go to Edie's and they're like, well, you can have mint chocolate chip or, or Neapolitan or cookies and cream. And I'm not going to turn my nose up to those, but damn it if I don't want some of that other stuff. Over here in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, Eastern like Europe, there's not a lot of options of icy treats in our stores. Thy words are welcome. That's a shame. That's a shame. I know! Kilgore's right. Finding yourself a, a, a way to smuggle in treats. Black market frozen goods. Sounds like a great way to go about things, in my opinion. Black market frozen goods. Do it. Do it, do it. Right. Do it, do it. You will be a billionaire. You'll be the Elon Musk of ice creams. People will worship you. Worship you, I say. It will give you billions yes. and billions yeah. of dollars for free. Keep watch for ancient tomes or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. Lost arcana, you say? Bronze century? That doesn't sound good. All right, let's try to kill it. Resisting me? Need to try something else. I'll recover. Resisting me? I feel like it's a god. I I feel like it's a god. Please kill it. Please kill it. Oh God, please kill it. Oh, I'm dead. Kill me! Heal us! 
She had a wand of paralysis, right? Let's see if we can freeze this thing. Yikos. Yikos. My other team was way more powerful. I thought we just crashed again. Helpful. Well, that is a startling admission. You have my thanks. All right, well, we'll crank on the haste now. We'll crank that haste yeah, done you now. Want, you want me? No, no. I want, I want everyone. Whatever you like. Now, all this talk about ice cream has got me all like ice creamed up. I want ice cream now. Yes, sweetheart. All right. Never had beetroot and expired milk soup. Yeah. What do you want? I want to live. Here comes three hundred. <laughs> That sounds like a secret way to end up dead in the morning. I don't know that we can kill that thing. Your other group definitely phoned in your final project. Might not even get a B. Hey man, a C's great. C's are great. But I'm a straight A student. Not anymore. Your yeah, I know. Why would I want to drink, well, eat, eat expired you milk? That's like thanks. the big thing. Like, that's how you die. Curdled milk. All right, that's how you make yogurt, but also and cheeses, but yeah, also it's full of death. It's full of death. And beetroot is a beetroot different than a beet? Huh? Hey, it looks like a beat. I don't know, man. I don't know. I try anything once. I'll try anything once. Purple ain't natural. <laughs> that that fuchsia, that hot fuchsia color of that soup gives me the heebie-jeebies. That's some shit you see in an anime and you're like, yeah, that's not real food. That's real food? You say it's bussin'. I say I don't want to die. Where are you, boss? Uh oh. What you got for me this yes. time? Yes, yes, I mm -hmm. demand. What kind of spells of doom do you have? Yep. Did you kill everything? Are we even hitting anything? It's so fucking good you could eat it with some hot potatoes. I mean, I'm saying, I'll try anything once, but it does not look appetizing. Whatever was happening in that picture, I don't know, man. <laughs>
<laughs> that looks suspect as hell. But I try it. I try it. Yeah. What do you want? I would try. I called. You want me? Still scared the hell out. Whatever you like. You won't find that magical door again. Come on. Huh? I don't think we can kill any of this shit. I want my old party back where we actually had stuff to do. You think a couple of your dudes got level drain on them? Maybe that's why you aren't winning as much? I don't even know what the hell level drain is, but maybe. Well, I am on level 7. It says level drained. And she got level drained. Hmm. I don't know what that is. It's not good. Oh, that's what that symbol is. That's what that... I was wondering what that was. Hmm. I don't know how we fix that. We have it forever. Yeah, it doesn't help the fact that now we're level 7. That is not helpful. I can sleep? I sleep all the time. No. Yeah, we probably have to go to a cleric. Oh no, something woke me up. We probably have to go to a cleric. Suffer the wrath of the arcane! I'll recover. That's yeah, probably what it is. I don't think sleeping is going to, uh... Nah, it doesn't look like sleep solves it. We definitely probably have to go to a cleric. That's unfortunate. Oh, they dropped something. You dropped. Top of my to -do. I don't think that's the sole reason why we're, uh, dying, though. I'd, I'd say it's probably other reasons. Level level drain is new to me. I we that was not in the main game or in Baldur's Gate one. Not good. Okay, run. Yeah, that's probably what it is. That's what I like to see. Okay. Would that there were more like you. Yes. You want yes. Okay. Now. You. Do this. Right here. That's a good spot to do it. Did that kill anything? Oh, yeah, we did. Why did you not do the stupid thing that I told you to do? Well, she just stood out there in the middle of... Some of you, you aren't attacking! I think some of us were just, like, standing around chillaxing. That's not good. Mm. I don't know... What we can do against these guys. It's a lot of enemies. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, 
was this? Why did she just stop casting it? And it's gone now? Hmm. I just feel so much weaker with this party than our last one. You like, Dorn was such a helpful character. There. Pardon, Rival. Top of my to-do list. The lady of mystery thing. The beautiful drow. Who is she? What's her story? Subtlety. It drives men crazy. Maybe I'll give it a try someday. this thing shadowed soul that thing is fucking evil Stupid Minsk ran right into that. That's not good. Minsk. Everyone but Minsk. What is happening? Oh my god! Dude. <laughs> of course he wandered in and opened up another room. Of course he did. That went okay. If we could have that happen again, we'd be alright. You've got a pretty good racket going on there. Pardon, Rival. The lady yeah? of what mystery thing. The beautiful drow. Who is she? Top of my What's her list. story? Subtlety. It drives men crazy. Maybe I'll give it a try someday. It's gonna take her time to get the spell out. And we just skull trap right there. I think we can turn everyone back on and attempt to kill things! D I think I fucked up, didn't I? No, but it doesn't look like it went off. Can I? I don't know what happened there, but it doesn't look like the skull trap went off. I think I interrupted her somehow, and that like muted, uh, deleted the spell or something. You've got a pretty good racket going on there. Pardon, Rival. The lady of mystery yeah? thing. What do you want? The beautiful drow. Who is she? Yeah. What's I'll get her right on story? That. Subtlety. 
It drives men crazy. Maybe I'll give it a try someday. Thanks. I wouldn't. It's not in your nature. Yes, yes that's what I called. Huh? What you got from me? Resisting me. We are definitely fucked. Oh, Mince died again. Need to try resisting me. Need to try something else. Resisting me. Need to try. Like it's not too bad. It's the fact that like Mince just goes down like a sack of potatoes. Why is he so squishy? They took everyone down relatively easily. It was him that had the problem. And it doesn't look like the, the skull trap's doing as much damage as I would like. Yeah? You've got you a want? pretty good racket going on there. Way ahead of you, boss. Pardon, Rival. Microbiota? What? The lady of gut mystery, microbia? The beautiful drow. Who is she? Why do you want to look at What's his their gut microbia? So That's a she, weird thing to say. Crazy. Don't be weird. Maybe I'll give it a try someday. No, 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 no. You need to go back yes. up, buddy. Huh? Where are you, boss? Your orders are yes. called. You. Need to cast that dumb thing again. Like right here. You know what I keep forgetting to do is uh, cast haste. Keep fucking forgetting to cast haste on us. He is so dead. I don't know what to do with him. I tried to get him out of there and he didn't move. To a stand spoiled muck, you gotta have something going on in that gut? Yeah, probably. Yeah? What do you want? Yeah, I'll get right on that. How is that instantaneous? God, cast fucking... Oh my god.
I have to remember to cast haste. Haste is helpful. I thought hold... I thought Envar's uh, ring would do something with hold, but it, it doesn't. We can still get held, which is really weird. Yeah. Yes. Doesn't agree with what I think that it said any sort of movement based stuff. Being held is a movement based thing. At least I would think it is. Alright, now I don't have to worry about it. Sweetheart, I am yours. It's a standard encounter with enemies and we're just getting top of my to do list. No. So it just doesn't do any damage to these things. I thought fire was like the undead's weakness. It did like nothing to them. I don't understand that. Can you get out of there? Why are you attacking things? Fucking walk away. Oh god, that dumbass is in the middle of there. You are... You are... Man. What? And I can't... Yeah, they're dead. It doesn't matter. They don't like listening to me. They don't like listening to me. You want me? Back oh, yeah? What do you want? Top of my to-do list. But it hit her. Oh. Fair enough. I'll recover. He got held again, so that doesn't help.
That was Minsk. Right here? Instantly died there. He had so much health. I don't know how he died so quickly. He went from being alive to just dead. Damn. Hmm. We just need a lot of luck to go our way here. Yeah. What do you want? Just a ton of luck. Yeah, I'll get right on that. I think we need you, you, you and you. You, you three need to go up there real quick. I'll recover. Go after that thing. I told you to go away. Ooh. What you got for me this time? Top of my to do list. Oh, man, I feel like we just got lucky. But hey, winning's winning, right? All right. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Let's never do that again. Oh, there's more garbage in here. All right. This is the end for you. All right, but it's just a gas. That's okay. He's a uh, he's your most basic of warriors. I don't even think we're a tank. I think we're just I think we're just dude that swings a sword. <laughs> I think that's our description. Dude that's got a sword. Yeah. Hi. What do you want? I don't think there's anything cool or interesting about us. Right. Order staff. All right. Gets the job done. Yeah, we, we, we've we been doing okay. Getting the shit kicked out of me here and there, but we're doing okay.
What did they say this was? A quarter staff? She has identify on her, so. Oh, you can learn that? Sure. Learn it. Essence of Clarity is not allowed in there. Weird. Or maybe it's full? It's possible that the thing's full. It's possible. It was a half dollar staff? No. Huh? That's a terrible joke. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Fragments of the stone slabs that cover the sarcophagi scattered throughout this murk filled chamber litter the floor. What the hell is a quarter staff? Like why is it why is it a quarter? A quarter of what is what is it a quarter of? Is it for a quarters, like living quarters? I'm running low on material. It sounds like a you problem. Silver scepter, okay. I'll take that. I love dungeons. What you got for me this time? Yes, dear. Do better. Uh, okay, that Back looks hard. like spells and stuff. Vampiric touch, breach, and a wand. You need to feed the kids. Not with those bad jokes. You just feed your shame. Yeah? What do you want? Uh, yeah. What was the thing we just picked up? Uh, the Silver Scepter is for the most part of a basic unremarkable design. The exception is the bottom end of the rod which has several grooves and markings etched upon its surface. It is in some ways reminiscent of a key, but whatever portal it might open is no ordinary door. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. They're proud of me? No, they feel shame. You know it, and I know it. They feel shame. It's okay. It's okay. You can continue to be Sally Struthers. I will be, um... Yeah, I can't think of any other comedians. Way ahead of you, boss. All done, that was it. Uh, Tom Hanks. I think it was Tom Hanks. There, there was a movie... Sally Smuckers, no, Struthers. There, Sally Struthers, wait, Sally Field. Sally Field. Sally Field. Not Sally Struthers. Sally Field. Sally. <laughs> I got hit in the back of the head. I got donkey punched. Um, there, I think the movie is called Stand Up. I'm pretty sure that it's got John Goodman and Sally Field. She's a. She's like kind of like a working mom, but her her dream was to be a stand up comedian. And so her husband is uh, John Goodman, and I think it's John Goodman, and he doesn't understand her desire to do this. So he's constantly at her like, oh, you're going out again tonight to do your failed comedy. You're not going to be successful. He's being kind of like a dick. You need to watch the kids and take care of them. And uh, I think Tom Hanks is one of the other stand-up comedians, and he's the one that's kind of, like, encouraging her to do what she wants. Now, I was trying to think of the people that were in the movie. Sally Fields stand-up? Stand-up movie? Punchline. It was called Punchline. Yeah, Sally Field and Tom Hanks are in it. 
Yeah, it was John Goodman. Yep, and that was her husband. Yep, 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 yep. It's really good. It's one of those, like, silly 80s movies that just kind of, like, sank. Nobody ever talks about it much. I liked it a lot. You know, it's it's a it's a comedy but dramedy kind of thing. I was trying to think of who was in the movie. That's why my brain went blank there for a moment. Because at first I was like Robin Williams. My brain went to Robin Williams and it couldn't let go of that. And I was like, it wasn't Robin Williams. There was there was somebody else in there. And I think I think Damon Wayans. I think it was Damon Wayans was one of the comedians in the club as well. I think he was also in it as well. That one I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was Damon Wayans that was also in it. You got this coming! Man, it's a really fun movie. Oh god, that is a lot of enemies. Punchline. Punchline. It was called Punchline. Oh, well, okay, I, did he shoot me through the wall? What you got for me this time? Where ahead of you, boss? Motherfuckers shoot me through the wall? It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I remember seeing it when I was a kid and, like, really enjoying it. I haven't seen that in... I don't know when the last time I saw a punchline was. Genuinely no idea when I saw it last. Yeah? What, what do you want? Just always left an impression on me. Like? The heavy door is no visible lock. Close examination uncovers a complex series of gears and wires that likely connect the door to an opening mechanism northwest of your current location now so maybe over here all right huh? you're playing by dice rules not physics you're not playing by physics my to -do list. i play by whatever i want to play with Aha! Oh shit. Take it like a champ. Okay, but this time actually rest. Oh my god. Hells, I missed. Ha! My aim is true. I can't believe they can shoot through that stupid wall. All right, here we go. Now we go down and to the left. Over here. Uh, what are these things? Burning skeleton. That doesn't sound good for any of us. All right, well. That one's gonna leave a mark. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I was like, as soon as we go around that corner, those things are gonna fucking hit me. Oh my god, go away! Ha 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 ha! Stupid burning skeletons, you fell right into my trap! We fooled them, did we not? Man, that thing destroyed me. Uh, man, it looks like I'm at level 53 now, too. We've really taken, like, our... My health is at 53. I've taken a big hit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... We're gonna have to go and find a way to get rid of whatever this, uh, malady is. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to roll out and go back into camp. The lower level I am, obviously, the worse off we are. That kind of sucks, having to, like, run in and run out of places. Maybe there's, like, a way to counteract uh, the de-leveling. Fire Salamander? Sounds great. Let's fight it. Nope, nope, ladies. You all need to... Okay, I don't know what's happening. You know what you want and you're not afraid to grab it. I admire that. No comment is unexpected, but not unwelcome. Okay, get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. What is this? More? Ah! Why are they being birthed? Magic radiates from the circle inscribed on the stone floor. It sparks and cracks images of landscapes seemingly sculpted by flame appear within it, and irregular intervals accompanied by a wave of stifling heat that rolls over your body. Well, that doesn't tell me how to, like, fucking stop it. Turn it off. What you got for me this time? Yeah? What do you want? Do we just keep killing everything that comes through? Ah! Ah! Again, more enemies. Never Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watchy, watchy, watchy. Huh? I never lower my guard, Arglan. Oh, those things are gods. Those things were gods. Uh, I don't have anything that deals with fire other than me dying. That deals with fire, right? Like, oh good, I'm dead. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, I'll get right on that. These critters are gods. I don't know how to deal with that shit. Alright, uh, new plan. It's a good plan. It's the only plan that I ever have. Uh, haste. What you got for me this time? Okay. In we go!
I just wanted to look around. Is there really nothing we can do in here? I feel like we should be able to do something. How do we stop flaming thing from flaming? Can't put out. Broken portal to other planes. Maybe it's just filled with demons and we shouldn't mess with it. Best leave well enough alone, right? I don't know. There's got to be something we can do there. Oh, shit. Look at this. Yeah, man. Pick that shit up. Free necklace? Plural? Yeah? What do you want? No. You can't do anything to him. What's the purpose? No, oh. oh. Yay! We conquered them. Those fools. Uh oh. Oh no! Back over here, guys. Ha! My aim is through. Huh? Yes. Do we get sleep? No. We're healed. Den of but no sleep. Evil. Actually, this evil is not as okay. smelly as it usually is. We come for you anyway. Where's I think we gotta fight table? that big, that big, big thing, that big big thing. This time? The bronze Tell mauler. The bronze mauler. Because there's got to be a way to open that door over there. I thought it said to the northwest. So I went northwest. And there was nothing northwest. Let's see, we can't access that. Whatever that is, that's a table. Maybe there's another too far from the path of right. Correct passage? Nine steps. Shh. I don't take kindly to voices. Yeah, there's nothing. It's gotta be over here. This has gotta be it. That's what I like to see. Would that there were more like you. Thy words are welcome, friend. I think we're gonna have to leave and then get our uh, levels back. I don't know that we can beat this like massive beast over here. Yeah. You want, what do you want? Like demand, I think it might be a little bit too much for us. Huh? Way ahead of you, boss. Yeah, I can't I can't do anything to that right now. All right, I guess we got to roll out and go to a uh 
a healer or something like that to get... I mean, we can't go any further. The thing's an impediment. It's a shame. We'll be back. We'll be back. Top of my to-do list. Top of my to-do list. At least it's not too far to, you know, get in here. Or can these guys do something? No? What will be a cleric? What did you find? Any sign of getting cold hot? We'll be back. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Where had he I need a sword Well, what'd you see inside? Your cleric friends, some are alive, and they could probably use your help. Your employer's fighting off an undead horde. Oh, I. Yeah, all right, I'm good enough to go. Excuse me. Moose, moose, the moose is loose. Something attacked a groundhog. The bombardier beetle murdered the. Oh shit! The bombardier beetle's coming for me. Is dead. Well, shucks. All right, so I think the lady over here to our they left. Me. me! This cannot stand. This will not stand. Who the hell are you, Edwin? I'll deal with you in a bit, Edwin. Uh, cure disease? Is it a disease? Damn, $300 is a lot of money. It did not cure my disease. Uh, what? I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Uh well what gets rid of it? I'm on level four. <laughs> How So you're not going to explain what energy drain does gain or how to get rid of it? Cool. She's affected by it as well. <sighs> Looking the shit up. I don't know what I don't know what level drained is. Oh, boulders gate level level drain. Let's go to the wiki. I don't know what this is. 
Level drains a status effect that removes a number of levels from a creature, though not inherently permanent. This effect is always configured to be permanent until cured. And that doesn't help. You can die from reaching level zero. <laughs> That's not good. It says until cured, but it doesn't say what the cure is. You can't level up, apparently. Greater Restoration? Restoration Scroll. Temple Cure Services. Death most often works. <laughs> I don't think I have Greater or Lesser Restoration. Temple Cure Services, Death Most Off, Temple Cure Services, like I went to the Temple Lady. Oh! Damn, that's really expensive. Wow, that is a lot of money. My timber's bad enough without you bothering me. Okay, so that's like fifteen hundred. That's seven hundred fifty to get that taken care of. Oh man, do one of my characters have the spell to get rid of it? Because if that's the case, I mean. Pfft. Lesser Restoration is what it was called. Lesser Restoration. I'm getting rid of that on my own. We can do that here. We could do it in here. Okay. That makes life so much easier. Well, now we know. Now we know. All right. So let's go to her. It was what? Level three? Level four? Yeah, level four. We just need to rest until she can actually restore it, and then we're good. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I was just going into the inventory. Alright. And we've got... For now, I don't need it.
Okay. We good. Ha, my aim is true. We good. Life is good. Top Hell yeah. I've never had to deal with that before. That's wild. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, sir. Not one bit. Like, every time we fight these guys, I think we, like, risk. She says she needs to sleep, so I want to wanna get that nap on. All right. Now, we're good to go. Okay. Yeah, level drain is rough. Level drain is rough. Alright. How much longer must I wait before we find a nice evil face worthy of kicking, do you think? I'm coming for you. Resisting me. Need to try something else. What you got for me this time? I'm yours to command. Yes. Oh good, he finally joined us. Please kill it! Dude, what was she doing in there? Why was she attacking? Where was... where was Minsk? The hell, dude? Where were you, homie? Leaving me high and dry? Yeah. What oh, you want? Close to me, Kivel. What a farter! Don't me with such trivialities. What a farter! Huh? Okay. What you got for me this time? All right, we're just gonna. Wonder if acid will work here. Let's do acid. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know how to put these on the quick menu. No wonder this no wonder we're not like hitting this thing. Everybody's not in the goddamn oh. Corwin. Corwin. Hmm? Yes. Honestly, like what the hell? What you got for me this time? By demand resistance. Holy 
crap, man. The Iron Giant over yeah. there. What do you want? My fucking moron friends going in places they got no business being in. Uh, let's go yeah, over here. Right Why? Two-handed. Uh. Huh? Someone's got some yeah, identify shit. I don't time. feel like resetting our uh, our stuff here. We gotta have like an eye identify in the scroll case right yeah we got an identify here sword of troll decapitation runes along the length of this powerful blade spell death to trolls in multiple languages a green gem set in the weapon's hilt glows with a pale green light legend tells that the famous dwarf durlag troll killer used this sword in his adventuring days but lost it during a particularly brutal fight in the troll hills despite the item's name it does not actually decapitate trolls. A rumor sprung up regarding its powers, and despite evidence to the contrary, the sword has never shaken the nickname. Like, who puts these nicknames on the swords, and then how do people are like, oh yeah, the legend of this sword? What? <laughs> does it come with, like, like in the hilt? Do you, like, unscrew the bottom, and there's, like, a scroll in there that explains all this information? You go, oh, information, and then you put it back in? Like, what? <laughs> Where are we learning all this from? On a critical hit against the troll, the wearer gains plus one strength. Oh, I don't know that he can use it. It says ranger. Well. Dude, were you using a stupid knife? This dumbass using a fucking knife? Alright, yep, you take that off. You take that off. We'll put it on just in case, but. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, that's my fault. That's my fault. I'm the idiot that allowed him to pretend like he could play toys. Stupid weapon. You know what? Here, you hold on to it. What? I thought I picked up the uh, knife. Okay. Let's snap. Works for me. Ooh, that thing was hard. No wonder he wasn't doing any damn damage. He was trying to stab it with the werewolf knife. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, I got this dagger, guys. Is this a werewolf? No. You sure? Yes. Must I wait before we find a nice evil face worthy of kicking? Your life is mine. Uh oh. What did we walk into? Oh, we made friends with everyone? Wonderful. I love friends. Clerics? Vestiments, sure. A chest key, sure. And a silver necklace. Those all sound like lovely things that I should have. Uh, the lock of the chest this small, the lock of the chest this small, but delicately wrought key opens must be fiendishly complex in its design. The image of a dwarf holding a jeweled dagger has been painstakingly etched upon the key set. Okay, so we know what that goes to. Let's throw that in there. What do we got here? Cleric's vestments. These dark red and green robes are a simple dwarven design, but made with material of the highest quality and care. The sleeves and fringe end in gold trim, and the lining is soft and luxurious silk, as is tradition for dwarven noble wear. Okay, that doesn't help me, but we have undead friends. We have undead friends. 
Sickly colored smoke writhes and capers behind this strange container's dust covered glass. I don't like peas. I don't know why, but I'm not a fan of peas. They're not a fan of their flavor, but god damn it if I love capers. Oh god. Capers are so good. Twisted mangled creatures float inside of these glass tubes. Oh are dead uh oh we've got more friends bone bat oh that's uh that's uh, we're dead we're 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 dead huh what you got for me this time we're we're dead Everyone, to me! Kill this thing! I don't know where you are, dude, but you gotta get the fuck out of there. Okay, like, everything is following him, so... That's nice. He doesn't have any healing things on God, I feel stupid. Uh... And all our murder friends. Great. Well, I'm not done with you, dude. Get the hell out of there. Oh, shit. She's dead, too. Yeah, we're fucked. That's my fault. That is my fault. I did not know what we were getting into. Should have saved right before that. Gotta save before all these fights. Yeah? What do you want? How much longer oh. must I wait before we find huh? a nice yes, evil face worthy of kicking, do you think? As usual. We just have haste no on. What you got for me this time? I'm sure we'll come across one soon. Top of my to-do list. Alright, this is all stuff you can just wander in here and murder. Well, we seduced that thing. Please kill zombie. Please kill zombie. Ow. Ha, my aim is true. Where's that zombie going? Took like 19 hours to fight that thing. Terrible day. I think we're just gonna go storm back. We gotta kill this thing. Time to Resisting end you. Me. Oh, else. Oh. Resisting me. Resisting me. Need to try. Oh. I'm not saying that that solved all my problems. It didn't, but I think it solved some of them. Oh, okay, Durky. Durky's in trouble. Yeah. What do you want? Maybe like run over here. Don't run over there. I think he's stuck. I definitely think he's stuck. I'll recover. Is anybody helping kill things? Oh, there's a huge... Do oh my god, there was a massive skeleton there. Fuck. Yikes. Tactical retreat again? Get them to like charge into us like Top the fools they are? List. Bladed skeleton. Pattered skeleton. Yeah, that's the thing that got me. We're doing it again! My magic will end me! Resisting me! Need to try resisting me! Need to try something else! Oh. Mark. 
Who's getting like harangued on? Who is this? Oh, her and her shit. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I mean if I didn't mess up there, I thought that <sighs> thought that I had everyone selected and I didn't. And I was like, "Why aren't they cl I was clicking?" Nothing happened. Where it's my own fault. Boss? There's no question. That that guy has to go down. Yeah, this vampire touch, just do that. Take it like a chance. I'll recover. We got going on in here. I can't really tell what we're like all like jumping. Everyone should be fine. This big guy might be kind of a problem. He's armored skeleton. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Cool, guys. Very huh? cool. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Battle axe, two-handed sword. We're still looking for. A lever that opens stuff. A blue mist rises from the depths of the earth, bringing with it the stench of magic and decay. Gazing into the mists makes your head throb, but the sensation passes once you look away. Well, what if we never looked away? What if we just continue to make eye contact? All right, those were the things that we needed. Or maybe, I don't know. All right, let's see. I'm going to put that on my keychain. Move that over here. There's such nice things here. I love the fact that we have... Really? You want to wear that? No. No. The answer's no. Yay! No fights. Uh, the liquids that once filled the complex network of tubes and vials set upon this table have long since dried, but the odor of feet and lunacy still lingers in the air around it. Feet? <laughs> the odor of feet? Y'all smell fight. Another one. Couple of things I don't think we really need. Eventually, that's getting full. Y'all yeah, smell in it. Girl, you better detect traps. The liquids that once filled the complex networks of tubes and vials set upon this table have long since dried, but the odor of feet. Well, why does it say the exact same thing? Staring at the smoke within these containers, you catch fleeting glimpses of faces, people, events long past, or yet to occur. Or so you imagine. Oh, so we're just playing around? We think we see things, but we don't? We're playing pretend? What about the chair?
You gonna detect the chair? I'm gonna touch it. Want to touch the hiney? No? Okay, let's touch. Concealed in the chair's left arm is an intricately carved wooden lever. The mechanism it connects to is old, but well made. Likely it still functions. You pull the lever in the chair's arm and hear the sound of ancient gears grinding together. Traces of dust fall from the ceiling as the groan of moving metal echoes throughout the complex. Well, I'm pretty sure we know what that's about. There was that door all the way down. See? See? That's why we waited. That's why we waited. Right. A bottle of milk? We did that for a yeah, bottle of milk? One goddamn bottle of milk? Where are you, boss? Milk is for babies! Okay, so we can go down there now and look through there. We've also... What is this? Is that telling us there's, like, loot to grab there? I don't know what that is. No, it can't be. Alright. Let's see what we got down over here. Oh, God. It's like a 100% chance there's a fucking trap over here. This is the end for you. Yep, just leave me here, guys. Just leave me here. Resisting me. My aim is true. Drowned in blood? Imbued white. Drowned in blood. What the hell kind of name of enemies is that? Yeah, attack that thing. Oh, good. You're getting in there with your battle axe. Great. That's what I wanted. Okay, that actually went halfway decent. We got a bunch of uh, pillars here to mess with, huh? 1,200 experience for each one of those guys. That's okay. I'd rather it be... Oh, shit. We got another level down, huh? Both of us. Three of us. Let's, let's fix it. Uh, does she still have that? Oh, fuck. I can't even cast it with her. We can't even do lesser restoration. I need to go back to town. I didn't realize... That really sucks. Thanks, game. Seven, seven... Six. Okay, well, let's see what, uh, this stuff has. There's a brass plate set into the stone pillar, etched upon it, the image of a cracked and fragmenting leaf. Adorning this stone pillar is the image of a leaf etched upon a brass plate. A brass plate etched with the snowflake design is set in this stone pillar. Etched upon a brass plate set in this stone pillar, it's an abstract design that calls to mind the image of the shining sun. Oh, we don't have a choice, we gotta get out of here. I guess we'll be back. I just need to restore one level of hers. 
And then we can do everyone else's on our own. We're getting there. Uh, let's go check. We got the key. Let's go at least check that out. See what we can find from that, right? That was up here? Yeah. Let's go see if we can see what we get. Where the hell are you, boss? Uh, parchment and journal of Gurn Coldheart. Oh, okay. I guess that's what they wanted. Uh, parchment. All that remains of the wax seal that once contained this ancient parchment, secrets, is a gray stain on its back. On the other side is a letter written centuries ago. It's simple but effective penmanship, making the message easy to read despite its age. Dearest Corella, our journey to the Shadow King's outpost has been long and treacherous. Trolls, hobgob hobgoblins, gnolls, zvarts, and... Even a gargoyle stood twixt us and our goal, but we have finally made it across Coastway Crossing. If the map purloined from the Netheries vampires steers us true, we cannot be far from our goal. Even if this venture proves as profitable as Walking believes it will be, Walkins believes it will be. I believe that when I see it, and perhaps not even then. There are many more dangers ahead. No property of the Shadow King will be left undefended. At a minimum, we are told to expect resistance from a small army of minor undead, which do not concern me over much, and lich under the influence of the King's Overmind, which concerns me greatly. Once these threats are dealt with, the going should become much easier. Along with the map, the vampire supplied us with a key its claimed opens the door to the Shadow King's inner sanctum. It spoke of a treasure room hidden within, loaded with items of great power and value. I send this letter to you in the hopes that it finds you in good health, and that we will be together again soon, but however soon that may be, it cannot be soon enough for my taste. Until then, I remain yours, Agda Coldheart. An inscription on the inside cover of this small leather journal identifies its owner as one Gurn Coldhearth. The lettering beneath the name is only legible after several seconds of study, written by the same hand as Coldhearth's name. It read, Devoted to Dumathoin, before it was violently crossed out, tearing the paper in several pieces. Gurn Coldhearth valued his secrets. The bulk of the journal's entries, written in a complex code beyond your ability to decipher, the latest entry of was scrawled quickly across the page in common language of the realms. Must record this quickly before the memory fades. Last night as I slept, the mind of the Shadow King's Lich touched mine. It confirmed that we will soon reach the outpost if we continue the dig. When we do, I will go to him and perform a ritual severing him from the Overmind. In exchange, he shall grant me what I seek. No longer need I live in fear of the sickness ravaging this body. I must, must push Deep Vein and the others all the harder to continue digging until at last what I so richly deserve is finally mine. Okay. I think these, uh, these silver scepters are going to go into that etching thing. I think we need another one. Oh, let's, let's save here. See what we can tell this guy. You've returned. What did you find? I found his journal. Gurn Coldhearth is not the man you thought he was. What are you talking about? You wee empty-headed nunts. Gurn manipulated you, tricked you into traveling here that he might enrich himself. Nothing. Nothing at all. You think you serve your god? Fool. You serve no one but Gurn Coldhearth. He used you. Gurn Coldhearth was a good man. One of the best. Not have you talk about him this way. Read his journal yourself. You'll see I speak the truth. I'll talk about him, about anyone, however I choose. Oh, no, 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 no! This can't be! 
Cold Hearth, ye ill-spawned bastard! How could you do this to me? He is a disciple of Abathor. You and your fellows were a sacrifice made in the name of greed. I'll ask him when I see him. You were weak, took advantage of that weakness. And how he'd see himself transformed, give up his mortal life and become a lich. This cannot happen. It cannot. It won't. I'll see to it. It will if I don't stop it. I want 500 gold in any treasure I find in yon caverns and beyond. Are we agreed? It can and it will if it hasn't already. Accept that fact and move on. I'm not strong enough to face him as a mortal. Never mind an undead. You, though. You might be able to take him. Especially with this. We call it the secret revealed. Its light blinds and all burns all creatures on life. It may help ye defeat the Lich, but use it sparingly. It'll not last long. If you fails, if it fails you, bring it back. May be able to make it work again once or twice before the secret's power is lost. Now, go find Cold Hearth and lay the traitor low before he gets what he seeks. Secret revealed. The green gemstone glows with the power of Dumathoin, the keeper of secrets beneath the mountain. Its divine power exacts a heavy price on the undead, especially liches. I will know what a lich is. He doesn't want my parchment? The container's full. Your mom's container's full. Okay. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Tiny Tiny to do got some strong dwarven hail. All right, we'll make our way back to camp. Hilarious. Uh, then we'll uh, then we'll equip the spells on. I don't know her name. V Veneer. They Varpy. Me. me. This cannot stand. This will not stand. Eh? What is this? Where did you come from? Careful, Odessiron. You can trust no one. Edwin. Edwin Odessiron. It's been some time since I last saw you. What was that you were saying? You talking to yourself? Where did I come from? I was right in front of you, and you nearly walked over me. I have no patience for your arrogance or your questions. Watch where you walk in the future. I'll find a new skull to house your worthless eyes. I was speaking to no one. Well, until now, when you interrupted my path and thoughts. Do you not know who I am? I'm Edwin Odessirian. Pride of the Red Wizards and greatest son of Thay. I realize your monkey brain cannot grasp the importance of this event, so I shall simply order you to show respect. Do not look upon me. Do not speak to me. Simply bow and step aside. Do you understand my words? A nod will do. We've met before, Edwin. Don't you remember? The measure of your power and confidence are indeed difficult to ignore. Forgive me for the trespass, but I'm Dinky Milady traveling north to fight one who has cast dispersions upon Thay and the family Odessirion, I believe. All right, I remember now. Well, good luck to you. Defer to you. If there's anything, any deferring that shall occur, you shall defer to me. It seems fate has offered you to me. The Shining Lady follows me, and you seek to kill her. Our interests align. And should you fail, well, no harm is done, and I am as I was. Kaylor's chasing you. She's near here? I have no interest in working with you. If you seek her head, then join me. We shall end her together. Thou runnest, or should I say, waddlest, away from the Shining Lady? For the love of the gods, save that filth for a chamber pot. You, Odess, Odie, wizard. Do you know where Kalar can be found? She's toiled like a serpent, waiting for prey, barely a day's journey from us. Join me, Edwin. We've much to discuss. Now this I've got to see. Thanks for the information, Edwin. That is all I need. Let us part ways with great haste. I shall follow you. For the moment, at least. 
Okay, well, you're not welcome in my party. You would have me leave you, me, Edwin Odessarian. You would do well to check your senses, Dirty my lady, to ask such a thing. They must surely have taken their leave of you. My senses may have left me, tis true, even as I must leave you here. By the time I return for you in due course. I'm indeed as respite anyway. I am in need of a respite. Anyway. Respite. Respite. Should await you here. It's a respite. You dum dum, it's respite. Alright, we need you. Okay. So now. Here we'll put. Hey, maybe I should just leave one level of that on her just because. Right? I'd rather not. Emma win. <laughs> now, where are they going to put me? Oh, okay. Top of my to do list. Annoying, but I need a swig or some strong not the end of the world. Oh shit. Runes eroded by time mark one face of the tall stone. Men here, one image shows a man lying on his back, his eyes closed, while six small... If that's what you really want me to do, let's think of more fun activities for later, though. Hmm? I know, right? The men here is hum grows louder. The men here emits a pleasant tone and its runes glow flank flankly, flankly, that's a word, faintly. It seems to have been activated. One image shows a man lying on his back, his eyes closed, while six small clouds fly away from him. There we go. We did it. I didn't see that the last time we were there. That's not good. Cereal is blind? Yes. It's bound to happen, right? The crashes. We got... I don't think it crashed at all yet. No, it did. It crashed right at the end of the day yesterday. That was... It's absolutely true. It me. totally Wait. crashed. This cannot stand, eh? What is this? Where did you come from? Careful, Odessiron. You can trust no one. Thou runnest on for the love of the gods, save that filth for a chamber pot. I shall follow you. For the moment, at least. You. Again. You would have me leave you? Me? Edwin Odesseron. Me? You would do well to check your senses. To ask such a thing, they must surely have taken their leave of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. I get it. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Cast your spell. Okay. I don't know if it's worth keeping on her, though. 
Viconia. I like I like I'm having without ye bother on me. I like I like having um the cure serious wounds equipped. Let's just go back in there. I need to pay more attention to our stats. I don't know when that happened. I thought we were fine. Maybe one of the creatures that we fought there did something and I just didn't notice. Or... Or something way prior to that and I'm just, you know, blind. It's more than likely possible. Alright, everything is good. Let's work our way back in here. Oh, we brought his buddy in. Did that do anything? Oh there, good to see you again. Good to see anyone under the circumstances. I see you've reunited with your employer. Take heart, my friend. Forge ahead as best you can, and the gods will watch over you. I'm in worse circumstances, believe me. Kept nattering at me, and you'll see naught but darkness for the rest of eternity. Brother Deepvane gave the orders, but it was Gurn Coldhearth that paid me. I'm sure Brother Deepvane will do what he can to see you paid. I'll do what I can to see that he has the chance. That's unlikely to happen now! Aye, aye, it's on the list of things to do. I'll be taking care of that after I take care of the other things on the list, if you know what I mean. I'll be wanting my gold at the end of this, Deepvane. Don't you try and squirm out of it. You'll get your money, you rancid plum. Don't you worry a boot a boot. A boot that we've better things to worry over at the moment. And you, turkey, my lady, you've things you ought to be doing now, too, don't you? Be a boot it, then I will be a boot whatever I please. My abootness is none of your business. All right, so we have two choices about where we can go here. We can go, like, to the southeast here or back that corridor. I think we're going to go into the corridor. So, like, southeast of me here, there's a, there's a door that probably opened up. But, there's also... This. I wanna I wanna check this out. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Locked, you say? Yeah, I what do you want? I have friend that can unlock right. lock. The door has no visible lock. Though attempts to open it fail, they seem to produce a brief thrumming from the pillars in the chamber to the northeast. Huh? I'll thrum your chamber. Yeah, I'll get right on that. The grinding of gears within the pillar tells you the mechanism they contain what you been reset. This time? Oh, I did a bad. Are you not gonna attack them? What these demons are, but they are evil. I'll recover. Cool. Yeah? What do you want? Okay, so there's some sort of like pattern to these, but I don't remember what I read. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs>
We're alive. We are alive. Maybe we just have to kill the things inside that get summoned? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. The brass plate is cold to the touch as you press your hand against it. An audible click echoes through the chamber. All right. There's one. That wasn't right. That was not right. Fire's bad. Fire's real bad. Please stop breathing fire on me. Ow. 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 Okay, well, who did? Nap time! Okay, so it's the second from the left. That's first. So, you. How about you? Okay, then you. And then you. Oh, it reset things. Okay, there's that one. Okay, that's two. So not that. Okay. Cool. So you, 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 you press the brass plate. Oh, God, I can't read that. You press the brass plate back into a niche inside the pillar. It settles in place with an audible click, immediately followed by a rumbling of ancient gears grinding together. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, we should equip the thing that gets rid of the lich, shouldn't we? This thing? I should put that on. I'm going to replace that. There we go. For now. Boom bat. Bat guy. But oh god. Huh? Yes, yes, I mean. Yeah, sure, whatever. Something will happen. I'm fucked. Hey, one hit, yeah. We got we got held in spot and that was it. Okay. Uh Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. How did someone like you rise so high in the flaming fist? Depends what you mean by Huh? There aren't many mothers who'd rather fight zealots thousands of miles from home when they could be making their children dinner and putting them to bed. Great. Ah, uh, let's what see here. Let's do it again. Why did you walk into that? Why did you walk around to the opposite side? Why? Yeah? What do you want?
Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That continues downwards. Maybe we should go into there. Maybe we should check that out now. Top of my to-do list. Look. I just want to read. Looking into this pool of blood, your gaze finds that of a sinister figure Looking into this pool of blood, your gaze finds that of a sinister figure. Man, some of these sentences are just written so stupid. After a brief moment, you realize you're staring at yourself, reflected upon the pool's glistening surface. Though you recognize the reflection for what it is, it still seem still it seems unfamiliar and alien, a stranger with your face oh a stranger with my face you say a sexy stranger we do enjoy the accompaniment yes, of sexy stranger i'm guessing this yeah door ah uh, hey this looks kind of foreboding doesn't it this time? I don't think that the English is wrong. It's just, it's used in a very uncommon way, which is very, like, disruptive to trying to read. Like, lots of words are, or lots of the sentences are just phrased oddly. It's not something I'm used to seeing, and it just throws me for a loop. All right, we've never been in this room before, so let's go in here. I'm guessing that that other room looked like it was like leading further in, so maybe this one doesn't. We'll at least check this out. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Remains. These brittle bones are held together only by tattered remnants of cloth. Greater restoration. I would like to grab that. Mage robe. Order staff, glitter dust, very nice. I do want that. Okay, yeah, I can't you grab that. We'll give you. I didn't realize. I, I think it's on like another character all the time, and it never is. Okay. Let's check out our inventory sitch. There you go. Oh. She identified arrows herself. Arrow of anti-magic. That's cool. Arrow of fire. Okay. That was neat. Why is that not allowed in the bag? I don't think it's full. Maybe it is full. Clairvoyance. I don't think I necessarily want that. I don't really care so much about being able to see further. A greater restoration, on the other hand. No one can... No one can learn it. It says everyone can learn it. It says she can learn it, but... Hmm. Doesn't say anything. Level seven. Oh no wonder. I don't think anybody's capable of learning. I don't even think that has anything to do with it. I mean, it's not like it matters. All right. Well, we'll we'll throw it in our inventory for now, and doesn't look like anyone is capable of learning it. Who has who's the highest uh, lore? 25. 16. 8. <laughs> it's not good. Ah! 37. Holy moly. All right, give her all the stuff. 
He has zero lore. <laughs> we have 13. Everyone can use it. Clerics learn it automatically. Well, I can't do anything with it right now, so it's moot. Tis be moot. Order staff plus one. Trash. It's definitely a robe we already have. Electrical resistance. You can get... Well, I know I can do that. I'm not gonna do that. I know I can. Yeah. Yeah. Who would do something so silly? The Uncursed Staff. Decades ago, an adventuring priest of Gon discovered a cursed staff in a dungeon. Despite its curse, the staff was well-crafted and fine-looking weapon, and the priest sought a way to lift the curse. Though, he was never able to do so, he was able to add an enchantment to the staff, mostly negating its cursed properties and allowing him to carry it, and put it away as desired. Though the staff was little better than a regular weapon, the priest carried it to the rest of his days, as it boosted his ability to carry treasure out of subsequent dungeons. Are you fucking kidding me? So all I do is have to like equip it on a person? No one can really use it. Didn't do anything for her. Oops. 270. Alright, but you don't use it. Don't use it. Use your hammer. Use your hammer. Oh, but she would have to have it equipped. Oh, I see. Alright, yeah. Same. Guess maybe if we needed it at some point. I can't imagine a use for that. At least yet. What was this? Glitter dust. Yeah, I want some glitter dust. Hell yeah. Got that old glittery dusteries. Hmm. Let's see here. I could take off an acid arrow and we could throw on a glitter dust. Why not? Glitter dust is nice to have. Back pocket and all. Is that everything that's in here? Protection from evil. Helmet. Distance, okay. Alrighty. Some more arrows. You have this nice you-know-what-you-have? You got that. That's what you got. That's what you got. Oh, that's why she's been getting all attacky. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Where are regular arrow? I will take them all out. Here, one arrow for you. I was wondering why she was charging in. That makes way more sense now. There you go, young miss. What you got for me this time? You can slap dicks until you're content and delighted. Shoot dicks, shoot dicks. Pop them. Where ahead of you, boss? A cavity around the building's entrance has been dug into the dirt and rock piled over it. 
but there is little hope of escaping the sight from here. It's like Helm's Deep, right? Boo says you smell rotten to the core, and Boo's nose has never let me keep your distance or suffer the consequences. They're friends. They like each other. They hang out and they go to dinner parties together. Best friends. Best, best of, the best friends ever. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. He did some voodoo. He did his lich voodoo. No idea what that is. Black magic. It is over, Cold Hearth. You have survived the transformation. Keep your phylactery secure, and your unlife will be long. Long and prosperous. Abathor be praised! You freed me from the Overmind, and in turn, I gave you what you desired. Our business is done. Beware, my former master. Should he learn of your existence, he will take you as he did me. Aye, aye, I know. The Shadow King won't hear a peep from me. Fare thee well, Cold Hearth. We shall not meet again. They seem so friendly with one another. He even said bye-bye to him. He's like, I'll never see you again. Love you. I should return to them and tell them what you know. Shouldn't I kill? Shouldn't I kill this guy? You don't want me to merc him? I feel like we should merc him. Should return to the dwarves and tell them what I know about Cold Hearth. I must seek out and destroy Cold Hearth in whatever form he takes now. Now, we must seek out and destroy. Uh, who are you now? How did you come to this place? Uh, pardon me, I got lost. Do you know the closest way to Albuquerque? It's a long story. A story that ends in a pitched battle with a dwarven lich. I came here seeking power and wealth, same as you. You would see me destroyed? Try it then, please. I would know the extent of the power running through my veins. Neat. Yeah? What do you want? Alright, well we've got this thing. To throw at him. Right? Now we can, huh? now we can bash his face in. So he put like a bunch of spells and stuff on him. I don't have any dispel stuff. This is really unfortunate. I guess we just have to kind of like wait for his stuff to wear out. It's unfortunate. Well, we are kind of hitting them. Okay. What? Why are you yelling at me? Don't yell at me. Ancient key. Oh, go on. And what this ancient key be? Patches of flaking rust obscure the intricate designs that once adorned the head of this ancient corroded key. We, we need to wait for Durky. A stone pedestal has been erected in the center of the chamber. What appears to be fresh blood fills a circular grove, groove surrounding the pedestal. Alright, now we can have Durky back. Baby, yeah, come back. I'll get right on that. 
Cut from solid stone, this statue depicts a sinister figure clad in a cloak of ancient netherese design. Is that a cutie pie? Is that a cutie pie? Okay. We took out the uh, the dwarven evilage. Like we weren't punished for doing that, right? They weren't angry that we murdered that guy, were they? What? No! What the fuck? Yo, this dude resurrect? This will not this work. This isn't working. I must we have to try something else. Try something else. <laughs> this isn't working. We have to try something else. Yeah? What do you want? Resisting me. Ha! My aim is true. You think he's getting up after Not that good. one? He burst open that time. Way ahead of you, boss. What you got for me this time? Oh. It's another cold hearth no, lich? No, what? This isn't working. We have to try something else. This isn't working. We have to try something else. This isn't working. We have to try something else. I know. Resisting me. Something else. Top of my to do. I do not know if I fully trust this. An intricate carving of a rose with a long thorny stem wraps around the surface of this lacquered burgundy box. The carefully crafted pieces seems heavier than it ought. Small fortune of precious stones is set in a large fortune of gold and silver formed into the shape of a box. Wrapped around the box is a long cord of supple material made of the hide of some exotic I beast. If I were you, my mother always said you can always trust a man to do the wrong thing, but never trust a woman to do anything. Thy mother the... had a dim view of humanity. This modest, unadorned wooden box is tied shut with a string of leather. A medallion in the shape of an elven skull hangs from a golden chain, small green gems glittering its eye sockets. The skull is apparently hollow. Shaking it produces a barely audible she rustling within. Well. That does tend to adversely affect one's view of it. In my At first glance, this brass amulet appears to be wrapped in chains of the same material. Close inspection reveals the chains are molded along the surface of the charm. The words phylactery has been crudely carved upon the surface of this rough hewn stone cube. When you pick it up, something rattles within, but there's no obvious way to access the contents short of shattering the box. The wooden box is easily smashed to splinters. A small piece of parchment concealed within drops to the floor and instantly crumbles to dust. Thou art thy mother's daughter. So she claims. I have my doubts. With some effort, you dash the box to pieces, a small piece of parchment bearing the word soul. It's left in your hand. Smashing the amulet reveals a glittering blue diamond concealed within. You crush the golden elf skull, the gems and the eye sockets fall to the floor. Though seemingly composed of malleable precious metals, this phylactery resists all attempts to damage it. Destroying it might require power beyond the prime material plane. 
You hit the box, which collapses into splinters. A cloud of warm, moist air envelops you momentarily with a sigh. Dissipates into the chamber's murk. What you got for me this time? Yeah, I'll get right on that. of a fiery landscape appears accompanied by a blast of unearthly heat you realize that it was in such a place as this that the cold hearth lich's phylactery was formed these don't have the f fuck Are you kidding me this isn't working yeah, no working. shit. I can't do anything this against them. We have to try something else. This isn't working. We have to try this isn't working. We have to try this isn't working. We have to try something else. This isn't working. We have to try this isn't working. We have to try this isn't working. We have to try something else. Need to try something else. What do you want? Huh? Yeah, I'll get right on this. This isn't working. We have to try something. Wow, so you're not going to go over there even though I told you to. Motherfucker. All right. Uh yeah, we're we're in a pickle there, huh? If I was able to kill him there, we'd be okay. But I wasn't able to. We need to get that phylactery. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, we're just gonna grab the, yeah, let's just, let's just run for now. We'll deal with them when we get back out there. I have one more use of the item, so we're, we're okay for right now. I think I think I can figure out how the game works, man. I think I can figure out how the game works. I've been succeeding so far. I don't need step by step, you know, paint by numbers. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, he's dead. He is definitely dead. Yeah. What do you want? I got it. Way ahead of you, boss. I know you're just saying, and I'm just saying. I don't need to be told what to do. Oh. It's fine, he needed to be healed. Shit. Of all the random enemies to spawn at, the salamanders were fine. I did not need this. They're gonna hurt. They are going to hurt. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, yes. What you got for me this time? 
Oh, I still have two charges of it left. Perfect. Game, hello? Huh? Oh, that was annoying. You cast the golden box down into the flames as it falls. The metal turns molten, its surface bubbling and sloughing off. The soul within screams in rage. You cast the golden box down into the flames. As it falls, the metal turns molten, its surface bubbling and sloughing off. Sloughing. The soul within screams in rage and fear as the fire consumes it. Right, so everyone got 30,000. Uh, Emerald and King's Tears are what we got. Let's get the hell out of here. That was something from before, so I think we got everything we need from here. I want to go back into that other chamber now, because we were, like, quickly running through. I want to want to grab the stuff that was in there, break all the other, uh... So I guess some of those were supposed to be lures, but it doesn't seem, like, bait. It doesn't seem like there's any consequence to breaking any of the other things, other than getting, like jewels and stuff, and then a fake phylactery. Hit the box which collapses in a storm as a warm cloud and moist air envelops you momentarily with a sigh it dissipates into the chamber's murk. Does console version of the game have the option to highlight everything interactable like the PC version? I don't know, that's a great question. I don't even know where I would go to, like, look at something like that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We could take a look in the options. Let's see here. Maybe under gameplay? Tooltip delay. Scroll speed. Difficulty. UI reference. Let's see here. Gore. Weather. Group infravision. Yeah, but maybe it's something, like, I, I don't know. I don't think that there's something, like, just control-oriented that does that. Oops. UI reference? No. Controls. Uh, party selection. Previous party game menu. Zoom in and out. Switch. Target. Toggle drive tactics mode. Center camera. Pan camera. Hot bar. Action select back. Uh, menu controls. It doesn't look like there's something that says that. At least I don't see anything that says that it'll show you everything in... Uh... No cosmetic attacks, journal pop-ups, more confirmation prompts, classic selection circles, colored selection circles to hit rolls. This is all feedback. I think that all has to do with, like, what happens on the controller. I don't know that I see anything that mentions any of that. Show InfraVision when any selected character has InfraVision. Otherwise, InfraVision will only be shown when one of the characters with InfraVision is selected. Rest until healed. Max HP on level up. Default damage. Ration. Ammunition. 
zoom lock sprite outlines grayscale highlight selected sprite dither always nearest neighboring scaling hmm yeah i don't see anything that uh that has that is that native to the pc version or is that like a mod thing that you can do Oh, yeah, I guess it's absent here. I guess it's absent. That, that would be kind of nice to be able to have something that shows everything. But at the same time, I mean, even if I've missed something, I don't really care. I'm sure there are, like, some small things here and there that I've I've missed out on, I'm, I'm sure. But, you know, it's one of those things, ignorance is bliss, right? I don't know that I missed anything. <laughs> I'm sure there are a bunch of, like, small little things here and there that I've just either walked past or completely ignored, or I'm, I'm sure. Top of my to do. You're a terrorist? Is Coldheart dead? Tell me you ripped the catchpenny bastard's head from his shoulders. Coldhearth is no more. Wouldn't want to do that. Last time I tried to rip a dwarf's head off, I threw my back out. Could hardly move for weeks. Mind your tone, Deep Vein. When Coldhearth has been dispatched, I'll let you know. He turned his back on me, on great Dumathoin. There's a price to pay for that. You've done me a good turn, and no mistake in it. Didn't came a lady. Here, take these, please. For myself, I'll stay here, cleanse this place of the unholy elements within. And then, I cannot say what happens then. We could use good men at our side when we face the crusade, a dragon spear. If you some frustrations to work out, I know someone worthy of your animosity, the Shining Lady. She's called the Shitting Boy. Don't look to me for answers, I've got none. You make some sense. All right, then, when I'm done here, I'll make my way to Dragon Spear. Until then, keep your axe high, my friend. Nice. So, we've recruited, like, a band of guys. Uh, how... How goes the sanctification of Cold Hearth's Pit of Horror? It'll be going a good deal faster without the botherment uh, answering pointless questions. I can tell you that much. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's much that needs going. Probably unimportant things. There's a hidden game-breaking ring in Baldur's Gate 1, but you're glad you finished the game without knowing its whereabouts. It's useful on speedruns after you already know what's going to happen. It's kind of cool. I certainly I didn't discover it. Help with healing. I might. I might at that. What you be looking for? Oh, shit. That's cool. Well, why weren't you a sanctuary before, sir? I walked all the way out. I didn't know he had this ability. I mean, I don't need it. I'm just going to nap right in front of you. Oh my god, they're coming for us! Easy. I'm going to nap again right in front of you. Oh my god, they're coming for us! I'm still going to nap right in front of you. One of these times it's going to work. Did one of them die?
Okay. Whoops. Top of my to-do list. All right. I won't be doing that right in front of them. <laughs> Lesson learned. I mean, he obviously had, like, gear and stuff that we could potentially use, but... Top of my to -do. Yeah. Blur and... What? Yeah? What do I... you want? Yes. Well, I didn't want to pick huh? that up, but whatever. King's Tears, that sounds wonderful. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Maybe we just sell it? Maybe it's just the sellable item? I don't, I don't think that there's any other purpose to it. I think maybe it's just like, we'll get money for it. I feel kind of bad that I killed the dwarf there. I think that was uh, this guy here. I think it was him, Darren Highhammer. Yeah, I'll get right I don't want him dead, Darren. at least yet. Is Coldheart dead? Tell me you ripped the catchpenny bastard's head from his shoulders. Hey, what do you need, you wee dauntless godfly? Ye? Hey, what do you need, you wee okay. dauntless godfly? Ye? Cool beans. All right, we took care of it. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And we got... So no one's affected by, like, a de-leveling spell thing? No, it doesn't look like it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're doing great. Nothing better could be happening than right now. I have got to go use the bathroom. I will be right back. Holiest demoliest all right. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine all right. companion. That's that's uh that's pretty pretty big now pretty big area. It right, doesn't look like we can continue going from up there, does it? Yeah, all of this is kind of uh its own little nook. So we got that singing for us, right? 
I think we've done three of those stones. I think we've done three of them. Because there was one somewhere around here as well. I don't remember where that was. It was right here? Is that you? It was you. Ow! No. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. How far are we from gaining levels? 40,000. Lovely. 107,000 experience to the next level? Christ. 57,000. About 30,000. 43,000. 117,000. Ain't nobody ever gaining a level again. Ain't nobody ever gaining a level again. It's just, we've, we've, we've gained all the levels one can possibly gain. Hello, what's this? How am I to do this? The chest's lock is damaged and have melted. No key will open it. What you got from this time? So you're basically telling me this isn't going to work, right? Right. Yeah. No key will work, want? but, you know, a lockpick yeah, will work. Right on that. Okay. What? Oh, I bet you my... Oh, I'm an idiot. My inventory was full. The dwarf didn't die. My inventory was full, so he threw it on the fucking ground. A glittering green jewel adorns this battered metal helm, infused with the power of the dwarven god Dumathoin. Physical resist damage resistance plus three, constitution plus two, others plus one, protects against critical hits. I don't know who I could put that on. She obviously wouldn't want that. Oh! Give her a little more beef? He's kind I don't know, maybe him? What is this? Panic and boost morale. Kind of rather him have that than anything else. Yeah, all right, here. Have some HP. That's not going to help her? Wow, really? Okay. You know, there's clearly a reason for it. I don't know what that is, but there is a reason. Something that she's not quite capable of wearing. Wearing. Okay. We got that cloak. Huh? It's probably just a cloak of protection. It tends to be what they are here. Teleria? Where the hell are we? Hmm. Okay. Hello. What is it you want, stranger? I was wondering if you might be able to tell me anything about these woods. Conversation, mostly. You seem like an interesting person. Nothing, I'll be gone. I know nothing of interest, and I value my privacy. Be. I much prefer wooded regions. Conversation, mostly. You seem like an interesting person. I know nothing. All right. Good conversation then, ma'am. Your acquaintance, I am glad I lost to everything. Have made. <laughs> everything. Nature. Huh. Who needs it? Twigs in my hair, bugs flying around my face. Give me a city any day. Exactly what I was thinking. Might be annoying at times, but nature can also be beautiful. Stop whining and pay attention. Could be an ambush behind every tree. You think this is beautiful, hmm? Anything else in the area that catches your eye? 
Oh, is it orangey time? You do. You look more lovely than the flowers springing from the ground. You know what a beautiful woman you are, Safana. You don't need to. You don't need me to tell you. Is that the best you can do? I've been complimented with far more grace and authenticity. Your compliment is so pedestrian, it almost sounds like an insult. I'm sorry. I should have known better than to show you an ounce of kindness, Arpy. You're actually going to criticize my compliment. Come back to me when you've thought of something truly complimentary to say, and maybe I'll listen. I do not know if I fully trust thee, Stefana. I know, right? I wouldn't if I were you. All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. I'm afraid I have little to trade. When I fled the crusade, I had to leave much behind. I'd like to see what you have for sale. What can you tell me about the things going on in the area? We've had a spell of troubles. We're all refugees, and we banded together for survival, but some of us have vanished. Five have gone missing so far, leaving all their possessions behind. It's a right mystery. Have you any clues to what happened? So their possessions are just lying around? Interesting. Tell me more. They probably wandered into the woods and were devoured by wild beasts. I don't know anything, really, but... You see that tall elf woman? Teleria is her name. She arrived right before their disappearances started. No one knows anything about her. If I see the missing people, I'll let you know. The new arrival is the first suspected. Well, it's a place to start. I'll speak to her. Here, say it best. The woman's probably completely innocent, and I won't disturb her. Very well. Luck to you. We'll talk to her. Gods, help me. No more, please. I've endured so much. I can take no more. What's happened? Maybe I can help. Oh, dear. Did you get mud on your silk robes? Cease this sniveling, or I'll give you something to moan about. Leave me to my misery, my wealth stolen, my home burned. I have nothing to live for. Nothing. Alright, so no matter what you say to him, he's just gonna whine. We're closed. This building's absolutely gutted. What happened here? Are you sure? I was hoping to find some charcoal for dinner and a pile of ashes to sleep on tonight. You're trying to be funny. Oh, go away. I don't have the energy to talk to anyone. Let me choke on the ashes and die. Why don't you tell me what's wrong? Maybe I can help. Can I have your stuff once you choke and die? <laughs> I'll go when I feel like going. What happened here? If you insist, farewell. I'll tell you my story if it means you'll go away. A pack of clinking crusaders got drunk and rowdy. I decided to throw them out. They decided to put my inn to the torch. I lost three heirlooms that meant everything to me in the fire. And my wife left me. Took the kids with her to Baldur's Gate. Sorry you had to endure all that. Can't do anything about the inn or your family. Might be able to help with the heirlooms. Heirlooms. Valuable heirlooms. Did the Crusaders take their heirlooms? I could slay them and claim the treasure as payment. For your sake. I hope there's a point to all this. I've lost everything. My family... My inn, my cloak and shield, the mirror. Might have something to live for if I got the heirlooms back. Tell me about the mirror. The mirror was my wife's. It's been in her family for generations. She told me it shows the truth of anything it reflects. Tell me about the cloak. The cloak was given to me as a memento of five years service in the Belur City Watch. My most treasured possession. A Duke of Baldur's Gate personally gave me that shield as a reward for bravery. If any of the items were stolen, that one would be. Might have already found one of the items. I need to check my pack. Do my best to return these items to you. If I find the items, if I find them, what can you offer me in return? Find all three heirlooms, and I'll make it worth your time. And you have free room and board... For life on top of that. What? In your burned down inn? I think not. I'll take monies. 
Do my best to find them for you. A worthy prize. I'll leave no scorched stone unturned. I make no promises. I may seek out the items if it suits me. I'll be here, sitting in the scorched ruins of my dreams. Thy mother had a dim view of humanity. She knew it's a hard life on the road. The crusade is masked by the dungeon, by the bridge. No one's getting over the winding water now. The crusade destroys Taylor's mercenaries could have at least left the inn standing so he'd have somewhere to sleep. It's a hard life on What's the, the crusade hoping to accomplish? He sees the bridge. Now he can't even head north. Thou art thy mother's daughter. So she claimed. What this be? What you got yes, for me this sweetheart? time? What this be? Right. Gantrus's hand mirror. Find it. Yeah. What do you want? Way to go, friend. Where ahead of you, boss? The charred remains of a small inn mar the scenery along the coast way. Junk. Okay, well, I don't want junk. Nope, more junk. Shall we be collecting the rabble? The rubble? Rubble, rubble. Oh. Ah. That's actually kind of helpful. There's a little pocket back there. Oh, we're in the pocket. All right, let's stand still for a second. Let's take in our surroundings, see if she can find anything. She's finding nothing! Well, we found two things. Maybe, maybe the shield was something that was stolen by the bandits. We gotta get out of there by going over here. Oh my god. I just want out of this hell! Rubble, rubble. Well, let's go talk to Teleria. I don't think we found uh, the shield. Few of the fair folk concern themselves with the affairs of the state. What does he want, stranger? I was wondering if you might be able to tell me anything about these woods. Conversation mostly. Oh, right. I heard some people have gone missing from this camp recently. I've heard the same, but I don't know anyone who's vanished. Herod tells me people started disappearing shortly after your ride. He thinks you have something to do with the disappearances. Have you seen anything suspicious? Any ideas what might have happened to the missing people? There are too many people around. Can't say anything here. There's a clearing just inside the forest northwest of here. Meet me there. I'll tell you what I know. She seems perfectly friendly. Perfectly friendly. Real? Order is what matters. Oh, I already talked to you. Carry on. 
Mann. Yeah, we probably need to find uh, uh, the bandits that stole the stuff. It's moving so fast. Burned in. It does not like that. Oh, hello. Runes eroded by time mark one face of this tall stone man here. One image shows a man exhaling a billowing cloud, a look of terror in his face. Did you bring me along to sing to rocks? Oh, fine. If it will get us moving again. I know, right? The men here hum grows louder. The men here emits a pleasant tone, and its runes glow faintly. 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 It seems to have been activated. It's amazing I can speak at all. Ever. Cyril, you can form sentences? No. 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 I, I cannot. Unfortunately, I cannot. I think that's the fourth one. Spadooters. Time to end swiftly. I'll recover. You'll recover? You weren't even injured. Miss. Emma win. What? By demand, I... yes. No. Yes. I saw it went away. What does hamster do? Boo is a fuzzy little hamster. While Minsk believes that Boo is a miniature giant space hamster, you're rather certain that the tiny Ronin is just a normal hamster. I do not care for the hamster. Huh? Does he? Boo scuttles away as you try to grab him, and Min stops any further attempt to steal the animal with a harsh glare. I hate it! It is adorable. That was adorable. And, as usual, I hate all things adorable. Squeak! Where are you, boss? Runes eroded by time. Mark one face of this tall stone menhir. One set of faint markings seems to spell out... Ooh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've melted hearts of stone before. Why not? The Meneer's hum grows louder. The Meneer emits a pleasant tone and its runes glow flaint faintly. I can't do it! Glows faintly. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. I can do that. Why can't I say glow faintly? It's impossible. It seems to have been activated. One set of faint markings seems to spell out a name. C R dash dash M dash S Crumbs Harry Crumb
Rums. What? Announcer? Step right up, young folks. Would you like to witness the most fearsome battles of our time? Here, have a flyer. I mean, would I? I might. Or would I go to see these epic combats? Witness some pretty fearsome battles in my life already. No interest in this tawdry entertainment. No, I do. Right up the path. A new bout should be beginning soon. Well, and I, me, am invited. Oh, here we are. Oh, they were really close to one another, huh? Runes eroded by time mark one face of this tall stone men here. I'll do my best, darling. The Meneer's hum grows louder. The Meneer emits a pleasant tone and its runes glow faintly. It seems to have been activated. I found all six men here, and I seem to have awakened... At last I am free. Kramis. Free. Good for you, Kramis. Who are you? Name yourself, spirit. Great. I unleashed a ghost. You an evil spirit. Please don't be an evil spirit. Tell me your name, Shade, and do it quickly, lest I return you to the afterlife once you came. Promise is my name. In life, I was a poor minstrel. No evil lurks in my transparent heart, I assure you. How did you come to be trapped? Promise. You would say that. Tell me your tale, and I'll decide what to do with your transparent heart and the rest of your organs. Who imprisoned you? You must burn for revenge! Mine is a tragic tale. I grew up not far from here in a village now long turned to dust. A wealthy adventurer, Jeth Karnas, retired to the village, soon became our mayor. He had one child, a daughter, Carlene. Karnas had arranged Carlene to marry the wizard, Arthipian. Artifian, 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 a foul man, cruel and vicious, with the baleful gaze of a spider. Why would Carnes want such a man to marry his daughter? He had eight eyes. Go on. Carlene meant nothing to Carnes. She was property, to be traded away for the best price possible. Artifian offered him much. For her hand. Carlene and I fell in love. She was beautiful as a spring day. She had a fondness for pining, pinning flowers in her hair. I remember how prettily they drooped over her ear. She begged to be released from the engagement to Artifian, to no avail. And so she came to me and said, If we can't be together in life, my love, we can in death. She wanted you to make a lover's pact? A little drastic, don't you think? Could you have just run away together? The passion of lovers is for death. Go on. I paraphrase Slayton. As I recall, her exact words were, There's impossible. Let's just go to the coast and set up a flower shop. And so we fled. But Artifian would not let Carlene go. He pursued us catching up to us just as we crossed the winding water. He paralyzed me with a spell and snatched Carlene away as I watched helplessly. Then, in his rage, he stole my voice, shattered it, binding each fragment in the petrified tooth of a great dragon. It's terrible. These men here are dragon teeth? Look like ordinary rock to me. And then... Our Then my spirit has wandered these woods, voiceless and alone. Until now, thanks to you, I can sing once more. Pauline, found me, my love. Can we kill him? Is that okay? What is this? Where am I? Who? I remember you, 
Scythian. Foul one. I will destroy you. Destroy you all. Oh. Uh, no? Carly, do you not recognize me? It is I, your love. Promise. She's confused. Spirits often are. Carly, listen to me. You had an unhappy life after you lost your lover. But now you are reunited. Look at him. You know who he is. Calm yourself, spirit. Use the senses the god gave you immediately. Or pay the price. You will plague me no longer, Artifian. Your end is nigh. Uh, uh-oh. Carlin! No! Well, die, evil, vengeful spirit! I think I killed him. Oh, what the shit? It's a wraith. This isn't working. We have to try something else. No, it worked. It, it worked. Promise. At last, I am free. Free. What? All these years I longed to call to you, but I couldn't until now. Thanks to this kind stranger, we are together again. I wish you and Carleen all the best, Kramas. I'd ask for a ward, but it's rare for a ghost purse. I don't have any gold. Ah, well. Suppose a good deed will have to be its own reward on this occasion. Be off with you, then. The both of you. I was buried in a barrow not far from here, in the eastern side of the forest. Seek out my grave. Whatever you find there, take with my blessing. But beware, an evil presence resides nearby. Many thanks. May you find comfort and solace in the, mel in the melodies of Melil. Until we meet again, farewell. Until we meet again, you're dead, dude. Bruv. Okay, we don't get, like, a good deed or anything like that. Uh, I guess we can go tell the lady that we took care of this business, right? She'll be happy to know, like, what, what it is, because she was, like, singing to that rock. Yeah, rock out, man. Prit. Oh, hello. Apologies for not greeting you sooner. I was a bit distracted. Didn't notice. I've learned the secret of the sinning, the singing menhirs. You did? It's wonderful. Tell me all about it. The tale begins when the bard Kramas fell in love with the beautiful Carlene. It's spectacular. Kramas' story will make an epic ballad. I can't thank you enough. Good luck with your composing. I'll receive a portion of any monies generated by the song, of course. I find it an overly sentimental, pathetic story myself. There truly is no accounting for taste. Please, take this read. It appears to be not but an ordinary whistle, but it will bolster the abilities of any spellcaster that carries it. Now, I must begin composing. This song will be my crowning achievement. Kill Prin! Alright, so what garbage? Oh, I don't want this. You just gave me trash. Take your trash, demon.
Uh, well, there's there's the arena there. It looked like maybe the uh, the guys that burned down the inn were over there to the left. Maybe. But that guy said treasure to the e uh oh. Jugger ladies here. He's here. The elites failed. They failed. Everyone, fall back. Fall back to the bridge. Go, go, here. go. On their own. The elites failed. Gods. Wait. What are you? No, go. That's not my fault. This. This is a terrible way to treat a bridge. Or any other river crossing. Crossing is down. God damn it. This is our chance to prove ourselves to Kalar. She wants the hero of Baldur's Gate. Cut off their retreat. Quick. Take them. Ah, uh, I did not want to do this. I was looking for treasure. You guys aren't treasure, are you? What happened here? The hero of Baldur's Gate arrived, milady. Unbound and unescorted by your elites, this man panicked. He destroyed the bridge before our prey could cross. Forgive me, mistress. Please. There is nothing to forgive, Javis. The fault is mine. I should have warned you of this possibility. It is time this child of Baal and I had words. Like friendly words? Crusaders, stand down! Hear my words. I would speak with you. Uh, oh, okay, wizard lady. This may be our only opportunity to communicate directly with Kalar. We have to take it. Perhaps I can persuade her to end this madness now, before more lives are lost. I don't want to do it. You do it. Don't look at me like that. Oh, I know. Do it. We've an opportunity to end this by putting an arrow between her eyes. This is new. She's never been willing to speak to anyone representing the council before. If she'll talk to you, well, I doubt she's here to surrender, but we should hear what she has to say. I know, right? And so the hero of Baldur's Gate comes from my head. Shall we speak and see what truth comes of it? Speak your peace. We'll see about that. Speak, but keep your distance. My actions will speak louder than any words between us. Shining lady. Oh, we got we got sexy with her. We stand poised on the cusp of a new age. Someday all Farron shall look to this moment and say, then, that was when everything changed. <laughs> that was the moment everything changed. You were what brought me here. The attempt you made on my life, the damage you've wrought across the land. Destiny, and the blades of the assassins you sent to slay me. Pressure from the Council of Four and the payment they offer brought me here, though the opportunity to kill you is reason enough. I am not your enemy. Consider for a moment the poison my agent sought to use against you. You didn't intend to kill me? Get to the point. My ears are deaf to your lies, witch. Deceive your followers if you want. I will not be so easily manipulated. It may seem that we stand on opposite sides, but it is not so. 
Our goals align closer than you know, and there is much we could achieve together. <laughs> Wait, it'd be incest, though. It, it'd be... It'd be incest. Yuck. She's like my half-sister, right? Oh. Oh, get away from me, foul temptress. <laughs> I am a drop of water in the river of my army. We will wash away all opposition. Return to Baldur's Gate. Tell the council not to oppose me. The Grand Dukes will not be turned. Nor will the Lords of Waterdeep. Nor the rulers of Daggerford. Some say the blood of Baal runs through your veins, Kalar Argent. Is it true? I care nothing for the motivations of dukes. Me of my own accord. Nay, no child of Baal am I, nor oh. any other god. Cool. I am an Asimar, descended from a Solar that blessed my line generations ago. Is blood what matters to you? Or the message? No, okay, uh, the Grand Banging has once again commenced. Orgies for all! Blood matters when it is spilled in service to a message. I care nothing for your message any more than I care for the orders of the Grand Dukes. Blood is not forgiveness. There's nothing in your message that would justify the deaths you have caused. Shared blood did not save Sarabok. And it will not save you. Well, we're also not related to her. In our lifetimes, two dragon spear wars have ravaged this land. Fiends set out from the castle, bringing ruin to the land and dragging thousands of innocent souls into the inferno before being beaten back for a time. Those who follow me lost wives and husbands, parents, children, friends. But what was lost can be restored. I will bring those tortured souls back to Toro. You lie. <laughs> Cannot march into the Nine Hells and claim the Devil's due. It's madness even to consider it. Do you really believe such a thing is possible? You should think to your own life before seeking to rescue those already dead. I do. And even should I fail, it is necessary. To not attempt it would be a greater crime. All right, but then that doesn't make sense. Why are you wreaking havoc on the land then? If if your if your whole goal is to march into hell, why are you just slaughtering people along your way? Like that. If your goal is peace and bringing back things, then why are you killing more things? You lie. Would you hesitate if one of your own were cast into the hells, whatever their deeds? Or would the dukes be fighting you now to keep you from what you feel is right? You're dumb. I don't like, I am no longer paying attention to the words you say because everything you say is hollow. Countless lives were lost as the fiends erupted from Dragonspear. A tide of hate and sulfur ravaging the land. None could escape. There was nowhere to run. Families, homes, loved ones. Every soul caught in a fiend's grip at the moment of their death. But it does not end there. They are taken to the Nine Hells. Their blood boils, their skin blisters and bursts. Devil's claws rend their soul, tearing it to shreds. But they cannot die. I hear them. I hear the screams of the unjustly damned. And I will not turn a deaf ear. Their blood can't boil. Because they're dead. Their skin can't blister and burst because they're dead. I see no problem with this. I am not without sympathy for the souls of Dragonspear, Kalar. But what you attempt lacks strategy and worse, ignores what could happen. Perhaps again. The picture you paint is truly horrifying. What you propose is truly possible. If the hells are your destination, then let me speed you on your way. You have done little to fight the calling in your own blood, and you cannot judge me for the same ball spawn. Murder beats in your heart, justice and salvation in mine. In the end, we will see which beats stronger. 
I can't let you do this, Kalar. You've already brought harm upon the living, and soon you will do the same to the dead. Does it really matter? They're already dead. When you lay dying at my feet, you'll learn that not everything is possible for you. Keep on behaving like that, mad woman. Keep on believing that, mad woman. Leave it right up to the moment you die at me. I regret the loss of those who stood against me and trust that in death, they will come to understand what I could not show them in life. I will honor their passing with the return of the dragon spear dead. Your father was the Lord of Murder. Countless lives were stolen in his name. What if you could restore that balance, bring back those unjustly taken? Would you? Or is the call of your sire's blood too strong? Had you seen the streets of Baldur's Gate, felt the desperation of those your crusade has displaced, you would realize the folly of your words. As compelling as your argument is, my lady, Council of Four will not be turned from their path. Nor will I. Do not heed the call of my blood. My actions are my own. You will not sway them from me. Very well. If this is your choice, then meet me at Dragonspear Castle, and we shall end this. Very well, then. Dragonspear Castle. Your arrogance will be your undoing, Kalar. Surrender, and you might survive what's to come. Flee, then. I will come for you. And when I do, not even the walls of Dragonspear shall keep me from you. You and I will meet again. Of this, I am sure. We do not need to meet as enemies. Reconsider your course, I beg you. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. What you got for me this oh, time? Oh shit! One of my peoples died. Top I am of my happy to do not. List. No, I'm not. You have heard the shining lady's words, Dirky <laughs> Milady. You know our cause to be righteous. There's always room for another Dirky Milady. The cause could use one such as you, and with you, not even the hells could stop us. I cannot be turned. I cannot be turned from my path anymore. And she can be from hers. Why consider it had Kalar not already made an attempt on my life, or whatever that was. No, but fear not, your lady will join you in death soon enough. Your sense of duty gives you strength, as it does our lady. It is an admirable trait in these times. Duty to Kalar is madness, not strength. Return to your former lives. Do not die on her behalf. I serve no one. One less crusader shall diminish Kalar's strength. Are you prepared to die? You have heard the lady's words, but you do not yet understand. Open your eyes before it is too late. Oh, bye guys. Which one of these is my friend? Turkey milady, are you all right? You heard an explosion. I'm fine, but we'll need to find another place to cross the winding water. Better to hear it than feel it. But we'll need to find another place to cross the winding water. Everyone in ten leagues of here heard the explosion, you idiot. They destroyed the st Stalarning crossing? Stalarning? That's not a word. <laughs> Our way to Dragon Spear is lost to us. Taylor seems determined not to face me. The bridge is down? Gods, half a Baldur's Gate trade came through there. The council was having trouble enough dealing with Kalar's refugees. With the coastway impassable, the city would fall into chaos. So, the rich will be slightly less rich for a time. My heart breaks for them. The trade of a nation is secondary to its survival. You're right about that. But I fear there's little we can do about it. No, you can fix the bridge. You, you can fix the bridge. I mean, it it's broken, but, you know, you can put some, like, planks and stuff over it, and be fine. Just go get some wood. And then, you know, repair. Fucking morons. Do I have to do everything around here? 
Idiots, all of them. All the city's problems have Kalar at their source. Let us make our way to Dragon Spirit. The best thing we can do, only thing we can do really, is bring Kalar's crusade to an end. There's little you can do about it. The city means nothing to me. Evil has taken root in the castle of the Dragon Spear. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can pull it up by the stump. Riskier Bridge is our best bet to cross the winding water now. What is a ten day away? You should return to camp, talk to Corporal Duncan. I'll know the best way forward. I've got a few ideas myself, but I agree. We should talk to Corporal Duncan. Perhaps we could speak about Kalar so first. That was Kalar. I'm beginning to understand why so many have flocked to her banner. I don't recall uh Vivica being dead when the screen scrolled up. I think she died to something afterwards. She'll be a formidable foe, but her arrogance will be her undoing. If you can ignore the suffering she's caused, it makes a compelling case for her crusade. Banners burn, sheep flee. Would be prophets who overstep themselves die. I've seen the arrogant prosper too often to count on it. But I hope you're right. Let's head back to camp. With Timora's favor, we might make Boriskir Bridge before the Crusade sets up another ambush for us. I'm not done here, though. I'm not done here. Let's go bring our friend back. That's probably going to be expensive as hell. Let's go bring our friend back. Let's just go to the mine over here, right? He said his grave was somewhere over here in the east, and I didn't see anything. Maybe we just meandered past it. I know we left all our stuff up on the bridge, but we can go grab that after this. They gone? Nope. Yeah, I'll get right. right on that. What do you need, you wee dauntless godfly ye? Eight hundred dollars, god damn, man. Yeah, what do you want? What? You healed me? No, heal you, stupid. Sure. All right. Fine. Whatever. Huh? Good enough, right? Top of my. I guess she's alive. Let's see where this eastern grave is, though. Foul beast. What? What you got for me this time? Oh, she's broken now. What? Yeah. Your orders. What do you want? Hmm? Oh, something happened to her. Huh? Okay, great. Oh my god! No! 
Do not go in there, stupid. Please don't punch the bears. Yeah? What do you want? The Shining Lady is not the child of Baal some claimed her to be. But she is an Ozmi Ozimar. An Osmir. I don't know how to say that word. Osimar. But she is an Osimar. Her family has been touched by the divine. Though not so recently as mine own. If I never see another child of Baal again, it'll be too soon. No, at least not if you take her at her word. Though she is not of Baal's blood, thou art. I shall remain with you on this expedition and see how it might illuminate the prophecies of the wise Alundo. Glad you'll be staying with me, Dinah here. Do as that what uh you will. Lead on. I shall follow. Yeah, you will. Oh. Top of my to do list. That bear's got something else coming for it. Evil bear. Foul demon. We gotta get all of her stuff back. She didn't have a ton of stuff, but she did have stuff. Kitty! Woo! Oh, I was gonna say, you're not gonna let me back on the bridge? That's not good. Aha! Hers. Hers. I'm an idiot. I thought, just because you think something serial doesn't mean it's what's happening. I do that so often where I'm just like, oh yeah, I got the person equipped. No, you don't, dummy. It's just... There we go. Perfect. The perfect amount of stuff to have. Alright. Helmet. Helmet. I guess it doesn't matter. Here's a helmet. Uh, she had on... Chainmail. Potion of extra healing? Sure. Speed? Sure, why not? Giant strength? You're not allowed to have that. It's not good for you. It's unhealthy. I guess we can identify it, yeah? Oh, there's a two-handed sword plus one. I don't think that's gonna help me any. And definitely not her. So, trash you go. Uh, here, have a large shield. She's still overburdened. Have that. You good now? Nope. Ah, it's the plate mail. That'll do it. Plate mail will do it every time. Uh. Now, now. Yeah. Alright, here's some protection. Yeah, sure. Why not? Anything will help, right? Yeah? What do you want? Top of my What do we got up here? Uh Black Pits Fly Oh, I don't know why I picked that up. Oh my god! No, why would you give it no? Those gems is mines is. Huh? Hi? Potion, and we give that to her. 
Studded armor, crossbow, dagger. All right. Okay. Bolts. Oh, those are bolts. Yuck. What? Your mom's container is full. It's really unfortunate. It's like all my potion containers. Oh, if we run into another lich, we can kill it, I guess. Someone has written, bet on the squirrel. The squirrel always wins atop the crumpled parchment. Closed for a time, but now returned. Witness the peril, the power, and the pageantry of the Black Pits. Here are some wild animals battle for supremacy. What will emerge? The victor. The ferocious wolverine. The brawling black bear. The slithering basilisk. Or perhaps the aggressive Ankeg. Come see the greatest battles of our age and place your bets on which creature will emerge from the pit. A lot. Oh, it's the exact same thing, huh? Trash ye be. Trash ye be. Greater Restoration. The Latin hers. I think we're okay for now. I shall. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Wait, was there something else up there? A brief examination of the smoking rubble left in the wake of the crossing destruction convinces you no effort will make this way across the winding water passable anytime soon. Are you sure? It's like, I feel what like we could just time. put down some planks and walk across that. We're not very smart, are we? Where ahead of you, boss? The banner is adorned by the symbol of Kalar Argent, the sun cresting. The horizon. Okay, can't go over there. Hold on. Oh, the telephone. Let's go uh, check this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I can sing too, dumb wolf. Die, foul bear beast! Go for its eyes. Go for its gooey center. Go for the nougat. Uh, I think that guy lied to me about there being a, uh, A burial mound in the east. That was full of shit. Let's go dig up his corpse and defile it. Wait, I don't know where it is. I would totally defile his groups. Uh oh. I'll recover. I just wanted a nap. Aha! A nap we had. A nap giveth, and a nap taketh away. Maybe he was wrong about the east. Well fought. The cream of the Sword Coast's combatant crop. Witness the brilliant and bizarre battles in the black pits of the one and only Baloth the Entertainer. Oh, Baloth, he's evil. Gather in the gallery, my gallants. Tis time for another test twixt two titanic terrors in Baloth's blackest pit yet. Yay! 
<laughs> Fake favors, you fortunate <laughs> few who witness these feral foes in a furious fray. First, I give you the wild wonder of the Western Kingdoms. Wise men say only fools rush in to face the Wolverine. I like this guy. He uses alliteration very well. That's a Wolverine. Looks like a rat. But what wily wonder could conceivably win a war against the Wolverine? There is but one answer. That hardy, hate-filled horror, the Honey Badger! Yeah, but we never did anything with him. I just left him over at uh, the, the Friendly Arm Inn. I never did anything with him. I kind of forgot. The Honey Badger? Now that is definitely a squirrel. I bid the battle begin. Uh, okay. Boo! Rat. Squirrel. It it <laughs> does say it says rat and squirrel. McKillen. McKinn's my name of the Grub Doubler clan. Why are there people in there? That can't be good. Okay. Not not really my concern. Yeah. Where is that stuff? Not really my concern. Patience, my peculiarly profound patrons. The primitive play you propose will be presented. Lads, Bailoth, what are you up to now? This display is disgusting as it is disturbing. And it's over now. Your audience is right, Drow. This is about as entertaining as watching grass grow. Present it soon. I'll give these people the show they desire. Do I know you? You don't remember? It wasn't so long ago we fought together, each at the other's side. We've not met. I don't remember you. You should. I'm pretty sure I killed you once. Uh, we, like, freed him. Like, there were, like, a bunch of bears or something, like, attacking a tower. And, uh, we, like, killed a bunch of stuff, and we let him go. Ah, yes. It's moderately mortifying to see you again. But the past is past, and these people pine for a performance. And so I give you... The Goblin! He came to be much more powerful than he was. A liar. Let me out of here, Drow. Let me out. You'll have your freedom, my freakish friend. But first, you must fight for it. Kill it! Kill the goblin! I thought it was a wolverine. Shut up! Maglobia, take you, night skin. Let me out. Silence, you simpering scullion. Wait, am I understand? This goblin doesn't want to fight? The goblin clearly doesn't want to be here. Release her. Now! The goblin! Cleanse the filth from the face of Turil! Goblin against a drow? There's a fight worth watching. Do it, Goblin! Fight! 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 I'm all about it. Fight! 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 Think on this a tick, noble one. Have you ever met a goblin that didn't thirst for the thrill of the fray? No. Free me, snake. Shut your slobbering face hole, you sniveling smutch. She says she doesn't want to fight. Be silent, drow. I would speak with this goblin. If there is to be no bloodshed, I'll be on my way. Recognize your role, you repellent wretch. I am the entertainer. I speak. You watch and applaud. Or remove yourself if you'd rather. That does it. This place is finished. Not let you kill a sentient creature for the entertainment of this mob. Don't remove your head, you alliterating annoyance. 
cannot concede to such contemptible, nay, criminal coercion. I'll concede you, Silver Hair. of plenty pauperized made pitiful by a pernicious porcupine of a goblin what a woeful waste it was pitiful long before the goblin did what she did not that woeful it really wasn't much of an arena to begin with goblins more merciful than I would be in her shoes we had a deal drow you broke it I should let the ghosts have you a deal? People who talk as fast as him rarely say anything worth hearing, and rare still, anything worth believing. Only a fool bargains with a drow. This worm belly promised children food. Then he caged me, sent me out to kill or die for pink skin scum. Is this true, drow? What's done is done. Tell me your name, goblin. He sent you out to fight squirrels and rats? You're in no danger. Forget this wretched rabble rouser. What will happen to me? Bailoth Baratil, showman of showmen, entertainer of entertainers. Would you consider joining me in facing the threat of Kalar Argent, the Shining Lady? To the south, there's a flaming fist camp. Go there and tell them Dukima Lady sent you. They're accustomed to Durgar and Drow. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. Bide here a time. If I've need of a showman, I shall return for you. No, no. You can trust this. This. Boo has no problems with most drow, but this drow is another story. One that Boo says will not end well. You are wise beyond words. Human. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, I think we made everybody angry again. Watch it. You're straying I... farther off the path than I'm ready to go. What absurdity is it you ask of me? You adjure me, abandon you to an uncertain outcome? <laughs> I like how it's just like, you've lost. You've lost uh, reputation. You've gained reputation. Bide here for a time. I'll return to fetch you in due course. I want you to go back to camp. I'll come find you later. Second thought, I'll keep you with me. Bailoth do this, Bailoth go there, Bailoth attend my every utterance. Are you not aware? Is it not obvious that I act of my own accord? I shall embark immediately for the encampment because I ought to do so and on no account because you ordered it. Bailoth Baratil is not so casually dismissed as that. Young miss? McKin's my name. Of the Grub Doubler clan. I'm Dirky Milady. I'm sorry you had to suffer the Drow's hospitality such as it was. What was that dance you did? Looked like you summoned ghosts to beat up Bela? Your name means nothing to me, Goblin. You're free to go now. I'm a shaman. Spirits listen to me. They do what I ask, if I ask right. A useful talent. Would you consider joining me? I'm traveling to the north to face the Shining Lady, Kalar Argent. My camp is to the south of here. As for Corporal Vince Duncan, and explain the situation. Tell him I may have need of your services in the future. Hopefully, that will keep you safe. Take some time to recover yourself here. I may return to speak to you again until then. Farewell. I was told to assist you as best I can, but this is a bad idea. If this thing hurts anyone, I'll hold you personally responsible. Here, Goblin, take this note from me. It should keep my people from putting a spear through you on sight. It's a dangerous world for a goblin alone. I'll wait at this camp as long as no one tries to kill me. I think we should be nice to goblin. You don't want to upset a pretty lady, do you? 
then shape up. What? Where was it? <laughs> Reputation decrease. Reputation increase. Shut up. It went back, it went down and then back up, so we're perfect. Now. Yep, we're still heavily disliked. The life of being chaotic neutral. Who likes the forest? And I do too. Oh, this is kind of scary. There's a bunch of people that are uh, turned to stone over here. Uh. Hello. Oh, okay. What? Hope you're having fun. Good day and hello to you. And here you are. I'm here, and I'm my wits about me. These statues are too detailed to be carved. They're the refugees, aren't they? Indeed, I am. Now tell me what you know of those who've gone missing. What's with all the sculptures? There's no one around to overhear us now. No more excuses. Tell me what you know. I was only passing by. As you are, but not for long. They are my pride and my legacy. My display is not complete, though. With my assistant's help, we'll add another piece to the exhibit. You! Return these statues to life, Elf. I'll not ask you again. I'd rather die. And I'd much... And I'd much rather you die. I hope you're prepared to suffer for your art. For your art. Oh my god, I hope you're prepared to suffer for your art. You demented boar. Wait a moment. Let's talk about this. If I could get you an even better subject. If I can't add you to my tableau, I'll see you destroyed. Uh oh. Well, the giant stone golem's pretty frightening. But also, the lady. Get the hell out of there. Where did she go? Fuck. Just hustle, girl. What's up? see here I think we have the uh, means to yep. by card huh. you good friend I find it city that you what have you to re-recruit them. Yeah, yes, I'll get right friend. on that. What can Minsk do for you? Or perhaps it is... Now, there's really not a happy thing here. We only have... Like her being... Anywhere, to be honest. Yeah? What do you want? Yep. Just wait for her to heal. There's no happy place for our, uh... Our cleric. Ta 
Top of my to-do list. Top of my to-do list. Oh, got a bunch of uh, D Scrollify. Uh, yeah, she has a ton of free inventory space. Ah, uh, well, you think she can identify this? Nope. Oh yeah. Okay, here. The sigil on the stone statuette's base marks it as a Netherese wizard's work. Though, judging from the sigil's worn, indistinct edges, it is work originally created millennia ago. Though it may have been quite powerful at one time, the statuette has lost all but a few of its charges. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we can summon a golem? That's neat. I guess we should help the people, what huh? What you got for me this time? Yeah? What do you want? There's also something wandering around here. Okay, uh... uh who I had it? You? Bots and I cannot lie. Uh, yeah, don't do that game. That's just bad. That's, that's just bad. That's just bad. It was so quiet in the stone. Almost peaceful. But terrible. Please let me reward you. I only wish it were more. Okay. Uh. I think that's just a rock over there. Thanks for freeing me, stranger. Wish I had something to thank you with. But the crusade took it all. So, thanks about it. Hope it means something to you. Means a lot to me. Sure, man. Kel Bether. Kel Belther. In my last moments of freedom, I tried to fight back, but the magic took hold of my limbs. Were it not for you, I'd have been petrified forever. Take this. Please. My gratitude. Can they, like see and understand what's happening while they're in there? The last thing I remember is going for a walk with Teleria, and then... Oh, it was horrible. Thank you for freeing me. Thank you. I must return to camp. What you got for me this time? Uh, no, I think there's somebody over here, too. Yeah. Yeah, what do you want? Except no substitutes. They say there were five people. Where'd she go? That cowardly wizard turned me into stone. If we cross paths again, I'll send her to the afterlife. She's dead. So... Huh? Ain't gonna happen. She very did. Alright, I saw... I see the, the, the wandering demon thing. Pretty sure that thing can kill me. I thought that was the thing right here, but it's just... It was just rock. Alright. I guess we can try to fight it. I didn't fight the one in the inn. I wasn't able to do that. I wonder if we can go back there and try that again. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. It was, it was quite difficult, that. I'm armed to the teeth yes, and picking a hamster. The bag. To the bag. I just want to get a little healing here before we attempt to fight whatever this demon thing is. Hey, okay. That did not do as much healing as I thought it was going to. Better. Better. 
Okay. Uh, who had the who had the glasses? It was her, right? It's this thing? Yeah. this tasty adventurer with piles of treasure peace creature i only want to talk can't say for certain i'm tasty but i know for sure that all my treasure belongs to me it's a fit you want i'll gladly give it to you tremble before me foolish human i'll tear you apart and drain your delicious magic stride you can try if you must but know that i won't hesitate to defend myself big words from an ugly floating blob you threaten me that's a mistake. You're about to learn how great a mistake it is. Rawr! Giddy. Okay. Oh. Ha, my aim is true. Ow! 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 Oh, it's near death? Why did I do that? Okay, I killed it. Fight, 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 fight! fight. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to be pretty tough, but we handled that fairly well. Perfect. Yeah. What do you want? As usual. Okay, let's see here. I can potion of healing to somebody, huh? There, you should have it. I always got a potion of heroism, too. Okay. Elixir of health. Screw. Uh, I'll just uh, put your hamster in my mouth, please. Hamsters are inedible. All hamsters are edible. I think this is what we picked up, right? Ring of fire resistance. The wearer of this ring enjoys partial resistance to flame, whether its origins be in mundane sources like torches or bonfires or magical ones such as fiery dragon breath. 40%. Sure. Take it. Who else can? Anybody can have it. I'll take it. Screw everyone else. I'm the important one. Me! Long sword plus two. Yeah, it looks unique though, doesn't it? This is just a regular long sword? A sort of standardized enchantment, powerful though it is, the great southern nations are said to have had once said to once had legions of their soldiers armed in such fashion. No. No. So, kind of a waste. All right, well, we can get rid of that. Hmm. Mildly disappointed that we didn't get moves. something better from killing that, that demon thing there. Top of my to-do list. Oh, did we find the shield? Do we think that's the shield? That could be the shield, couldn't it? Here, let's find out. Let's not find out. Who likes the forest? And I do too. There is much to nibble huh? here. Yes. Mm -hmm. By call, sweetheart. What am I doing? Hitting like random buttons and none of them are the one that I want to hit.
I don't know. It might be that. Belweir's the capital city in the halfling kingdom of Lurian. And many brave halflings show their loyalty to their home by serving in the city watch. Like any large city, Belweir has its share of crime, and the city guards must show alertness and courage every day they serve. While some halflings serve only a few years before moving on to other jobs or out of the city, many become lifelong members of the Watch. This cloak is a reward for five years of service and bears an inscription in Lurian. On the clasp, the inscription reads, Lead by example, one of the tenants of the halfling god, Yandala. Oh, that really wouldn't benefit me in any way whatsoever. Uh, sure. Let's go turn it time. in. I still don't know where this grave is. How the hell do I get out of here? I'm trapped! By the gods, I'm trapped! Beetlejuice? Where oh, are you, boss? It's you again. We're still closed. I managed to locate some of the items you lost. How many have you found? Two. I'll keep looking. That last one must be out there. I'll see what I can do. I'm here, sitting in the scorched ruins of my dreams. Gods, help me. No more, please. I've endured so much, I can take no more. Yeah, where was the person that wanted me to... All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. I've returned, Herod. Teleria's dead. She was petrifying refugees for art. I did my best to restore the victims. I heard what you did. We're all grateful to you for getting the to the bottom of the matter. You're quite welcome. I just happen to be in the right place at the right time for the right reward. Someone had to resolve the issue. You people obviously weren't up to it. I took up a collection among the refugees, and would like you to have the money as a reward. Very generous, thank you. Please, keep it. You need it more than I. I'm just happy I was able to help. Convenience saves me the trouble of shaking everyone down individually. Give it here, then. Such generosity, such selfish selflessness. If only the world had more like you. We'll always have friends here. Farewell on your travels. Hey! Uh, since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. We needed that. Oh my god. Wait, it said I got more. We weren't at seven. I thought we were already at eight. I thought we were already at eight. I thought we already were at eight. Whatever, game. You're dumb. A team like this can't be beat. Okay. Halfling treasures? I called forth a gauf in the woods near Coastway Crossing. Zaviak's vision quest. Who the fuck is that? Oh! That's right. Yeah, duh. Hold on. Glad we stumbled across no, that. Okay, what? What you got for me this time? Right. Why are there traps long here? Oh. 
What? I don't understand. Why were there traps there? Where is this grave of this dude? A pleasant enough walk. He Though said it was to the east. So far from civilization's walls. No, but he said there was a grave. Yeah? What do you want? Unless he lied. Groundhog! Gross. I'll kill it. Eat the groundhog. I must have walked by it. I don't know what he meant by the east. Like, that... I thought it would be somehow marked in some way, but I haven't seen anything that would make me I don't believe that we had stumbled across it. I, I haven't seen anything. I don't I don't know how truthful he is with his telling of of that either. Maybe they are in the inn still. Top of my to do list. Should we take the junk? Found some junk. Top of my to do list. See, more what junk. Got for me this time? Trash. Sword first. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Uh-huh. A heap of sooty stones. Huh? Yes. Well, sweetheart. That we should have intelligent conversation. So there's a good chance that there is something I just overlooked, huh? The forest is so serene. I always catch myself watching for bandits, though. This is impossible to see where the hell you're going. Whatever thy wills. Yeah, now that there's people there, it makes it even harder to spot.
It's impossible. Impossible. Sir, no one can find your dumbass shield. I have looked and I have searched. It just must be something small and tiny. Daytime does not seem to help. Ditch the shield? Did I throw it out at some point? That's possible, right? Shield is? Oh, it's you again. Mm. We're still closed. It's a hard life on the road. Huh. They didn't have it. The crusade destroys everything. Mm hmm They do. It's a hard life on the road. Noises? What noises? What you got for me this time? Definitely feel like there's something else there. I just don't know where we would look. I don't think it helps the fact that there's like people there. It's impossible to see in there. Impossible. Im possible. No one could do it. No one can do it. Where is this grave that is there something this... I can do for you? Why do you ask? I'm trying to think of a way to answer that doesn't end with me getting slapped. 
I'm failing miserably. Well, perhaps not miserably. Some things are worth a slap. You've done more than enough for me already, and I thank you for it. Nothing I can do for I simply thought that if we're to travel together, face Kalar Argent together, we might do well to get to know one another. I would like nothing better, Captain. And I fear you'll not find me good company at the moment. I suspect you'll know all of me you want to, and more, before our business with the Shining Lady is at an end. Agreed. Let's find some place private and get to knowing each other. I mean, no offense. I think I'd prefer this relationship remain professional. Let's concentrate on the mission, then. If we can do what the Grand Dukes have asked, I'll be satisfied. Would that everyone were so easily easy to satisfy? Is that really all you want? I think there's more to you than duty. Tell me. What is it you're feeling? What do you desire? Your and the Council's satisfaction means little to me. I have my own reasons to see Kayla Argent. Put a stop to her. This isn't the time. I have a mission. That's all that matters. So let's go. Well put, madam. Well put. We have a mission. So let us go. We will not tarry. Oh, evil beaver. Tell my to do list. They're coming for you. Oh god, there's so many beavers. Kill the beavers, kill the beavers. Alright, good job killing beavers. I see nothing that would say, hey, hey. I'm a grave. Look at me. Look at me. A grave I be. Squirrel? Doom draws close to thee. Another try, I shall be. There's always a character that wants to run away, I'll tell you. Thy dearest too far from the path of right. Correct thine steps. Two seconds ago you were saying I'm fantastic and you love me, and now you're like, ah, oh, you're a giant piece o duties. You know? I don't need this. I am better than duties. Rudy duty, fresh and duty. Did he mean in there? You mean he was like buried in the cave somewhere? Read a sentence from Fifty Shades of Grey. You got it. Random sentence. You finished eating your tub of sorbet. A tub? Nice. Let's see here. Uh, no doubt he thinks I've succumbed to Mr. Grey's dubious sexual habits. Out of context. Another? God damn it. All right. Let's see here. In your sleep? The first one was better. <laughs> the first one was better. No doubt he may think I have succumbed to Mr. Gray's sexual habits. Sexual What's a sexual habit? Like... Like, uh... I don't know any sex words. <laughs> blowies? Blowies? Succumb to blowies? I was trying to think of something unique, but I'm not... I'm not smart. And right now, my brain betray. It's 8.40. Oh. 
That's way later than I thought it was going to be. I don't know where this grave is, or wherever the shield is. Maybe it's not... Where I thought it was going to be. Okay. Well, I think what's going to happen now is we're just going to call it for now. We'll, uh... I can't believe I... <laughs> Captain Corwin. Oh. What is thine opinion about I was, I planned, I planned on stopping like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> he just kept going. It's so easy to get drawn into this game. It's so easy just to lose track of time. I feel like we barely accomplished anything today. Oh, well, we got to see, uh, who's he calls it's wandering around, right? We got to take care of some stuff in Boulder's Gate proper and then meandered our way over here and took care of some things. We cleared out that cave. Oh, well, it may not be the greatest, but it's... But it's, it's alright. It's... Alright. Let's see if uh, there's anyone we can raid. Let's see if anyone's playing Boulder's Gate. Baldy's Gate. Baldy... Baldy's Gate. In French... That's not helpful. French is not helpful. Yep, no, French is not helpful. Uh I have no idea what Rimworld is. Never heard of that. You know what we can do? We can go raid uh Adam Hamez. He is playing, as he does most Saturdays, some uh, Ocarina of Time, but he is doing a... Uh, he's doing a randomizer. He does them all the time. He's a lot of fun. Come along with me, guys, on the raid. It'll be fun to hang out with him. Uh, I'll be back tonight. It's Saturday night. Hell yeah. We'll uh, continue to play more uh, Baldur's Gate. It's been fun. We, we've just done a little bit of Siege of Dragon Spear. I feel like we're right on the cusp of things. But we're, we're slowly making our way through. Either way, enjoy your mornings, afternoons, evenings, whatever you got going on today. Have fantastic weekends, guys. And uh, just enjoy your day. Go say hey to Adam. He's awesome. Peace out. Right? Peace out. Yeah, I'll be back tonight and we'll... Uh, We'll keep playing through whatever silliness this is. I'll try to find the shield and uh, that, that, that grave. I'll do one more loop and see if we can find something otherwise, you know, whatever. We'll just, we'll move on. I'd like the spoils of our ventures, but you never know. Either way, go say hi to Adam. He's awesome. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. 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 What's that over there?